Greetings and salutations all in the digital world. Welcome into episode 20 of the Prince Division. You got to be trolling me right now. What's going on, guys? We're going to go around the table like we always do, and we're going to kick it off with the man who's known for that phrase. Greetings and salutations, Arkov. Where can they find you? You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Arkov. Tomorrow is going to be Among Us with the Murder Cave. Oh, That's no. <laughs> and Monday, it's actually going to be Kingdoms of Amalur until I finish my special project for Mass Effect 2. Aside from that, random streams during the week when I'm not working on other things. And I believe you said this is the last Prince Division until after after October. Well, I'll yeah. mention that on my turn. Yes, I'll tell. I'll I'll explain everything. But this is the last Prince Division till the end of October. Okay, so nothing on Saturday for at least a month from me. Correct. Which means you should tune in to whatever's going to happen. Precisely. Exactly. Hey, uh, who's that handsome fella? Is that is that Distortion Devil? No. You're right, Sarah. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. Where can they find you, Sarah? Uh, I am on Twitter at Sarah with an H, Anne with an E, Willia. Um, not much at the moment to pimp out, though I have been a busy, busy, busy little bee, and I will probably have stuff to talk about soon. Ha, 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 ha. Fair it's enough. <laughs> oh. nice All right, Connor. Be, it's nice Great. to be busy, but also I'm very, very tired. I, I, I feel I that. totally yeah. understand. Hey, uh, hey, Connor. Yeah, what's up? Why, why don't you go ahead and tell them where you're at now? Okay. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, I'm not going to pimp out my own stream today because I'm going to be pimping out uh, another stream that I'm going to be on uh, on the 30th. Ooh. Uh, yeah, on the 30th. It's the Dead House Sonata new key visual reveal stream. Uh, I'm sorry, they're what? <laughs> yeah, they're, com they're completely reworking the way the game is going to look. Uh, and they've been working on it for a while, and they're they're finally revealing uh, what they've been working on on the thirtieth. So be sure to tune in to twitch.tv slash Deadhouse Sonata D E A D H A U S Sonata uh, on September thirtieth to witness the new key visual for that game, and it's going to be a blast. And I've seen a little bit of it already, and I gotta say, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be pretty cool. Trust me. That I caught one of those streams when I was working once, and the main lead developer guy is very, very interesting to listen to, just based off oh, of yeah. like, his experience and stuff. I was like, I had to leave. Like, physically, I'd leave my house. And I didn't want to because I was listening to him talk. And I'm just like, God, this is so insightful and interesting to see how the gaming industry works, and especially back then, and especially in the horror scene and stuff. I'm like, this is really fascinating. Mm. But I have to go and be a social butterfly. <laughs> yeah, De Dennis is awesome. He has a lot of really great insights on what he what he thinks this game should be and what he wants to do. And he's not going to compromise, or he's going to compromise as little as he can uh, to make this be a reality. And that's why I. Um, fully support this this project that has not a plus it's just a great hi. guy hi i'm distortion devil and this is my favorite project on gofundme <laughs> <laughs> uh very nice oh uh, speaking of being a social butterfly hey monty why don't you be one and tell everybody what you've been up to um <laughs> what the fuck was that that was my wait that a minute was my... why is why is <laughs> brian's pet here <laughs> yeah, seriously, why is my right. basilisk here? There's Kobe here. Kobe. 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 Um, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter a whole lot right now. I haven't been posting pictures of my frog, who is getting egregiously large. GURPS is growing in strength and size, and it's frightening for everybody involved. But um, you can definitely catch me on, on Twitter on occasion. I'll retweet things. I'll post art. I'll do that sort of thing. I'm just not on it a whole ton. Uh, but you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Montaglue, where this Sunday uh, I'm going to be streaming more Final Fantasy IX. I am loving this stream. It's so much fun. I love this game. I'm, I'm really happy people are enjoying it. I've also been uploading the VODs to my YouTube, so if you're interested in checking out the uh, the game at all, if you've never seen Final Fantasy IX, you've never seen the Final Fantasy game, and you don't want to play one, definitely check it out. I'm voice acting all the characters. It's a ton of fun. Steiner and Vivi are there. They're both perfect, and I love them. Um, but yeah, that's where you can find me, especially this coming October, because I'll be probably streaming it a little bit more than usual. So keep your eyes peeled there. I might pick up some other games for funsies. Oh, 
Bosco? No. There was silence. Bosco? Oh no, is he gone? Did we lose him? Bosco? Oh, Ed! Ed uh -oh. no! Oh no. Oh, you can no, find Bosco on twitch.tv forward slash Edward Bosco, where he does things such as M&W Flashbang on Fridays. You can also find him on Twitter at EdBoscoVA, and I think he's at TikTok, too. I can't remember. Or uh, Instagram? One yeah, everybody, of the social pull up his ID, IMDB and let's show on him. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's in uh, a game I'm playing right now, which is World of Fartcraft. He's uh, nope. some people in nope. that. I don't know what that is. Well, there you, you are. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I wanted to prevent a fire. Sorry, I'll be. Right. I'm not... <laughs> oh, okay. Is somebody cooking. Yep. Only you can prevent fires in your house's kitchen. You can uh, catch a Bosco as Sky from Pokemon Twilight Wings. You can we catch will now him read in his Ultimate entire this sound wave, which makes me mad. Why does it make me mad? Magnus. Because I really like Soundwave. <laughs> That's true. So I could talk about that. We did that on Thursday. If you want me to, yeah, that go. That. Yeah, so go chill yourself. It went really dude. well. We, huh? We so we watched the first six episodes of Transformers: War for Cybertron Siege. So thank you guys for everybody that came by. Uh, all of the donations are going to a charity. I think we picked one. Uh, I don't know if I have it up right now, but uh, I will post on Twitter the amount and the organization. So follow me there at Ed Bosco VA. Also on Instagram and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where that stream happened it was really awesome. We gave away five different toys, all of which are signed by the actors that voiced them. So oh, thank cool. you guys for everybody who entered that contest. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, it was just, it was great. We uh, we had Starscream, myself, Megatron, Wheeljack, and Impactor. All five of those voice actors were there. And I we need talked to watch about... this show. I haven't had, uh, I need to, I just don't want to hear you. Like, I, I, I want to escape you. <laughs> That's valid. That's absolutely <laughs> valid. To be fair, if you hear me, you can just go, oh, he sucks his sound wave, and then move on. Sound wave? I just, like, okay, I'm I'm biased. I really liked sound wave in um, Transformers Prime because he never talked, and it was just great. And I and barely he... talk in this, so that you're fine. <sighs> yeah, but it's still you. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. You're Do really you mean to about... me right now. God. Do you want to talk about October? Real quick? I would love to. So two things for October. First one, I'm going to show Connor, if you guys haven't done that already. So obviously, October's back. Connor, if you want to say Ooh. real quick with, when you're starting that. Yeah, um, October is going to be uh, this year again as well. Um, that's going to be starting up, let's see, uh, the 7th. Is it the 7th. Okay, cool. I guess when it's going to be starting. Um. We'll be joined, of course, by everybody. Um, Takahata 111 playing. Uh, ah, ah. Um, is that his actual name? That's his actual yeah. name. Mm, great. It's five A. It's five A's. Well, ah. you thought, hey, man, you knew what you were getting into. It's your brother. I, I, yeah, fair enough. Um, the that guy Bosco Jim as uh, Doctor Weird Greckles. I mean, uh, <laughs> is it Gortag? <laughs> it's Cortag. Yeah, Cortag. That's what it was. Cortag, um, Chris Zito as uh, Pieces, the Mecha yep. Boy, and of course the Edward Bosco as Gronk. The he uh, came out of retirement, man. It's true. Yeah, he's no he, longer the he came out of seven intergalactic. He's, I was just about to bring 7 it. Seven Eleven intergalactic world heavyweight. Champion. Oh, that's mean. Uh, <laughs> God, uh, and we'll also have um, Monty Glue as well. Hi, I made an orc. I'm. You did make an orc. Oh, you're worried. Worried. I love it. I'm worried I didn't make them silly enough, but we'll we'll see. That Are is impossible. Kidding? Are you kidding, Monty? That is impossible. You're kidding, right? <laughs> I'm winking. I'm winking at the camera towards <laughs> you, Connor. I'm winking. Shut the fuck up, Connor. <laughs> Mork D glue. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> It's going to be pretty great. I sent I sent my uh, my character description over to Citra King, and Citra King went, "I love them. I love them so much." And I'm like, "Thank you. I'm proud of my orc. He's going to be great. He's going to be the best. He's going to be great. Ever. I want to see which of the Arnots is going to be crazier, because you have a high bar to clear. I <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. This is going to be insane. All right. I I don't. I'm glad I don't have to party lead this freaking thing. Um. <laughs> And then on top of that, so some of you guys know that the Prince Division is going away till the end of October. So we had to figure out something else to do. So for those of you that don't watch The Unexpectables, number one, you should. It's a great show. Number two, Woo. we're doing Ravenloft next week. 
So hey. next Saturday at this time will not be the Prince Division. It will be Ravenloft. So get ready to watch me kick the butts of five beautiful players. It's going to be Monty Glue because yeah. the PM is going to play. What up, Monty? You play. She's wait. she's one of the few Ravenloft veterans. She's played a little bit. She knows what I've, she's I've played into. fifth edition Ravenloft. Yeah, I've played the actual Curse of Strahd. I haven't beaten it, obviously. Yep. I only got to a certain point, but I've had a taste. I know what happens. Uh, but it's yep. great. I feel like I feel like we're doing like to Halloween that corporation suit to Christmas, where we're bumping it up early so it happens sooner. Which is and even I'm better. All for it. <laughs> Get this year uh, over with. Connor, you're also gonna be in that. It's true. Yep, I'm super stoked for your character. You're playing a class that I think a lot of people are going to want to see in action. I won't spoil it though. Yeah, yeah uh, we've also got Chris Zito. Yeah, uh, Zito, I've never DM'd for, so I'm really excited that this time he was able to to join us. Unfortunately, Gaijin and uh, Taka couldn't make it, so we have my buddy Mark Allen Jr. who's going to join us. He's played Ravenloft with me in person, so we've done a lot of campaigns together. Ravenloft was one of them, so he's a vet of Ravenloft. He played three five with me, so five he's new to him. So hopefully, I can mess them up a little bit with some of the stuff that happens. And then finally, I'm really excited about this. We're bringing on somebody that you guys have never seen on this channel before. The one, the only Theropod, who you know we've rated before and watches Prince Division and draws cool stuff after the show. They're going to be on. So there you go. You're going to get Theropod for five weeks. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So those are our five, and you should definitely come watch. Uh, tell your friends, too, if for some reason they don't watch the Prince Division tell them to come watch Ravenloft because it's extremely now, different. Now, if by chance uh, you guys aren't into Ravenloft for whatever reason, which that's fine. Um, if you have any friends who are interested in the Prince Division at all, definitely this will be the nice time to recommend catching yes. up. Um, so if you have people who, you know, they're like, oh, that's a lot. Be like, hey, they're off for a month. Like, this is now a really, really great time to check out uh, Prince Division. You're going to have 20 episodes to watch, which is a nice rounded. That's Four that's episodes like, a week. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice amount. So if, if you have anybody interested in the show at all, then definitely yeah, thumbs up, recommend it. I worked very hard on it. <laughs> it's true. Oh, we, we really like this. It's and it, I love that it's so different from the unexpected. So you get two very different viewing experiences. Mm. So let's go over some bits and some subs real quick. And then I'm going to throw it over to Monty. So if you need to write an intro, go for it. I got you covered. Uh, we've I got this show. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't. I forgot what show it was. Sir Thomas Percy, thank you for the tier one sub. Yes, I made it. We got Fifth Quinn with a tier one sub. Thank you so much. We've got uh, Shade626 with a tier one sub. Gifted to Kuro Okami167. Dude, the man with 100 bits. Proud to have survived. Vote again done with Arkov for the Mass Effect finale. What is that about, Arkov? I have the chat voting on various major decisions in Mass Effect. As and what was that one? Series. Was that the Saren one? That one they got to vote on who to leave on Vermeer. Uh, you know who lost, by the way. Uh, I know. I they just... also got to vote on whether or not we saved the council. So we're actually going and... around I've never done before. So what did they... Are you allowed to say... Do you want to spoil what they picked? Oh, yeah. I can say they killed the council. Of course they did, you vindictive bastards. Oh, I know I know how that route goes. It's actually that, really interesting. Yeah. That's the, is that Mass Effect 1? That's the first Mass Effect, correct. Yeah, I remember playing it, and the council's like, we're like, hey, we have total evidence this guy's evil isn't going to kill us all. And they're like, yeah, but no. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Well, technically, you had you didn't have sufficient evidence. You had some evidence, but you didn't have enough to charge somebody who's considered like a war hero. I'm going to fight them. I would fight them. I'm good. <laughs> How do you think we feel with Athtar and fucking Icarus and shit? It's like, we know you're evil. Well, but what are you going to do about it? That's fair. That is fair. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Uh, you can bits of subs. Yes, I spoon with 100 bits. Let's hope the tower doesn't turn out to be an amalgamation of quicklings. Why, though? <laughs> uh, Dr. Caliban, thank you for the tier one sub. We got Nene with 100 bits. This is is just what I need after a tough day at work. We've got Nom Nom Goblin with 300 bits saying, probably my last bits for a little while. Uh, luckily, the Oregon wildfires missed me in my home, but lost a week of work in the evacuation. Binge the last two UEs and the last Prince Division when I got home so I could get caught up. I assume you mean the unexpectables. Well, sorry about the lost work. Congratulations, your home is still standing, and hopefully things work out for you. But yeah, always take care of yourself. The bits and the subs are nice, but 
Take care of yourselves. We got Ty of Nerdlandia. Thank you for the five tier one subs. The PK Awesome. PK Awesome. Let's go with the tier one sub. Dread Hunter with a tier one sub saying, hey, guys, can't wait for Orc Timber. You mean Orc October? We're starting in October for Wake the Orc. me up. When, when October. <laughs> Where's the truck? Wise Eye walking. Uh, we've got the one free man with a hundred bits. Ravenloft, a someone's gonna die. A fun. We actually all had to die. make backup characters. Spoiler alert. Yeah, <laughs> everybody has at least one. Some have two. It is great. Raven Cro uh, uh, Raven? What is it? Ravenloft. Ravenloft. Is Ravenloft like Call of Cthulhu levels of difficulty? It's hard. It's yes, very absolutely hard. Yeah. Call of Cthulhu. Mm, let's fun. put it this way the C the crs that you would normally try to balance encounters with you're supposed to make it as challenging as possible without being unwinnable yeah but unless you I'm well actually you no know, that's not true there's certain encounters where you're not supposed to win but you're also not supposed to go there like for example probably on session one shouldn't go to castle ravenloft and be like i challenge you strahd probably gonna die <laughs> <laughs> That's an unwinnable fight. Uh, Sozo with the tier one sub. I swear to God, if you guys do that to me, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> C. Vanders with 500 bits. Woo, back with this week and more bits and another bottle of whiskey. Pace yourself. Uh, Nia with the two tier one subs gifted to the community. We've also got Constable Mutton with five tier one subs. We've got the Sequium Kid with a Twitch Prime sub saying five months just caught up and I don't have work tomorrow. Let's go gwen ninja with a tier one sub saying wow five months already love the episodes and can't wait to see more as it goes and what october and ravenloft have in store october sorry love you all and catch you in the archives tomorrow and that's Does everything the chat says strad i have come to bargain <laughs> <laughs> strad i have come to bargain i Instantly that's good i shadow nidhogg if you're in my game i'm like okay hey, you bargain with them you win Yep. <laughs> you win Ravenloft session one. You win one. Ravenloft. <laughs> Monty, I'm All curious because right. because we have like five minutes. Did you want to yeah. start or do you want to chat a little bit? We can chat a little bit before we start. Okay. Also, yeah, Caliban question, with 100 bits saying, like looking, fo looking forward to this. I love Ravenloft. And Ty of Nerdlandia Ooh. with 10,000 bits saying, you guys are all amazing. You've helped me out in more ways than you can imagine. I'll have to catch the VOD, but it keeps me awake at work, so that's good. Keep being awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Caliban, with 100 bits. And thank you for the 10,000 bits, Ty. That's incredible. <laughs> You can't see no, it, I'm but just imagining a wizard using the clone spell to keep coming back to bargain with Strahd when he keeps also, coming. Also, God. Someone earlier like had a highlighted thing. There, there's a new D and D pre-made adventure game that just came out, which is um, oh gosh, oh gosh, Icewind Dale. Uh, Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Um, it just came out like a couple days ago. It's it's been a little bit. Um, someone someone commented and said like, oh, like I I started the new adventure. How 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 do doomed is my wizard to die? And I'm like, that's not what you should be thinking about. It's how many goliaths you can smooch in that adventure because there's a ton of goliath stuff in that adventure. And I'm both like I want to run it, but I also want to be in it. And it's like this 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 conflict. But um, definitely check it out. It is the biggest book they've released, honestly. Like it's huge. It's thicker than the monster manual, which is very impressive. So it's you get a lot of content in there. Um, so yeah, I haven't read it, so I can't give feedback on whether or not the adventure is good or not. But that is pretty nice. Okay, Monty, monkey's paw. You get to run it as a player, but Bosco's the DM voicing all the Goliaths you want to smooch. Oh, god damn it! Oh, yeah. oh that's hey, our call. Hey, you're not allowed to hello, come up with ideas, hey, Monty. I no, shut to, up, dude. I wish shut, to speak with you. Private. Shut the hell your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you make my heart doki doki. <laughs> Sarah, you're making it worse. I, Sorry, I got to give Ed some things to work with. I can't always. I require I more information. You are information. supposed to be my partner in arms, Sarah, against the scourge that is the Bosco. I can't believe Monty, this Monty, I wish, I wish for you to see me whip and then nay nay. <laughs> I'm gonna whip your navy into next Tuesday, Mister. All right. <laughs> oh, we got a couple. We got a couple more bits. I got two minutes. Hang on. I'm gonna get. I gotta give Bosco kudos when kudos are due. I'm sorry, Monty. I appreciate I you. Uh, we got Brad with 100. Keep that in mind for the rest of this session today. Come on. Uh -oh. Hey, good. Sarah. Don't worry. Listen. If you keep me healed, I'll keep you alive. Uh, Since Brad when can I healed? Wait, since I don't know, when do I heal? Out. I don't know. <laughs> learn it. Write it in your write it in your spell book and it's yours. Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. I look forward to this vacation to a homebrewed Barovia. 
I will explain the Barovia stuff next week and how it's all going to work. I'll do a little I, thing on the jig. Uh, I guess hope I live up to everybody's expectations of it because Ravenloft's a very famous area in D&D. Stellar Coyote with 100 bits, giving bits in honor of Team Four Star Spectacular's charity stream. Heck yeah. And uh, there's all the bits and subs. So, Monty, whenever you're ready. Okay, let's get started now. So yep. that way I stop getting tormented by my friend. <laughs> I would agree. Shut up, dude. Shut up. All right. <clears throat> So, when last we left our officers, you guys have been trailing a case to discover a missing prince, apparently who has been kidnapped by trolls. As you guys have continued your investigation, you've had very intense run-ins with the Orc Mafia and have kind of had to wait a bit while the Orcs do their own investigation, prying into sort of secret criminal affairs. You guys returned to your precinct, Tannis was equipped with a gun, and you guys made your way out of town to help a prince who was reporting on some very strange going abouts in his home. You guys arrived and handled probably the most annoying encounter you've ever had in your entire career as officers, dealing with, I think it was five or six? Uh, five. It was I think five it was five quicklings, quick yeah. Yeah. Um, well, four people, now. Well, they're all gone, so. Well, one's done, dead. so it's not a quickling anymore. The rest are quickly remains. Uh, you guys managed to dispatch all of these evil little fey creatures uh, and have made your way home in the in the car you guys share uh, after helping out. Uh, I believe his name was Cody Mason. You helped out Mr. Cody Mason, making your way back home. You guys made your way back home. Uh, Kel, you dropped off a coffee for Lucy, and all of you made your way home, being bruised and stabbed. Um, the moment you walked in, uh, Lucy just turned and said, I'm not going to ask and gently let you guys leave for the rest of the day. You guys went home and slept. So. Gibby. Yes. In the middle of the night, there is a rasp at your door, a heavy rasp at your door. And I, this wakes me up. Yeah, it does. It's it's very. It definitely gets your attention. It's a very loud booming noise. Um, do I have a, a key? A, a you know one of those portholes in my door? Uh, yeah, you do. Little, little eye hole thingies. You know what I mean. Hole. I will peek out of that. Go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Okay, we're just hitting the ground running, aren't we? Yeah. 21 soft. 21 soft. You see uh, someone up close, uh, clearly crammed into the hallway, um, but you do see a red tie that you recognize uh, as Durs of his tie. Yeah. Uh, I will open the door. All right. As you open the door, you see Durzib, and he is beat to shit. Uh, his nose is bleeding. Um, he's got a lot of bruises on his face, and his jacket looks like singed. <laughs> Christ, what happened? Is you just watch he kind of spit some blood on one side. I just he kind of waves his hand. Are you okay? I'm okay. Just let me in, all right? I'm sorry. Yeah, come in. You close the door behind him as he kind of hobbles in. He kind of weighs himself on your kitchen island. He looks pretty messed up. Uh, dude. I can call Kel. I mean, he he's equipped to to really help you in this situation. No, uh, no calling nobody right now. You watch as he hobbles over to the window and just quickly does like a quick glance outside. This lock. Uh, above game, does it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Has a latch on it. Yeah, it does. Okay, lock it up. Are you are you expecting someone? I don't know. Shit. You have a phone. Uh, yeah, hang on. Uh, does he mean, like, just a regular phone, or can I just give him my cell phone? Yeah, you can give him your... You don't have a regular landline. There's no point for you having a regular landline. I'll unlock that and hand it to him. All right, you hand it off to him. He takes it, he goes, Christ, it's tiny. Okay, uh, ooh. <laughs> it just looks like... He, <laughs> he just starts tapping on the buttons, and it's very, like, he's got to use his pinky, and he's got to, like, really be accurate uh, as he's standing there. Um, I guess, um, do I have a, a med kit in my apartment at least? Yeah. You you have a, like, a first aid kit. Yeah, I will go and get that. All right. 
you hear him as you get the med kit and kind of close the door. You hear uh, Durasub starting talking on the phone. He goes, Agua! Yes, Durasub. Now we got ambushed on the way back. We we're heading up the Starlight Casino. I don't fucking know. Uh huh. It was a flyby, Red Dragon. Shit. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Let the boss know. I, I'm not telling you where I am right now. But I'm okay. Alright. Keep your head on. He hangs up. <sighs> he just kind of collapses into your couch, just like bleeding out the face. His knuckles are like red. Um, the thing that's very bizarre is the smell. It, it smells like like burning, like fire, as he kind of sits down. Which is, I assume, something to do with, well, um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm not Kel, but I'll try and clean you up a little bit. Okay, roll a medicine check. Okay. Soft 10. Soft 10, okay. He's a little, like, babyish when you're, like, trying to, like, clean the wounds with, like, you know, like, alcohol, trying to clean out the wounds. He's, like, kind of, like, mm, it hurts, leave me alone, but he, like, kind of twists his head away from you. But you're very stubborn, uh, and you apply bandages. It's, but it's, it's Beauty and the Beast. It's kind of like Beauty and the yeah. Beast, where he's just like, oh, that hurts. There's just being, like, a big baby. He's just like, oh, it hurts, I feel bad. But you're like, shut up. <laughs> like, you're just getting it done. <sighs> Shit. We went looking into some leads about some of our blood supply. Yeah. Headed the drow. They ain't got no leads. Someone else is mixing into the trade. We don't know who. I, I, I admit to catching a little bit of that conversation, but you said a red dragon attacked you? Yeah. And we were driving back, making our way through towards the central district. We got ambushed by two red dragons. Lit up the entire car on the corner we were trying to do in a report and call came up. We pull over, right? Turns out it was a jammer coming in, trying to distract us. Got three dragons on us. Killed two of them. One got away, but it was a real mess of shit. We got pretty scattered real quick. Do you know if the rest of your guys are okay? That's one of them. He's fine, but... Don't know about Igrar. But... We're tough, you know. Still. Fucking hell. Do you, do you think they're involved with this, or... Do they just have issues with you guys? Don't know about issues, but I know getting dragons on board ain't, ain't that odd, really. They'll do anything for fucking gold. All you need to have is enough money. Oh, so they could have been hired. Easily. Like I said, they weren't adult dragons, but they were young ones. Still can pack a fucking punch, though. Christ. I'm just making that note. All right. <sighs> okay. What do you think? I mean, you think you're we're relatively safe, though. You don't think they they will come here? I wouldn't come here if that'd be the case. Right. Um. Next, you need to do you need to talk to the Baron, or should we just hang low, or? I don't know what's going on with the Baron right now. It's best if we just lay low. Right. Uh, your day sounds more interesting than mine, but I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm glad I'm okay too. He just, he seems more offbeat than usual. Durso's always been kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm totally in control. I'm totally fine. This is definitely him at his worst. He seems very shaken up. Really tough fight. The problem is they can fucking fly, right? They lift you up. Yeah. There's not much you can do. They, do they grab you guys? Oh yeah, probably <sighs> well, a couple hundred feet. Dropped us. <laughs> Didn't work so well. Oh right, yeah, you're human. You guys fall downstairs, you break your neck, you die instantly. No offense, but uh, none taken. Still, Jesus. Yeah. Well. I need a, a bit of a, a rest. Yeah, no, I, yeah, absolutely. Um, Do you want anything to eat? Nah, nah, I'm fine. Listen, I'm worried about one thing, and that's why I don't want to do any calls right now. Do you, do you think they could be listening in somehow? 
Maybe. With that jammer you talked about? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past any town to tech romancer. Here's the thing. It could be that the trolls have hired on dragons, but it could be the other way around. And if it's the other way around, then this shit got a lot more complicated. Wait, that... That it's not the trolls with the blood trade, it's the dragons hired them to help with the blood trade? Potentially. He kind of puts his hand out. <sighs> Don't jump to no conclusions. But if that's the case, I'm a lot more scared of red dragons than I am of trolls, if I'm being honest. Let's just hope they were hired hands, all right? Okay. That leaves a lot of questions I need to be asking, but first and foremost, yeah. Okay, um... Can you, uh, do one favor? Yeah. Tomorrow morning, invite all your friends over for a get-together. He gives you kind of a wink. Yeah, um... I could probably... Do you think it'd be safe to just send a, gene a generic text out to the group, just being like, hey, can you guys hang out, come to my place in the morning without any details? If you think they'll understand, yeah, sure. Oh, that... They won't, even if they don't understand, they'll, they'll come. All right, I'm gonna get my phone and just be like, hey guys, um, before work, do you mind all coming over to my place? Um, I just want to discuss, like, what happened yesterday. And I'll add, it's important. Okay, the rest of you guys, at 1 a.m., each of you gets a text message. <laughs> Kills fast this week, too. I'll probably snap out of my trance. Mm -hmm. Pick up my phone and answer it. About the blue guys? Uh, yeah, just um, some things I just don't want to um, talk about at work, if that's all right. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Are you in trouble? Oh, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. But, um, it, yeah, if you guys could just pop over. We can all go to work together after. Sure. All right. Thanks, Tannis. Sure thing. <sighs> I mean, it's... They'll probably... They're probably wondering, but I have a feeling they that we know each other well enough that they'll understand to just come. Hmm. Here, yeah, fingers crossed. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna... Uh, he just leans yeah. back on the couch and just, like, his eyes just close and he's... Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm gonna run in my room, get get him a pillow. A proper pillow, not one of those stupid sofa pillows. Those are crap. Those are get him a proper pillow and a blanket. Okay, I'm... You sure you're good? Is there anything else I can maybe... I'm not great with a med medicine kit, but... <laughs> All right. I will just tuck him in then and... I guess just go to my room and try and sleep though I'm gonna sleep with the door open and double check that that front door is locked yeah and everything else is locked up yeah you, so you check everything and it seems pretty good blinds are down um I might actually like I hate because I kind of wanted that slot but um mm, that's nah, probably You're fine going back to sleep, but you'll get it back. Yeah. I was gonna catch mage armor and then I'm like, wait a minute, he's a tank. I would barely give him anything. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's <laughs> fine, he would, trust me. He, he would be he would be better off unconscious without my mage armor. <laughs> He'd still be fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'll, I'll I'll go ahead to sleep then, you know, with my door open just in case. Alright, you head to sleep. And dawn comes without any issue. Uh Kel and Bryant. Bryant is here feeding Kobe in the morning. Uh, you're feeding him mm -hmm. his his uh, his rat for the day. He tells when it's food because he hears the sound of the freezer opening and closing. And the moment that happens, like even though you've only ever you've only had him for a day, like he knows it. Like he's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. He like kind of scrapes up against the uh, the enclosure that he has, like the the pen he has, and he's just like, <laughs> "All right, all right, let me just get it out first. I don't need you jumping up on the counter. Hang on, buddy." I'm gonna I'm gonna defrost the rat so that he can safely chew it, and then I'm gonna let him out of the cage. All right. He kind of he kind of like the way he walks is very alligator like. It's very like thump mm. thump 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 with these heavy footfalls, 
as he makes hey. his way around. He really seems to like the couch, though. That seems to be his favorite spot to go. Hey, Kobe, do you know how to play catch? All right, I'm gonna try this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like throw it up like I'm throwing like an alley oop basketball pass. I'm gonna, here you go, Kobe. And I'm gonna throw it up and see if he catches it. All right, it bounces him in the face because he doesn't have eyes. He can't see. I was hoping he could smell it. <laughs> you can't smell the fast. How are you gonna smell a ball coming towards your nose? <laughs> it's like it's a point four Man, seconds baseball, to get it. Baseball would be really interesting if we could smell the ball coming. Stinky. <laughs> Stinky. Papa, why? Well, I tried. As he gets right, bobbing, we're gonna, we're gonna have to work ball, on that. He kind of like starts like head bobbing like aggressively, and you notice that his like neck like kind of like changes color a little bit as he just kind of like does an intimidating sort of stance towards the ball mm -hmm. as he's like shaking his head towards <laughs> it, like I've been attacked. I must threat display now. Uh oh. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dangle the rat in front of his nose until he can smell it. Uh, as you do so, like some of the water that from thawing it out kind of drips on his face, and he turns to attention. And like, there's a moment where his head kind of wobbles, like vertically or horizontally, side to side, and then he just snaps it and like just swallows the thing whole. You don't really see him I'm chew. Gonna... He's, he's kind of like a crocodile where he just kind of eats the whole the thing entirely whole. I still can't believe somebody gouged out his eyes. It's messed up. Yeah, it's pretty <sighs> All right, I'm just, I'm going to hang out with him on the couch for a bit. Then I'm going to take him out for a walk. He's very heavy, but he's almost comforting. It's really interesting because he's like, you like sit down and he'll just kind of like crawl slowly into your lap and like both legs like will be sticking out either end and like his just belly is sitting in the center where you're sitting. He just sits there. I'm, we're just, we're going to hang out for a bit. And then when he's ready to go, we're going to, like I said, we're going to take him out for his morning walk and, uh, See who's out there today. Okay. You make your way outside with him on a harness. Uh, mm -hmm. Your neighbors are a little bit, some of them are scared of him, but some others are more interested in him. Uh, as you make your way outside, uh, you take him for a walk. And no Zobi. You don't see Zobi today. Has he been out here pretty consistently, or has it only been the well, last couple times that I've seen him recently? He's kind of random. He's not every day. He's he's okay. every now and again he'll be there. Sometimes he won't be. He's kind of weird. Got it. Hmm. Is his stand there? Does he have any kind of stand? Because I know he he normally only has like a stack of papers. Uh, where he would keep his stack of papers, they are gone. They are not oh, there. There's yeah. nothing there. No. Uh, as you're right. walking. Yep. Uh, someone runs into you just kind of quickly, like really briefly. Uh, younger kind of guy. Notably, um, similar to you, uh, he does carry a weapon with him. He's got a bow on his back. This kind of like, uh, almost electric green, like electric green framed bow. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's kind of got like, he looks like very much like Jet Set Radio kind of street punk attire. Hey! Kind of yeah. Understand, kinda... understand. All right. Uh, he runs into you just like briefly and kind of hits you on the shoulder and he kind of goes, sorry, man, and then keeps walking. Uh, instantly check everything. Did I just get pickpocketed? Uh, go ahead and roll. Was, it, was that, was that the kind of shoulder check where it's like, I have to check my wallet kind of thing? Uh, roll an insight check on him. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, I forgot. It's not Wednesday. This is going to suck. All right. Yeah. You are not Remy. You are now eight. eight. Okay. You check all your pockets. Um, everything's there. Your wallet's there. Your phone's there. Your keys are there. Everything's there. And your basilisk is there, too, very easily. Um, <laughs> your insight passed. Uh, he doesn't seem sorry, but he just seemed to do it just because he's expected to. But he has no sense of remorse. He doesn't really care. He seems to be in a hurry going somewhere. Hey, maybe watch where you're going, buddy. He doesn't respond and keeps moving. Idiot. Hey, Kobe. If we ever run out of rats, look for that guy. He kind of cocks his head confused. The moment you say rat, he like walks up and starts clawing at your leg again. No, 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 not in the pocket. I meant, it okay, this is not going to work. All right, let's just, are you done? Did you find your fire hydrant? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> All right, let's take you inside before I'm late for work. <sighs> I'm going to take him back in. 
now that he's done his business. Yeah. And then uh, I will put him back in his pen, which sucks. I need to maybe find a house sitter so that he can be out of the pen for the day. Well, the pen's but big. I'll... It's it's not like it's it's. Is a it decent... like a, is it almost like a rat encampment? But it's like for him, like his size, like that kind of if a thing you, where you can. Move if around. you've ever if you've ever seen the proper way to keep guinea pigs in a house, yes. So it's like yeah. that, like a big tank it's for like, that. Okay. He's got like a big like he, there's a lot of floor space for him, and it's got all all the enrichment that he needs. It's it's a decent chunk of your apartment, but it's very nice. It is it is what he. Let me just say this: unless you have specifically a room just for him, there's no way to improve upon this. It, it is perfect for him. Got it. Plus, he doesn't right. move well, around a whole lot due to his site, so it's probably best if he doesn't have too much space overall, just because it could be more of a risk for him bumping into things. That's totally fair. Uh, all right. Well, then I'm gonna I'm gonna head to work. Okay. Uh, don't wait. Did I get Gibby's text? Yeah, you totally did. Everybody got the text. Uh, what time did you say to meet up, Gibby? Uh, I just said in the morning before work. Oh well, then I'm gonna go to Gibby's house. Okay. And I'm gonna text back in that particular group. What's so urgent that we have to meet at your place? Question mark. Uh, just something I'd prefer to talk about outside of work. See you in a this few. Is already. This is already sounding really bad on my way, period. No, no, not bad. Don't worry about it. Right. And I'm off. Kel, you wake up. Kel's going to sit up fairly groggy. And he's just going to look at the claw he dusted that quickling lift. Sit on it for a moment. A little bit of Healing energy course through it first, then the necrotic energy, as if it's balancing. And then he'll check his phone. Probably notice it flashing. Okay. Uh, you get, uh, there's a message from Gibby, and there's a message from your mother, actually, too. Oh, shh! <clears throat> Calm down, Kung Fosco. <laughs> Is it a text message or a voice message from the mother? Uh, it's a text message. Oh, what does that say? Uh, it says, hi, sweetie. Heard you were involved with Acidback's newest princess. Good for you. Glad to see the job is going well. Aw. Hmm. Aw. That's actually kind of loving. Uh, Kel will text back, uh, thank you and yes. Uh, we made certain that, uh, she is safe sound don't know if happy where she is but maybe someday she has her girlfriend so it should be fine sounds good sorry I can't talk right now crushing the defense attorney in this trial right now destroy the mother I know I you can I always do with a heart go we'll send back a heart and he'll check Gibby's message Kel's going to immediately respond. Uh, I don't know where you live. Because Kel's never been there. Shoot. It's like a moment of pause. It's like, wait, my address. Um, I'm going to text back. Uh, I'm uh, busy in the shower at the moment. Would you mind getting it from Michael? Uh, yes. All right, text see you in a bit. Text message to Bryant. Uh, mm -hmm. Michael. Where does Gibby live? I do not know. Worried face. Why don't you just ask Gibby? I did. She's in shower. Then how did she respond to you? I've been baffled. <laughs> <laughs> That's the text Kel you said, Michael. <laughs> Damn you, Kel Bryant! Kel, I think she's hiding something really big, so be prepared for really bad news, period. And then I'm going to send him the address. <laughs> Damn it, he's so intuitive. This I'm trying is... to find upbeat, somewhat upbeat music. I was, I was digging the like smooth jazz, like cocktail lounge music. Here we go, here we go. There we go. That's I'm the down with this too. This will also lounge work. Music ever uh, yeah. Hell yeah. This is that Persona yeah. 5 walking through the city music. Kel will shoot a message back to Brian. Understood. I will be there soon. Uh, I'm going to text Gibby. 
Uh, how do I word this? In the shower, huh? Question mark. Yeah, what? I leave my phone on in the bathroom just in case. I didn't realize water made it impossible to text your address, period. See you in a few, period. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> it's being snippy, and it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gal is going to make certain his place is locked up and just saunter on his way. Okay. Not in any particular rush. He's trying to follow directions. You guys, uh, Brian, oh uh, uh, my god, name, ah, names, Tannis. Oh my god, yeah, my, my brain was distracted by this smooth jazz. Tannis, Costumar is in your living room. <laughs> nah, she's, she's back! Gosh, she's back! Again. And better than ever! How did you get into my house? <laughs> The window is fucking open. Uh, yeah, right. the Don't call it a window. I've been here for days. <laughs> Doesn't remind uh, me of that cartoon with that girl that's like, sup, butt munch. I couldn't get through your door, so I've broken your window. By the way, I'm eating this out of your fridge. Okay? <laughs> um, Tennis, yeah. you come out of your trance to a couple of text messages. Um, uh -huh. One from your wife, ex-wife. <sighs> okay. Look at that one first. Rip uh, it off. Sorry, I was busy with work things. What's what's going on? Question mark. She tells me you haven't talked to her in a while. She responds with, "I'm sorry, I've been very busy with this new position. I'll try and call her this weekend." Question mark. <sighs> he pauses a moment just to like pinch the bridge of his nose. I think she'd like that. <laughs> can feel that I think she'd like that. Rescued her from a fucking mafia. You better... <laughs> <laughs> All it took to get her to say she loves you is trauma. Yeah. yeah. Damn! I mean, yeah, but damn! What should I use this money for? College or therapy? Both. How about, how about Wait, paying a therapist therapy. at the college? Therapy, because the Baron's covering her college, remember? <laughs> That's ah. true. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Oh, but benefit. wait a second. But if she goes to see a therapist on campus, he'll cover both. Boom. Done. Yeehaw. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get back from the wife. Okay. How are you doing? Good. And yourself? Uh, and he uh, looks at the next message. Uh, it's from Taryn. There's another message from Taryn, and there's one from Costameyer. Oh, good. I'll check that uh, out Taryn first. Sorry, Costameyer ate your food. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Huh. I can always buy some more. Correction, I'll, I'll the green dragon can always buy some more. <laughs> <laughs> there's one for cost from Costameyer as well. Yeah, uh -oh. I'll check that one as well. Thanks for letting me eat your food. <laughs> ha! Well, I see what happened here. <laughs> That's really good, actually. <laughs> Costumeyer, say you're sorry. Sorry for eating your food. Sorry she ate your food. <laughs> <sighs> he'll, uh, he'll text back. It's no problem. It literally grows on trees. Cosmer immediately responds. Cosmer literally responds with, "I told Taryn that fucking bullshit." It was. <laughs> I text back. It was still mine though, with asterisks around the mine. Not when I eat it. It's not. Right. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just don't make a habit of it. I make no promises, is the response. I suppose that's as good as I'm going to get. <laughs> and then there's a response that says, acid back, more like acid dick. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
Uh, <laughs> te- he 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 texts her back this emoji <laughs> that I just I just sent you the the fucking the flushed emoji. <laughs> The flushed emoji? <laughs> you sent her the flushed emoji? It's just like, is are you admitting to something or are you just calling him a dick? Is that what you text back to her? Or is that what you're just Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She responds because... with you. She responds with you, gross, what the fuck I hate him. Because to be because to be perfectly honest, I don't need to know any of that. <laughs> Whatever, I'm wasting time talking to you. Fucking elves, man. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Have a good day, I guess. Oh, we're really fucking elves, man. <laughs> Eat a dick is the response to that. I don't what think shit? I will. Man. <laughs> and, then, and then I'll turn my phone off. <laughs> All right. All right. I am Vero so. Tannis. <laughs> you are Vero Tannis. <laughs> Also, I'll grab my, I am Viral Tannis. I'll I'll grab my sword and I'll grab my gun and I'll uh, grab your gun. I grab my gun and I grab my sword and I grab my heart and I grab my. As you walk out my, into the kitchen, my daughter. Uh, she's currently Whoa. like sitting on the couch with a bowl of cereal with a snake around her, watching Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> Fan oh, artist, please, I need this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> just one of you, like, any of you. Like a big snake, just like she's just kind of sitting in the middle of this big coil with the snake, like resting its head on her shoulder, and they're just watching <laughs> fucking cartoons. Well, you two look like you're hitting it off. Hey, Ad. Hey, Neff. You got work today? Uh, yeah. I'm one of my coworkers called me and she wants to talk about something. I'm not sure what it's all about, but I'm probably going to head out early. Are you gonna Are you going to be okay? A... Are you going on a date? No. Oh. Roll a persuasion check. I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought Kel was a matchmaker. Persuasion, here I go. 15. Okay. All right. And she just like looks, she just she kind of turns on. She goes, Are you sure you're not dating that dragon lady? I'm very <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm very sure, sweetie. She showed up again, though. She did show up again. She doesn't really have a concept of personal space or ownership, I suppose. That's Dragons weird. Are strange. Dragons are strange, honey. They're really weird. They are really weird. I'm trying to find so, it right now. What did she name her snake? Um, Mr. Bubbles, I think. That's right. It was Mr. Bubbles, yeah, I think. It was something really not snake-like, which was hysterical. You know what? That's kind of a trend with people who keep snakes, is they tend to name the <laughs> things that are a little ridiculous. Ah, like, uh, yes. This this is this here is my my snake. You know, my black mamba. His name is Sweetie. There's there's yeah, Mr. Bubbles right here. I found it. Okay. Just an aside, there is, I'm watching this channel that raises a lot of snakes, and my favorite snake name is Noodle. I'm like, that's a delightful snake name. I mean, they, anyway, like, I like, they kind of look like I like noodles. banana. Banana is good. Yeah, banana. banana. Anyway, she, she goes back to kind of eating her cereal, and she goes, okay, well, I'm going to watch cartoons. Okay, you're going to be all right. If I'm gone for a while, you want me to... Uh... If you get, if you get bored... Want to just, I don't know, go to Mama Rodigi's. I can, I can call someone to pick you up and bring you over there if you want. Okay, if I get bored. Okay. I'll walk over and I'll ruffle her hair a little bit. Dad, she kind of swats you away. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, I'll, I'll scratch Mr. Bubbles under the chin or whatever snakes like. He like you kind of pet him and like as you touch his head he kinda of, like like sucks his head inwards to his body, like, uh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Could I could I roll an animal handling to see if Yeah, go what, go ahead and roll a handle animal. What snakes like? Who here I go. Uh twenty two. Wow, twenty two. Um you just take your hand and kinda of gently run down the length of the snake very, very lightly, and he seems cool with it. You can't tell if he likes it or not. Snakes are kinda of hard to read. They have an expressionless face, but he's uh he's sticking out his tongue, he's smelling at you. He seems very 
content, I mean, as much as a content as a snake could be, hanging out with a young child. Um, I swear but, for a second I was expecting a repeat with the dog. No, <laughs> no. no. Like, oh. <laughs> no, that's it. He's completely fine. Start the day off right. Poisoned. <laughs> Yay! He's not poisonous. Is it his po he's not a viper snake? Is he venomous, though? He's no, an he's anaconda, not. So no. <laughs> no, they're constrictors. Anyway, uh, if there's unless there's anything else to do, all you guys make your way to Gibby's place. Yeah. Yay. Hi. Hey, question, Monty. Uh, did Amelia ever get a phone, by the way? Uh, you don't know. Okay. Hmm. She, did. she is still in the hospital, though. Yeah, she's still in the hospital at the moment. Okay, good. Okay, just wanted to double check. That's because somebody. No, she was ahead. discharged back home. Oh, That's yeah, right. she's she in the barracks. Discharged. Yeah, she's at oh, the barracks, she? but she's recovering at home right now. She's not going to school. Got yeah, she's, okay. not, she's not going to school, it says here. All right. Okay. Well, I gave my number to the right person, so hopefully she has it. Great. <laughs> I want everybody to make right. survival checks to try and find their way to. The home oh God, Gibby! <laughs> this is the deterrent. Who makes it first, and who makes it second? Who makes it okay, third? Okay, I was like, if we have that's... a man, I can't Monty. believe I. I, I thought for I a second I, I had to roll it too, and it's just be like I rolled a one, and somehow I ended up back in Central Ward. <laughs> like, wait, wasn't I here? Be the freaking worst. Just because here I go. Uh, Gell is following directions. Hey, I avoided Albuquerque. Sorry, what was that, Kel? Six, six, Sixteen. Because Kale is trying to follow directions on a tinky tiny phone while walking in the city. Could I have him roll with disadvantage? With disadvantage? Uh huh. <laughs> what are you doing? Because I've been distracted by things around him or not paying attention to where he's going while reading the phone. Trust me, just roll Fair one. He'll be bad enough. It's it's a Saturday. You're fine. Roll with what disadvantage. Yeah. Roll with disadvantage. For how? How? Still not bad. <laughs> hey, survival is a wisdom. That's why. And he is a player. So technically 11. Okay. Um, you guys make your way uh, through the city streets, ducking and weaving in and out of alleyways. Um, Gibby, while your allies are making their way there, uh, Durzab does wake up. You try and wake him up multiple times. He sleeps like a truck. This guy... I'm not inclined to hit him this time. <laughs> yeah, he's like out. But he does awaken at, at a certain point. Um, and he kind of rouses, and he's he's covered in, like, dried blood, and, like, smells pretty bad. He's not, doesn't oh. smell very good. Hey, how you feeling? Mm. Like I got hit by a fucking truck. Um, uh, I kind of like, look over to my bathroom and sort of size it up, but I'm just sort of like, um, if you want to try a shower, you can. I'm... Is my shower big enough to accommodate it's, him? It's comedically small for him. Yeah. Um, maybe, well, maybe, maybe just wash off a bit. <laughs> yeah, I think, oh, Christ, do I, do you have, um, I hate to be a, a burden, do you have a thing I can wash? You kind of, like, gestures to the jacket. Oh, you mean, like, above game, does mean, like, laundry? Yeah, his, his, like, clothes are just wrecked. Uh, do I? Is that yeah. an apartment, or is it one of those apartments where it's, like, in a separate area? You have a little uh, little laundry dryer combo in one okay. of the closets stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I got that. Uh, just leave it outside the door. All right. Uh, okay. He kind of steps over and like sideways walks into the bathroom. He's just like, oh, human construction. All right, fucking night. <laughs> the door closes. <laughs> it's like... Okay, um, I'm going to, at the moment, to do something. I guess I'll just make some coffee for everyone coming. Okay, sounds good. Uh, after about, like, 20 minutes, uh, Tursub emerges from the shower going, What the hell is this shit? And he holds up, like, your body wash. Um, <laughs> it's body wash? It fucking smells so good! He cut, oh. slams the door and goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, was wait. All about, like skincare and stuff. Why does wait, he not was know he in the middle? Body wash? Was he in the middle of his shower when he came out? Yeah. Oh my god! Did I, out, like, yeah. did I see? Oh like, god! Did I see orc? Did I see? Did orc have a towel on? Did you see orc what? Did I see orc D? You did not. You did not. Okay, no. okay. I was gonna say, he like oh, opened and like poked out like just his head. You can see his shoulders and his head. One thing, actually, I'm gonna say, roll a perception check real quick for me. <laughs> 
No, you did not, what if you did no, not baby, see or pee pee. <laughs> okay. Um, 15 oh. soft. Okay. Roll one, of, one of the things you do notice as he does poke his head out holding up your like your shower gel, like he's just like, oh my god, this shit's amazing. Um, you notice that from his as you're looking at him on his right shoulder running past down kind of the chest area and it disappears behind the door is this somewhat darkened scar mm -hmm. that runs down his body it is big and it looks somewhat necrotic in nature um it's enough to catch your eye um but that is one thing you notice you do not notice pee pee but you do notice that as he ducks back into the shower and disappears again. I'll make a running guess of what that is from. Cool, I'm just making a note. Probably don't need the note, but I like to have notes. All right. Um, yeah, Markov, he takes all the notes. Uh, eventually you find his laundry and you just put it into the washer. Um, notably, there uh, are- Actually, before I put it in the washer, can I, can I examine it? Sure. See if there's anything interesting about blood or whatever, you know. Uh, notably, there are fang marks all over this, uh, especially on the shirt portion. Um, clearly that of a dragon. Mm. The singe mark is mostly on the back, but it's not terrible. It's still, like, burnt, but it's not, like, completely, you know, he can still wear it and people probably wouldn't notice that much, but... Oh, did he, uh, did he give me his pants? Uh, pants are there, yes. Uh, um, can I check the pockets? This is less because I'm trying to snoop, but more to the fact that me being me, I won't, don't want anything in there that might be valuable to get wet in the wash. Okay, you find his car keys, which is pretty important. Uh, you also find his wallet. Mm, I and, will put that aside. And you find his cell phone. Ooh. I will also put that aside. And you find about Ooh. probably five or six worn uh, business cards for the Stronghold, which is the casino where he lives. Well, I'll just basically make a pile. <laughs> okay, yeah, you put like you put them on the counter. Do you want to put them somewhere like hidden, or do you want to put them just somewhere where he can easily just be like, oh, um, my thing. I don't know. Do I do I have one of those like little knickknack bowls? Sure. Yeah, you got a knickknack bowl. Stick it Everyone's in the bowl. got a knickknack bowl. You know, where you put keys and stuff and just junk in there anyway. Just add it to the pile. All right. Uh, Brian, you were the first to arrive at Gibby's place. Yeah. All you right. Make, uh, you make your way up the stairs. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 it's not Wednesday. It's going to be a 19, though. Nice. Okay. The we area is... Your human eyes. You kind of just instinctually look around... <laughs> The area is clear and, uh, what's the word? Oh my gosh. Um, wow, my brain Unoccupied. just- Unoccupied? Unoccupied? It's clear and safe. I don't know. There was another word I was going to use. Secure. That was the word. Secure. Oh my gosh. Secure. Got my it. brain just stopped working. Uh, the, the area right. looks clear and secure. Um, everything about it is safe and that is a very good role as you make your way inside of Gibby's apartment. Can I knock on the door? Absolutely, Gibby, as you are kind of, did you want to go through the wallet or anything or are you just going to put it all in the? Um, I think her being her, she wouldn't. Okay, yeah. The cell phone has a giant crack running through it. Granted, if he fell as far as he did, that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to uh, just look at that and cringe like, oh God. Uh, and you hear a at the door. I will go, thanks, Ed. I will I go and check out the peephole. Okay. You see Bryant. And I will open that door. Hey, thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, thanks for inviting me, I think. Yeah, just, 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 just come in, okay, come on. So what do you actually want? Uh, close the door behind him, lock it. <sighs> okay. Um, Durzup showed up last night. Oh, he great, is... of course he did. Yeah, he's currently, uh, he's he's uh, trying to shower in my bathroom at the moment. You hear like uh, thuds and like the sound of like, you know when you drop like a bottle in the bathtub and it makes the loudest sound on earth? <laughs> I'm not wrong in this. No, no, you're not. <laughs> like, it's like that, but like over and over and over again. I like the thing um, he's just slipping constantly. 
But um, um, he was uh, he's kind of messed up. Basically, we have complications, and we may be dealing with more than just trolls. <sighs> I'm sorry about the covertness of the text, but he also seems to think that they may have a tech technomancer, and um. I needed to be careful when I needed you guys to come here. Wait, he thinks there might be a technomancer and he had you text us on your phone. This is why I was trying to be vague. He didn't use your phone, did he? Uh, yeah, he did to make a call. Oh, he's to... an idiot! They can track that if they're... Tr oh, boy. All right. Uh, I mean... Okay, that's fine. No, that's not, fine. Where's, fair, where's I didn't his stuff? That either. Where's his stuff? It's, what? Oh, I'm... I'm washing his clothes, but what what you mean like is you're not looking through stuff. I mean, maybe we can get some information on what exactly is going on. I, we can ask him that. Do you trust him? <sighs> yes, I do. That makes one of us. It's fine. We'll do it your way. Did everybody else here yet or is it just me? Uh, you're the first. Goody. Look, I'm not going to for now, yes, I trust him. It, I will not stop you from doing what you need to do, but let's hear him out first, okay? Fine, I won't hack into his phone until we hear from him first. I guess that's all I can ask for. Okay, okay um, I, I have coffee, do you want? Yes, I would, yes, as strong as you can make it, please. All right. At this point, Kel, you make your way to Gibby's place. I'll check out the people again. Obviously, you see it's Kel and open up. Hey, Kel. Thanks for coming. You bamboozled me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just c come on, come on. Mm. I know. I'm sorry. I locked Rex, what have we talked about? We have talked about many things, Michael. Be more specific, uh, please. I'm, I'm talking about you being bamboozled. You got. You got to have your brain always thinking... Something strange about this. I do not like to mistrust my friends. I, yeah, well. I had a reason. I'm so sorry. Um, Michael, can you fill him in? I'm, do you want some coffee, Kel? Oh, no, thank you. I'm fine. All right, Rex, sit down. I'm going to give you the uh, <clears throat> the short version. So, yeah, um, Durzip is um, Durzip is here. He'll give the rest. But Michael, can you give him the simplified? Yeah, he's now? he's an idiot, and apparently he got uh, he got attacked by a dragon. Wait, what? Yeah, that's the... Oh, yeah, because somebody might be cutting in on their blood trade. Dragons. Well, it, 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 above game, I didn't tell you all that, Ed. Oh, I figured you told me that while we were... No, I, 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 I'll, I'll take it. Um, um, There were... They were doing their their uh, information gathering for us. Um, Apparently, I mean, I kind of don't want to go through all of this because I want to wait for Kel to get here, but you basically we may have dragons to be dealing with. Red ones. Oh, good. Oh, goody. I love I dragons. dragons. They're my favorite. You do Meanwhile, not back at the tower, Costumer sneezes. <laughs> She's you. the exception. The problem is most of them think they're above the law. Sorry, what was that, Kel? If it is red dragons, you do not believe maybe Ragnar's call is involved. Because we that? were told proxy battles using criminal gangs. <gasps> Above game. Oh right, that that the one who stole the princess or prince. That was a red. Yeah. That was a red elder. That wasn't was it? a red dragon. Red, that was red right. Elder. It Sorry, that, absolutely that's absolutely be connected. That's far back in my notes. I I was like looking back in my notes at dragons and I forgot. I didn't grab that one. Right, right. I okay. Personally, would not be surprised if he was working with the breach gang. Damn it. Because I remember what the breach gang did. They took out the gang of green dragons. Yes, yeah, he killed. Here's the best. Here's the best part. So apparently, if an ancient dragon is helping out this whole blood trade thing, they're above all jurisdiction. And guess who pays our bills? Fucking dragons. So this is just great. Here's the other complication. We don't know if... If it's the trolls that hired the dragons, or is it the dragons who hired the trolls? Mm, to be fair, dragons are... It doesn't take much to... Convince them to work with you, generally, especially yeah. younger ones. Wait, they were young dragons? Yeah, they were 
Durzip says they looked like they weren't they weren't old dragons. They were they were young. He um they managed to kill two of them, but one got away. Okay, that's actually better news because young dragons, yeah, you're right. If they're youngs, they're maybe mercenaries and they're not working for the ancient one. If the ancient one's involved, we got big problems. The ancients may do whatever they please. Young, old, it does not matter. Also, I'm going to assume we're going to ignore the fact that you just admitted that they murdered two citizens. <sighs> well, yeah, see, Gibby, this is not a point. little thing. I, I'm aware, but we're already entangled in not little things just by working with the Mafia, so let's deal with that when we come. The hell is Tannis? Tannis. You get a little lost. I'm here, I guess. <laughs> he just sneezes like four miles away like, what? Hmm. Tannis, you are lost. Cool. Not terribly lost, but you feel like you've made the wrong turn. I think I made a wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> Did you 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 ended up in Albuquerque, didn't you? Uh, I guess so. There's this there's this guy in a pink wrestling mask and he's doing a jig or something. Yeah, you see this is why you don't take detours. <laughs> Can I get myself unlost? <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say it was just like, what does Kel do? How how do you want to get unlost in this situation? Uh, I will text. Uh, uh, I will text uh, Gibby. Uh, I think I took a wrong street. Can you give me your address again? I oh shoot, dang it! My dad's calling. I can't right now, Dad. Um, it's me, your dad. Whoa, that is. I will so see meta. the text. I will see the text and look at Bryant and uh, Cal and be like, "Crud, he's lost. He wants my address." Um, again, I don't know how much they look at my phone. Can one of you help him? I'm gonna text Tannis the address. Okay, you text Tannis the address. Tannis, woo -woo, you get a text message back. Uh, I'll text him back. T.Y., uh, her phone dead or something? She's caught up in something really, really big that involves our case and can't text you directly from her phone because Durzab's an idiot and texted or called someone from it, period. There's a long pause. Great, period, <laughs> send. So great, period. The best, period. Around, period. Tannis, where you are, you suddenly hear people kind of, like, gasping and pointing. Not in, like, fear or, like, terror, but in, like, intrigue and awe. Uh, as you're texting, you see people go, oh, wow, look at that! And pointing I, up. I get distracted, and I look up. You see as a bunch of the billboards in the area, which there's a lot of them, these obnoxious kind of big, flashy ads kind of all, like, disappear for a moment, like, turn completely black. And then suddenly this very large, like, intertwined, connected animation plays of this sort of ocean scene that's fully animated with, like, whales and fish and other beautiful creatures of the water. And people are all kind of looking, um, and everyone's kind of gawking and looking and, like, ooing and aahing at it. You see some people pulling out their phones and, like, videotaping it, and you have not a clue as to what's going on. Huh. I'll just, I'll just approach somebody that's that's not recording it. You see, like two like college girls who are kind of like like some like they're both kind of taking selfies of it as you kind of approach them. Uh, excuse me, ladies. Hi. Hi. Um, what's going on? I've oh, never that's really imp. And it's hard. To Have you, you've never seen the work of imp. Mm, no <laughs> imp. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look at each, to each other and kind of giggle, and the one looks back. They're both human. Um, the one human kind of turns back and goes, Imp is, like, the coolest, like, street artist group. They hack billboards and put their art on it. It's, like, totally cool. Oh, shit. Above I've heard of Notorious Monty? IMP. Is this, like, their Banksy or something? You don't know. Oh. 
You're not there. Seriously, dude. Notor <laughs> Notorious IMP is my favorite street artist. Just asking in general. <laughs> uh, I got secrets. I can't say anything. <laughs> Imp, huh? They, um, they do this a lot. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, like all the time. They're like some of the biggest street artists. Hmm. Interesting. So they've gone from cans of spray paint to hacking billboards with LEDs. Times sure are strange. You see now as you're standing there, a bunch of police cars now zooming towards the buildings where the billboards are set up. Um, I'd say you could easily recognize it as the Petty Crimes Division currently all rolling in to deal with this as people are kind of like cheering and taking pictures. He just sort of shakes his head and goes back to his car. Well, I'll leave you to it, ladies. Have a fine day. Uh, yeah, take care. Bye. Oh, get me with one of the... Look at the sperm whale. Get me with the sperm whale. Thanks. And she's, like, taking pictures with her friend. Mm -hmm. uh, as you make your way through the alleyways, uh, roll a perception check for me. Here. Yeah. Don't get jumped. Oh, Please man, that would, be we that would be weird. <laughs> if I got jumped all of a sudden, that's it's gonna be a links. eleven. Okay. Don't worry, you won't see it coming. <laughs> you hear a heavy set of footsteps running up behind you. Son of a bitch! Am I on my am I on my feet or am I in my oh, car? Oh yeah, no, you're out. You're, I assume you're by foot. You got lost. Okay. So I assume you were walking. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna be like holding my phone, like where is. Yeah, you hear this rush of footsteps run past you. Do you look or do you just keep walking? Well, this dude dude is running by me. I'm going to look at him. All right, you see a human, probably, I would say mid-20s, a bit heavier set, um, wearing, like, cargo pants, like cargo shorts, uh, flip-flops, a hoodie. Um, he's got kind of this, this mop, this, this, like, mop of, like, brown hair, uh, circular glasses on his eyes, but what stands out is his mouth when he runs past you. His mouth is, like, sewn shut. Like, it, there's stitches that run from the top lip to the bottom lip all the way down the length of his mouth. Uh... Um, and you see him currently running with a bag, and there's a bunch of wires kind of hanging out as he just runs past you. Is there anyone chasing? I'll, lo I'll look over my shoulder. Is there anyone, like, chasing him? Uh, as he rushes past you, like, you don't see anyone chasing him right now, no. As you turn back, there's no one in immediate pursuit of him as he runs past. Mm. I'll put my phone away and I'll give chase to him. Okay. Oh, here uh, we go. Go ahead and roll uh, initiative have... then. Okay. Son of a bitch. Eleven. What the really? fuck? We got elevens today. We got a bad Can't case of the eleven. I mean, 90 movement speed, so yeah, it doesn't much matter. Alrighty. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can find something. What I'm more what, impressed what by is this? this guy running in sandals. Oh, that's going to be way better for later. I'm sorry, I'm finding... There you go. <laughs> It's more dire. I want to find something. Gosh. I think it's called Baba something. Hold on. Give me one sec real quick. I really Baba want to find Ganoush? something. Baba no, Booey? No, no, no. Booba Baba Didi? Bibbidi Babidi Boo? Baba Americano? Baba Black Sheep? You know what? I'm just going to add to the game. I'm pretty sure it's this song. Baba Baran? Is it working? I don't why hear my, anything. Why is my music not working? What is happening? Baba Baba Yaga? By Kevin yeah, McLeod. Baba Yaga is what it's supposed Boba? to be called. Why is it not playing? What's like, oh. I don't refresh. That's a bit heavy, isn't it? Now. Is it playing now? It's not playing for me. Uh, not Baba for Yaga me by Kevin McLeod is playing now. Oh. That is not what I wanted. But I'll use it. It's fine. It works. Oh, boy. Alrighty, so you rolled an 11 initiative? Yeah. Okay, 
So he has a healthy lead on you as he turns around the corner, but you make chase. You are a fast, fast boy. I am very fast. So you are running full sprint. You're not hiding your presence. You're not stealthing. You're just running full sprint. Yeah, why not? Okay. So as you run full sprint, you manage to get probably about 30 feet away from this guy as he's moving through crowds now. Uh, and he notices you running full pace. Excuse me, sir. What's your rush? Shit. You watch as he turns and he keeps running. Uh, it is now your turn because he used his full movement dash to get away. Okay. I'm not gonna use a key point. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dash to use 90, 90 feet of movement speed. Okay. You, might you actually... dash. You dash up and you you reach him. Do you try to stop him? Or are you trying to impede his movement? Uh, I'm just gonna keep pace with him and be like, "What's the hurry?" And I'll just I'll try to be, uh, I'll try to be ready for. Um, if he tries to trip me or something. Okay. Uh, he keeps running. Uh, as he runs on his turn, you hear a sharp whistle. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Perception. Don't speed 11. 23. Okay. Not a great stealth check. You notice a fair distance away um, a, another humanoid. This humanoid is very strange looking. Um, you have no idea what they are. Their eyes are as like almost as big as an owl's. Like they have just these huge, huge yellow eyes. Um, they're wearing a hoodie, clearly. Um, and notably, they're jumping like roof to roof, and their like legs look like someone took them and stretched them out. Um, to make them almost longer in nature. So like where the toes would meet the heel has been stretched out. Um, and they're like jumping roof to roof. You notice features on them that are very like, they have like long ears, like they have long like animal-like ears uh, and a tail. Um, and they're like jumping roof to roof. They look very unhuman, very, very weird. Um, and other details you can't really notice from this distance. As they do a sharp whistle, though, and you look up and you look down, you watch as the uh, guy you're chasing after turns invisible from your position and disappears. Oh. Do I hear foot Do I hear footsteps still, or did he just turn invisible and stop? Uh, you still hear footsteps, but it's very hard to tell where he is in a crowd of people who, at this point, the crowd of people are, like, rushing out of your way because you are the only insane person currently running still. <laughs> What do I have in my inventory? With advantage. With advantage. This is invisible. That ends their turn. So he so he turned invisible and then I, I assume he kept running? You assume. You don't know. You can hear footsteps, but it's hard to hear with other people walking around. He's made a stealth check, so... What to do? What to do? What's what's the what's the road kind of looking like where we're running along? You're on a sidewalk on the right side of uh, a reasonably busy road. Um, the traffic is stopped at a stoplight where you are currently, um, but it, once it goes green, those cars will be gone. It is not clogged congestion driving. It is very smooth going uh, city driving right now. I don't have a radio on me, like a personal radio, do I? Uh, police radio, you mean? Yeah. Um, not really, no. You guys are specifically detectives. You would have one in your car. Shit. You technically aren't on duty either right now. Technically, <sighs> but... That's true. I do still have my badge on me, though, right? You absolutely do. Oh fuck! All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to chase as best I can. I'm going to, I'm going to, not dash, but I'm going to keep a lookout to see if I see anything out of the ordinary, like people getting bowled over suddenly, or so like you'll a have to make dust. Mark. 
You'll have to make a perception check against his stealth check that he made on his turn. Okay. Here I go. Come on, baby. Come on, big money, 10. Oh. You lose track of him. You look around, you see things moving, like, you know, you see you see papers moving on the ground, but that's the wind. You look around, you see people walking, and unfortunately, with that, they're gone. You don't see any of them either more anymore. They managed to escape your gaze. I did get a look at the guy's face, though, right? You sure did, yeah. Uh, could you give me that description again so I could write it down in my notes? Uh, mid twenties looking guy, mop of brown hair, kind of heavier set. Um, wearing like cargo shorts with like flip flops. Uh, carrying a kind of shoulder bag filled with easily computer pieces and other such things that you don't really know. Um, his one notable feature is the fact that his mouth looks like is this as if it's been sh like sewn shut. There's like stitching running from the top lip to the bottom lip. But I, I clearly heard him say, uh, say like, shit or something like that. Right? Yeah, he seemed like he was avoiding um, pursuit from somebody. And then there, there was that long person as well. Yeah, the person who was jumping roof to roof. Um, you have no idea what the fuck that was. That was weird. Like, you saw it and you were like, whoa. Like, you, there's, like, beasts and, you know, there, there's magical creatures, but you've never seen anything like that before. That's completely new territory for you, even. Um, and... They're gone as well. It looks like possibly they were working together. You're not sure. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll just. How far away is my is my car at this point? I'm just going to. Uh, the car is at the precinct. Shit. You don't have a personal vehicle. You just when you go to the precinct, you can pick it up. Double shit. All right. Uh, I'll just. I'll I'll uh I'll text Lucy I guess. Okay, you pull out your phone. Um, he'll he'll text. I'm not really sure who to go with to with this or go go to for this. Um, but I think I just saw a guy going by the name the Imp. Graffiti artist. I got a description. Mid twenties, brown hair, wearing flip flops. Looked like his mouth was sewn shut. Is there any way I could get this information over to Petty Crimes? You get a message back from Lucy. Mouth so sh sewn shut, and it's like the scare emoji, like she's scared. Ugh, gross. Uh, yeah, you can file a report when you get here. Thank you for sure your thing. service, and it's a salute emoji back. <laughs> I'm just I. Just doing my job, ma'am. I text her back. As you look up, you notice, hey, that apartment is the one I'm supposed to go to. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we've been sitting there for like five ah, hours. Convenient. You here? Huh. I look, I look down at my I swear, uh, if he went back to Alvin Jorky, I swear I'm gonna punch him in the face. I look down at my phone, I look at the address of the house, I look back down at my phone, look at the address, and I just walk up and I check out the door, see it's him, be like... I'm Vero Tannis. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. C come on, come on, come in. Lock the door after him. Okay. Uh, do you want coffee? No, thank you. Dragons attack Durzib! Not so loud. Uh, does it sound like Durzib's done in the shower yet? It's definitely he's done, like, in the water, but he's been in there for a while. Um, I'm just gonna knock on the door and be like, "Hey, Durza, they're all here." Uh, that that's great. I will be out in uh, uh just a second. You Are don't you take okay? your time. Yeah, I'm good. I um, you watch as the door kind of cracks open. I'm gonna be real honest with you here. None of these towels are gonna cover any of this. Do you have anything bigger? Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah. One second. Um, I go to my room and I pull the comforter off my bed. Oh my okay. god! And just they see me like dragging this <laughs> huge freaking comforter through the through the apartment. Hey, you know, Durzib, just... if you if you need us to call Mama Rugigi, I'm sure she could dress you. It's no problem. Gibby doesn't have Shut to do Shut the fuck up, Yumi. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, he okay, no, no, I'm just trying to help out. <laughs> uh, he emerges uh, wearing the comforter around his waist. Um, is his clothes ready to go? Not even close, no. Um, it's just looks at Gibby. <laughs> um, 
incredulous. It's been an interesting night. Um, your your clothes. I aren't see quite that. Ready yet? Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, morning, but, gentlemen. Um, awfully, um, awfully familiar. You two are. Um, no, I. Uh, guess, well, I mean, um, you just not really like that. You know, look, I don't care who's fucking who. We got to talk about the dragons, all right? Right, Tannis, coffee. Oh no, wait, I asked you, Durzo, coffee. Yeah, I love one. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's get down to business, shall we? What the hell smell? happened, Durzib? Yeah. Me and the boys the body wash. You smell weird. I smell like pomegranate. Rex, focus. Sorry. That's what it is. Pomegranate is so weird. Why not strawberry? <sighs> All anyway. right. All right. Dragons, go. Me and my boys were doing an investigation down by the piers in the de- the fiends ward. There, I. Eh? Okay. Look, yeah. Looking around, seeing who's got connections. Long story short, if people are producing blood in the right way, he kind of puts kind of like puts his hand out. By the way, this conversation is very odd as he is completely shirtless. Like he is literally just sitting there in basically like a in waist. In a blanket. In a blanket. In a blanket yeah. around the waist. Like he just got out of the he, damn shower. He is messed up though. Notably, uh his nose has got like cotton. Like like he he took some Kleenex and shoved like Kleenex in his nose. Um, and he's got this giant scar down the front of him, but it's old. You can tell it's old. Um, again, to reiterate, it, it runs from his right shoulder down to kind of his chest area, almost crossing over to the other chest area, and then runs down past the waist where you can't see the rest of it. But it's it's a big scar. Like, it's impossibly large. You notice there's other nicks and cuts and other, other things. Stab wounds. A lot of stab wounds. Um... Specifically near the neck and uh, the chest and the rib area. You see many scars bearing scab wounds. He kind of jabs his finger down and goes, Based on what I knew, we did our contacts with the drow. They've been clean, haven't been running any princess blood to our knowledge. And uh, as much as they're dodgy folk, we trust them. They've worked well with us for many years. Now what is this about the red dragons? So I went to go look at this place down by the pier called Old Achilles. How do you spell that? A O. Uh, sorry, O L. Oh my gosh. O L. K I. K I. Sorry, I am. I cannot type. O L apostrophe yeah. M A K I L L I E S. Okay. Machilis. And you said Michilis. that was the team ward. Oh, Machilis. It's in the team ward. Oh, it's a dog I in the team guess. ward. Okay, got it. Above game, I'm trying to remember because we were gonna we were gonna check docks, and I think we mm. didn't know if they were in the. That is exactly what we were gonna check. It yeah, yeah. Beat us to it. We had an informant who told us that uh, trolls have been kind of hanging around there a little bit. We went to go look at it. Place was empty. When we left, there was an ambush waiting for us. So you got set up. We got set up. Yeah. Who's your informant? He kind of looks. He's a Durgar fella. Mm, you got a name? O'Malley Blackhand. Sounds like a trustworthy fellow. What kind of... Is he human? Or is he... What is he? He's a Durgar. Du- oh, you said that. What is it? I've never heard that term above D-dwarf. game. How do you spell that? Dark Dwarf. <laughs> Ah, you, can ask him. you can ask for clarification, yeah. Dark dwarf. Can't... I know he sounds dodgy, but trust me, he's a good informant. You think for sure he didn't have anything to do with this? He's told us a lot of information that could get him killed. I, I trust him. Hmm. You can go talk to him yourself if you're so inclined. Not a huge fan of cops, though. Right. Oh, here, I hand him his coffee. Oh, thank you. He kind of sips, he goes, I have two sugars and two creams. I hate to be a bother. <laughs> it's okay. I get up with this drop. It's going to be an interesting meeting. <laughs> I am Are not sure? going to ask you to turn your head and cough, so please stay dressed. What does that mean? Why would I cough? Oh, boy, here we go. You will find All out right. one day when you are older. So let's continue with story time. So you get there, you're ambushed by red dragons, young ones, right? Well, no, we go to the place, completely cleared out, like someone just moved. So 
there was nothing there. So somebody was tipped off that you were tipped off. Yeah. So we make our way back home. Next thing we know, our car's lit up by dragon fire. And I'm punching a fucking dragon in the middle of the streets. Myself and two of my boys were carried off. One didn't make it, the other one did. Did it seem What information did this guy give you? you? We went to go speak with them. He said he didn't really like bothering with the the trolls right now, but he said he'd noticed some activity near the docks. He's got a lot of business near the docks, you see. A lot of things coming and going. Special things that shouldn't be in the city coming and going out that space as you get the gist. Contraband. <laughs> Among other things, I... So... Yeah, he mentioned he saw some shifty business at the dock, but it's his business is shifty business, so he didn't think too much of it. Of course, when we come talking, he was easy enough to rat him out. It's very interesting that you mentioned docks, because one of our leads was also going to have us checking out docks. What information did want... this informant... What information specifically did this informant give you? He just said he saw trolls coming and going. Trolls don't spend too much time here, docks. At least to my knowledge. They have one business there, I think. Uh, what was it called? Uh, you mean the bar? The fight yeah. club? Hey, is that where we met? It is, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is too far away from that place. Oh, wait, uh, above game. Is that in the list of places we got? I saw that list. There were a few, yeah. yeah. Uh, Found it. Then. It is Rip Gun. The Fight Haircut. Club. Yeah, that's the Fight Club. And then there were two other ones, too. Salted there Snake. Salted Snake. Heaven's and Bar. The Heaven's Bars. Rat oh, Poison. Rat Poison Ridge and Point. Ridge Point. Yep. Rat Poison's in the Lich Ward. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that one's... Mm -hmm. The question is, what the, f what the fuck did Jay move out of that warehouse? And the better question is, either someone's listening on my informant, or we got a rat in the fucking system. Durs, if I hate to bring this up, but when you were saying how you were worried about me using my phone and being too specific when I had told them to come over, are you called your friend? Are we okay mm. on that? Yeah, hopefully. I haven't called him since. Before we got jumped, I was trying to make a call to the boss. Picked up my phone, it was all staticky like, right? Next to me, no. Woof, dragon fire. Could have been some sort of device. Could have been a techromancer. Not sure. Have to be careful. Mm. Techromancer. Yeah. Is your phone bugged? You, you've never heard the name Imp before, have you? Oh, what the famous street artist? Yeah, I think I had oh, a run yeah. with him. I think I think I had a run in with him shortly before I came here. He <laughs> watches Joseph kind of scoffs towards you, Brian, and sips his coffee, and go, "Humi doesn't even know who Imp is." <laughs> I don't know who it is either. Some sort of. Neither do I, Cal. It's okay. So, like, it's like a graffiti artist, but they use, like, these newfangled Bluetooth or Blue Fang. <laughs> yeah, oh, Blue Fang. They're, 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 like, they're, like hack, they're like artists, but hackers? Kind of. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of kids that go around painting walls. Newfangled. Must have a hell of a artist. boss to be able to pull off that operation to be able to hack stuff and make art. That's crazy. Yeah. Didn't look like much. He sure can run, though, and he did cast a, a spell. At least I'm assuming that's what it was. He turned himself invisible and then ran off. I think he had an <laughs> accomplice of some long guy. Long? He was humanoid. Or I'm, I'm assuming it's a he. I, I don't know. I didn't really get a good look. But their proportions were strange can i roll arcana on that maybe know what he's talking about in terms of human sure. noise go ahead and roll an arcana on that with disadvantage All but right. with guidance ah, ah. Woo. i was gonna ask if i could roll uh, arcana 13? on the tech stuff and then roll your guidance come on before oh well what oh you're right mm -hmm. <laughs> come on baby four yay so nice. 17 total 17 
as Tannis describes the person to you, and Tannis, you were still pretty far away. It's really hard to piece together what that could be. You think maybe a shifter, maybe a lycanthrope of some kind. But all of the features don't make a ton of sense. Something about it is unnatural, both, you know, in, in you know, nature and also in arcana as well. It sounds to you like a curse, not really a existing sort of, you know, lycanthropy or racial thing. Uh, I mean, that that sort of person is sort of like, it's sort of like, like, like what's the word? Lycanthropy. Lycanthropy. Lycanthropy or um, the shifter, but it's not not quite right. That doesn't sound natural. It's like something we got forced more wearing down them, animals. maybe. No, it's, it's more like something that might, like something that is unnatural about them, like maybe a curse or something. Well, maybe we should ask the people we know that know about curses. Might be right up there a damn alley if we could find them. I don't think it was a bunch of punk kids who hacked off phone plus... I mean, most of them fangled artists like to hang out in the Central War, but same business, sort of. Mm, a... My question still stands about your phone, though. Was it hacked? Has it been altered in any way? Have you had it examined? Well, no. Nah. He kind of kind of pats around and goes, oh, shit. Do you have my phone? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Um, yeah. I'll go and fish it out of the bowl and give it to him. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, him. The rest of your uh, things are in there, too. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. He left. Um... He pulls out the phone. Fortunately, when I got dropped by the dragon, unfortunately, my phone got dropped too, and uh, he hands you the phone, and it's got a giant crack right down the middle. It is clearly broken. So you don't need this anymore, right? Nah, I probably have to get a new one. I could use a SIM card, though. I mean, what you think nah, they'll buying, probably but... give you a new one when you get a new phone. It looks outdated. That's like two models old. All right, what are you thinking there with your humey head? I'm thinking let us analyze your phone. He kind of sips his coffee. He goes, I've got some discreet texts on that phone. Look, man, I could have cracked it while you were in the bathroom. I'm giving you the courtesy of asking. I knew it was broken before I went into the shove. He turns towards you, Gibby. Can I trust you with that? I trust you with that. I mean, if... You trust me enough to look at sensitive information, then I will trust Bryant. Right, Bryant? Yeah. It will be for this case. It is more about I... trusting the tech division. They'll be the ones doing it. That's true. I will say yes in terms of Bryant. Of course, there there is that wrinkle that the tech division, you know. Look. I'll see what I can do working on the phone myself, and then I'll bring it to the tech division if I can't find anything. Durza kind of like Durza kind of strokes his beard and looks up towards you. Hey, do you remember that blood sample the necromancy division gave us? The one they said they got from uh, trolls. Yeah. The reason uh, you mentioning the dogs is interesting is because uh, that blood sample belonged to a human that worked at dogs. Potentially that same one you were at. We were actually going to track that down. Well, I do so. I'm a bit concerned here. I want to continue my own investigation, but if we got a rat... Well, you watch as he just kind of rolls his knuckles together and just kind of cracks them a little bit. That's going to be our own little problem, isn't it? What I'm saying is, what they may have moved out is potentially their blood operation. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Especially if this person we're interested in was working at those dots, be easy enough to snatch them up. He watches, uh, also, you watch as Zerza turns towards you, Tana, and goes, How the turns have tabled. <laughs> how the tables mm. have turned. Shut the fuck up. I just, he drinks his coffee and just, like, bitterly and, like, just looks give him a pat eye. on the shoulder. When the you good shoulder. Those dogs, sir, did you happen to see a bugbear or maybe any older humans? We saw nobody. The place was scarce, empty, just rats, and that was it. Interesting. And you said they your informant was uh, O'Malley Blackhand? Yeah, O'Malley. Good old. You call him old O'Malley. He's a. Uh, he uh, makes, uh, fixes up trucks and things, but he also works a little bit on the skeevy side. 
sometimes the engines... Like we approach them in plain clothes. Yeah, but make sure, maybe not to mention me, if we got a rat. No, if he's not going got... to mention you. And if the rat's watching him, maybe watch him as well. Hmm. There's a rat I know of that has dirt on uh, both of us at this point. Yeah, a magical fucker. Yes, because... Uh, oh, I'm going to pound him into a bloody pulp. Because think about this way, Durzip. Hmm. He exposed Brian and the rest of us in front of you yeah. and Jum at the club. Then you come Damn back right to the did. club and lie to his face. If the manticore starts telling him different, if he's playing informant for the trolls, that may be why you got ambushed. He kind of exhales out of his nose and thinks about it. The point yeah. is, he has dirt on all of us. He's in the best position to make bank from the trolls. And he's already proven that he doesn't give a damn who he has to sell out to make a quick buck. It'd be a real shame if his neck was broken tomorrow, wouldn't it? Yeah, it sure would fucking would be. Maybe don't say that in front of us. He's kind of no, he's wrong. Kind of I'll, I'll, he's gotta get. He's gotta get in line. He's not wrong. I'm gonna do it first. I was about to say, I'd like to think that Durs and Bryant and Kel all look to Gibby simultaneously at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, ugh. okay, fine. <sighs> would, um, would Mr. Blankhand perhaps know anything about Malik? Maybe. He might. Informants typically run the same circles. Same gambit, uh, yeah. Maybe I'd ask about that, yeah. Good. If I can get to the bottom of this manticore, we can find out if he's the rat. And if he is, you will not have to worry about him. That's what I like to hear. Uh, Gibby, he watches, he turns over towards yeah, you Gibby. looking a little creepy. Yeah? Hey, um, I hate to be a bit of an unwanted guest or anything like that, but... If you need to so stay here for a bit, that's fine. That'd be pretty peachy, yeah. Um, I could clean <laughs> the floors. <laughs> if you want to try, Please. but be careful. I'm not imagining Durzim in a French maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he turns what over. Amazing goes, visual. By the way, uh, the shower curtain. I kind of nicked it a bit. It's a bit dodgy, so just be careful. Also, uh, don't worry this, about it. That body wash, like that was just like I smell. How about gray. I pick you some up, okay? Yeah, all the men's stuff just smells like avalanche. The fuck does avalanche smell like? I don't want to smell like fucking flowers. Look at me, I smell great. Avalanche <laughs> okay. smells like disappointment and father issues. He points and nods towards Kel, like. Mm -hmm. I did want to, in terms of dragons, I don't know. I wonder if we could ask Acid back for a, a, a help on this. Maybe he knows something. I wouldn't plumb that uh, sort too much. We've already asked a lot of him. That's true. Though maybe Kostemeyer, she's got more on the street. Who is the Red Ancient? That would be Ragnus Call. And from what we know about him, he's a piece of work. And he's by that, I mean a piece of shit. He's a fucker, yeah, that's right. Baron don't it's... like him much. He is not above using criminal gangs to wage proxy wars with the other ancients. I would not I forget be surprised who... if he hired the troll gang to take out vile Harrowfang. Yeah, but that's or the Harrow thing we have Fang. to prove. We have to figure out if these were rogue young dragons or if they were working for the ancient. If they're working for the ancient, this shit got a whole lot more complicated. Oh, yeah. I mean, if an ancient is involved, we're fucked. There's nothing for it. No, we're not, I'll still walk up there and give him a piece of my fucking mind. I don't give a damn. I'm you sick and die. tired of these ancient motherfuckers getting away with everything. They are not above the fucking law. They are. I'm they worried. Are. I, what he did before with that other princess, that was a power grab, and they couldn't do anything about it. And I start to wonder if this is a further, if, it, if he is involved, if he is deeply involved this is a further power grab well everyone let's just keep calm all right that's worst case scenario right let's focus on street level for now let's see him um, moment level later i will say having you folk around will probably make this a bit less more painless so we got a couple leads you got the blood sample you got my 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 girl boy old o'malley you can go talk to him They're in the and, same location. Uh, hmm? They're in the same location because we need to visit the docks. 
Specifically, oh, yeah, right. one in the Leech Ward, one in the Dragon Ward, and one in Fiend. Obviously, not going to Leech. That's stupid. We'll go to Dragon and Fiend. Mm. All right. And I'll uh, dust, I guess. <laughs> Oh, there's, um, I mean, I don't got much that, it, you know, feel free to watch TV and, you know. Though, um, shoot, um, in terms of keeping in touch with you, I guess your phone is out of the question. How should we? Yes, right, busted. Um, I could send a carrier pigeon. Could that we was, get you that a, was a joke. phone? Uh. Like a cheap little mobile one that they like. There's, if you don't have a single see. burner phone and you work for the mafia. Come on, man. I'm just saying, like, your boss doesn't give you burner phones? You all use your own phones all the time? Yeah. Um, okay. Do you think it'd be safe to, I mean, do you think oh, it'd be safe to maybe use one I of our pay phones? phones? I could use a pay phone. Oh, I mean, I was going to say, do you think it's safe we just let you borrow one of our phones and you can contact the Baron and get yourself a replacement? Just sent, delivered here? Hopefully discreetly. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, if not, I could use a pay phone outside. They still have those? Yes. Hey, you kind of turned you. Look, we're not all Yumi's who have all kinds of rights and are able to get everything they want, right? I mean, I just, I figured they got rid of all those things. I haven't seen one ever. I like the <sighs> pay phones because they have the physical buttons and my fingers can actually... Hey, there was like this superhero that used to change in a phone booth. That's, yeah, that was pretty cool. Ultraman. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Ultraman he in existence shit. world? Wait, how do you know about Ultraman? Wait, hold on. You're a fan of both sides of the coin? That's pretty West. What's up? Hmm. Man. <laughs> Can't believe they have Ultraman in this universe, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you think using Wait. the payphone outside is safe? I mean, uh, you might be a little noticeable. He looks, looks sure, down yeah. at the towel and goes, Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, I'll borrow one of your cell phones. They might I recommend Gibby's? Mine is there. Uh, it would be very awkward if my mother called and you answered. Very, very awkward. And we possibly say. dangerous for you. Okay, I was going to say we have the same cadence and you said dangerous, and now I'm not thinking too confidently on that one. Mm. Um, Gibby. Could I... <laughs> I, I don't know if... I mean, I've avoided being specific on my phone so far because I worry they might be listening and on mine. You think it's okay? It's up to you. I say we just go pay a visit to the Orc Stronghold directly and make a request with somebody there. Oh. That way there's nothing that can cool. be traced. It's all word of mouth. But then there's would have no way to contact us. And if happens. you be if they find you lurking about with the orcs, any of your incognito shit's going out the window. Yep. And I don't want to do that. <sighs> Brian's Look, I said I'm sorry. He watches Zerus of turns towards you, Tannis. I'm yeah, just so you don't really get to you just say you're sorry about you that. You're kinda... sorry. No. I got this, Brian. Um, Michael, Brian's gonna push his phone? phone forward. Yeah, Mike's gonna push his phone forward. Text who you need to text. Tell them where to bring it. If my phone gets hacked, at least I know how to deal with it. Gotcha. He takes your phone. So are you going to be all right, dude? Yeah, we'll be all right. Also, last little piece of advice. If at any point during this venture you run into a troll, you fucking run. Yeah, no, we are not stupid. It takes at least five, if not more of us orcs to fight them. That's with fire. No offense. They'll kill you. None taken. You're just going to check out some docks and speak with your friend O'Malley. Alright. Good luck. We will keep you posted, or maybe not. Depends on if it's dangerous or not. Yeah, text us as soon as you get the phone, okay? That's what I'm saying here. Yeah. But, I mean, when it gets delivered when to When it you. gets dropped off, she means. Sorry, time out. DM confusion. What's happening? Drop. Oh, he off? needs to get a burner phone. He needs to get a phone that he can use permanently that isn't mine. Oh, so well, you're going to get him a burner phone. phone. We, can, we can get him a burner phone, or he can contact uh, the strong boss and be like, phone. hey, I need a fucking D phone. 
doesn't want to contact the stronghold right now. He's Great, to then I'll get him a burner phone. Him. I'll right. be. A, I will be a better criminal than the orc so, mob. I will go get him a burner phone. There, here's the thing: you're not the brightest, <laughs> but um, yeah. uh, Brian, add Durza's broken phone to your inventory because that is something he's going to give you. So if you guys want to okay, check cool. that up, you absolutely yep. can. I'll put that in my inventory. All right, we'll, we'll get you a phone as soon as possible. I guess in an emergency, do go ahead and use the payphone outside, but otherwise, let's avoid that for now. All right, sounds good. Got it. <sighs> he also has my phone, Gibby, so he'll be all right. Yeah, so Brian, you no longer have your cell phone. Uh, it is Correct. now in the, the hands of Dursub. The rest of you guys have your cell phones. All right, so as you guys leave Gibby's house, where are you guys going? I'm going to go get a burner phone. That's the first thing I need to do. Is there any pharmacies around to obtain a burner phone? Look, literally all we need is a grocery store. We need some kind of electronic store. Any place we can buy a phone, straight cash, so nobody For the sake of it. brevity, because <laughs> this was a bit unexpected, Dursa gives you probably way too much cash. Um, his wallet, like, he didn't go through his wallet. There's a lot of money in there. There's, like, 200 gold worth, like... Dollar wise, I will add two hundred gold to my money. inventory. Perfect. Yeah, Durzip's money, absolutely, you can because he's not there to stop you. Perfect. Um, Excellent. So the burner phone will cost you about eighty gold. Okay. And Benzo. you give that to him, and you get your phone back. So Durzip now has a dinky little burner phone. And I will be nice. I will give him back uh, uh, the leftover money. I'll give him a hundred and ten back. Okay. It would have been 120. Because it was 80. Shh. Fine, I'll give him 120, but you had to call me on it. <laughs> you, like, slip him the 110. He goes, wait a second. You slip the, the, other, the other 10. Kind of gives you a side eye. It was Brian. in the other pocket. Yeah, sure it was. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go, Rex. What? I don't like lying. Let's go, Rex. Mm. He I kidnapped the kid! God. I, son of a bitch. All right. We this murdered is... quicklings. Yeah. Yeah, Let's... but they deserved it. You rest up, okay? Yeah. We'll be back. I'll be fine. Thanks. Did you really just compare those things to a child? Come on, Rex. I don't know if they're citizens or not. It shouldn't matter. They're still lives. But they tried to kill us. You, you literally disintegrated that... one with a touch. And yeah, now to you're be fair, bad. we didn't yeah, have Why do you have a before. conscience now, Rex? I was proud of you. Then... You were literally just contemplating murdering a manticore in there. That is also that true. It's different. Is we it know. a bit of combat? <laughs> it is not different. I am not myself. That manticore has crossed a line that I will not allow. It dies one way or another. That's not your call to make. Okay, okay, Even guys. See. Let's 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 focus here. What are we up to next? Um Above game, I, I know we Nick's talking to Acid back, but were we receptive to asking Kostemeyer? So okay. we know we have to get the phone checked out so we can go to the precinct if we want, because we can also have Tannis file that report with somebody. Hmm. See if they know anything. I, so yeah, I, would I, should... let's make, I would say let's make a stop at the precinct, check in, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. Q. So let's do that. Prince of Vision. Prince of Vision. All right. You guys make your way back to the, the precinct where you are happily welcomed back by the various different staff. And you make your way into the Prince Division office. Uh, Roche is not present, uh, but uh, Lucy is. As you guys enter, she goes, oh, you guys are late today. Not that it's a problem. I mean, that's that's fine. But usually you're in earlier. I hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry. Thanks, Lucy. Oh, no worries. Um, I'll just keep doing this paperwork. <laughs> All right. Um, what was it again? Above game. It was like report and getting the check the phone out. Yeah, I'm gonna. It was get, I'm it going was to has go to, report. to the. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Petty Crimes Division, I guess, yep. and Petty file a report there. Division. I'm gonna go to the lab. I was gonna ask Gibby to do something though, if she's willing. Uh, ask me. Hey, Gibby. Yeah. While we're here, why don't you go knock on the necromancy's door, and when they don't answer, leave them a note. 
Let them know we need uh, some information. Um, Let um, them know we need some information. Tell you could put my name on it if you want. I don't care. But considering I, what we just found out, they might have information that we need. Uh, look, um, I'm blanking on his name. What was the werewolf's name? Uh, uh Ryer, 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 Fenton. Ryer Fenton. Yeah. Fenton kind of point blank told me to never knock on that door again. So I then slip a note under the door. Uh, it would be best if you did it, Brian. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. He said, "Don't knock." Then I won't knock. I'll just slip it under the door. Yeah, I. Uh, he made it very clear. What are you back. slipping under his door again? A note. What does the note say? Um, looking for some information on an individual and a potential curse. Seems like your department. Our case, not yours. I forget. Do we not have either of their numbers? Nope, they're uh, extremely they secretive. Yep. I, those guys. I have, I have Avulaga's husband's number. Right, he could maybe ask her to get in touch, or pass the message uh, along. Uh, <laughs> he seems to keep work out of the office. I don't know if that's smart. Plus, mm -hmm. his wife also doesn't tell him everything. That's also little, true. Feels a little disrespectful to keep going to the husband just to get, get to the wife. Your yeah. Wife. Needs must, okay? But I probably a note will suffice for now. Is there no way we can leave messages to other departments? Um, other departments, department. you can leave notes, but the, the necromancy division is, is very strange. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to leave that note, nope. and if you need me to, I'll put an addendum at the end to make it more urgent. Lucy? Mm -hmm. oh, yes? I have two questions for you, if I may. Uh, sure. It concerns citizenship. Uh, what do you want to know? Oh, shit. First off, are quicklings, little fey creatures, considered citizens? No. Are manticores considered citizens? Oh, goodness, no. Duly noted. Thank you. Uh, I hear this. You'll have a slightly disturbing smile. Did you did you say that in front of us just now? That depends. How quickly did you leave? <laughs> we haven't left yet. Sure sounded like you were going to. Either way, Kel's going to say it out loud. Fucking. Hmm. All right. Brian will remember this. We have to have a talk later. Remind me. Um, yeah. So uh, that note's getting left. Tannis, you're going to the... Petty crimes. Petty crimes, phone. yeah. Was there anybody else in the precinct we had to talk to about literally anything? Tech division mm. phone. Yes, I, I mentioned yeah. the phone. Ah. Uh, um, I think that's everything, right? Yeah, I think so. All we got here. So, Gibby, you can yeah. either come. I assume Rex is going to go with Brian, so you can either go with Tanish or you can come with us to tech. Um. Wait, where's... You guys are going to tech. Where's the other place? The petty crimes? He's going to petty crimes to give the report of the guy he saw. Uh, I'll go with him. Okay, cool. I keep him company. Yeah. Okay. So, Bryant, you have the phone? Yep. So Rex and I are going to tech. Okay. You and uh, Kel, make your way to tech immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Kel, you'll notice him dancing. <laughs> Kel is notably... <laughs> hmm, how to put it? No energy. Just walk. Yeah, no, I feel you. It's the ro the roles have been reversed. I love you. You're such a good role player. I love you. <laughs> uh, you guys, we're gonna open walk the door. In. Yep. All right. You see Dibbolt. Uh, Dibbolt. I think. Oh gosh. I my my memory is so shot. I don't know why. Uh, Dibbolt, Shern, and Mr. Troy, also known as Mr. Young, uh, all Ooh. working at their respective desks. The moment you guys open up the door, and the door slides open. By the way, it like opens yep. like an automatic door. Um, the music. <laughs> Stops and immediately Dibble turns and goes, What? Hey. Hey. What's going on? I, uh, I need a workstation. What, you want to work in the tech division? I'm going to pull the phone out. And I'm going to walk over he kinda like, He does that thing where he kind of shoves himself in like the rolling chair, like all the way across the room and in front of you, like yeah. spinning in a couple of circles before stopping in front of you. He goes, let me say, that's a big phone. Yeah, listen, Dibble, I kind of need to do this one off the book. So if I can work on it myself, or you can keep a secret, 
I need to get into this phone. Wow, wow, wow. Mr. Bryant wanting to work off the books. <laughs> Listen, it's the only way I was able to get this particular piece of evidence, all right? It's highly classified. Highly classified, is that right? Well, may I at least ask who this phone belongs to? And I get it. Don't worry. Everyone looks at porn. It's fine. <laughs> It, it belongs to somebody that's part of our investigation. Now, if I told you, I would hate to have to kill you over it. I'd love to see you try. <laughs> do you have a workstation open or not? I'll look at it. I'll look at it. But I do want to know who owns the phone. It, it belongs to a man named Durzin. Cool. Is he your boyfriend or... No, he's not. Yes, he's my boyfriend. Get the... Look, he's a part of the case. All right, he... Witness something we believe his phone might have been tampered with, so we're going to go through it and see if he has any information on it, if it's been bugged, anything like that. Someone tampered with this. We're trying to figure that out. Well, he I will find out. A jamming or... effect. I all also right. want to know everything that's on there. Okay, hold on. Listen, all right? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to process this phone like evidence. Now, if by for some reason the paperwork were to get lost when the people who submitted the report came in and picked it up and oopsie daisy into the trash or the shredder it goes, that's not my business. All right. I'm just going to hold out my fist to fist bump them. Don't touch me. I'll do this for you. All right. <sighs> it's a human thing. like anything in return, you. Officer Dibbled. I. You're performing a service. Do recompense is needed. I'll tell you what. You remember our last arrangement, Dibble? Yeah. Yeah, if something like that comes up, you let me know. And we'll well, get it done. Don't worry. I'll, I'll think of something. <sighs> don't worry about it. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's a human saying, don't take it literally. I'll give, I'll give you a text when I see what's on it. I appreciate you, Dibble. Good music choice. Uh-huh. Get out of here. Time to leave, and as we leave, I'm going to pull Kel aside. But I'll let Tannis and Gibby do their thing first. Okay. You guys head to Petty Crimes Division, where you're met with the Minotaur. I believe her name was... Oh, gosh. Yes! That's your lady. That's lady. Lady. Yeah, lady. 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 Yeah. You guys walk in. The office is completely vacant, except for Officer Lady, currently, like, gently chicken scratch, like, poking at a keyboard of a laptop, and she looks up. She goes... Oh, hello. Uh, is it, it's, it's morning, right? Yeah, it's like kind of like mid, like early, like late, late morning, kind of around lunchish. Good morning, officer lady. Morning. Oh, <laughs> you remembered my name. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't I have? Oh, just, you know, people don't really see me too often and all. A lot of work in here. Yeah. I don't really go out on the field too often. Mm. So, uh... Want... Hmm? Do you want to go out on the field? Oh, not really. I just, you know, I just uh, stay inside and uh, stay out of the way and all that jazz. I mean, if, if it's more comfortable that way. Sometimes the field isn't that great. Chairs are a bit small, but I can handle it. Uh, how can I help you? This is this is petty crimes, correct? Oh yeah, this is petty crimes. Um, I had a report to file. Um, actually, I witnessed some vandalism this morning, and I believe I might have found your suspect that we got away. Oh, uh, could you give more details? That'd be great. Any help is appreciated. Yeah. Um, he'll sort of, he'll sort of, like, scroll through his phone to, like, look at the description he wrote down before he did anything else. Yeah. Also, for the sake of brevity, uh, you, you explain what happened to her. Yeah. Unless there's any details you want to withhold, but... No, I'll just, I'll tell her everything. Okay. And then there was this long guy, and that was weird, too. Long guy. Hmm. Yeah. Weird proportions. Well, that sounds like the Cursed Artist Collective, which are, we are pretty well known with them. The We've caught Cursed a few... Artists Collective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. Out of out of character, I'm laughing at something because of that. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? Yeah, Explain yourself. There's the, there's a wrestling faction called the Artist Collective. And... Oh. I wasn't gonna say anything. I'm just letting. <laughs> well, I don't know <laughs> wrestling, so I'm sorry. No, it's okay, Monty. I was trying to be behaved. Okay. <laughs> Spooky wizard, Sammy Zane. Shut oh up. my goodness. With your wrestling in my. Skying all over the place. <laughs> Uh, anywho, anywho, the Cursed Artist Collective, is that like a hacktivist group or something? Or Hacked? No, it's not a hacktivist group. They're just a bunch of youths going around and doing art and causing us a bit of a headache. But um, yeah, we've mm. caught a couple of them every now and again, but either they get busted out or they disappear the next morning. They have their ways. Unfortunately, we don't know them, so she kind of shrugs. Well, apparently, I overheard a couple of uh, women talking, and apparently the one behind this most recent one is called Imp. The hacker. Yep, yep, we've heard of him. Yeah, no. Well, at least he gave us a visual description, so that might help us in the future. Very much appreciated. Oh. He's a hacker artist? Uh, I, the, the kids these days, they they do like the pixel art, and I get it. Art is art, but just, it, it's strange. Back in my day, we used to just have spray cans and go under <laughs> railroads and do that sort No, of I just, I just wondered. It's like, it's like you said there was more than one of these kids, right? Like he had an accomplice, maybe? Mm, kid is stretching it, I think. I just, I just wonder Stretching is it. is Imp definitely this kid or is Imp a group? Hmm. Now there is a That's, question. That is a good question. Um, I only saw two of them, and he sort of whistled, and that's when I saw the long guy. I guess it seems like the thing you were describing they did. I mean. To be fair, one or two people might be able to pull it off, but I don't know. That seems like a group effort. Question is... Well, either way, I'll note it down in the report, and the boys will be happy to come back to something. Uh, hopefully this leads to some capture or something. Capture? <laughs> Catch him with a big old net. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> he looks down uh, ponderingly. Mm. I, mm. I wouldn't think about it too hard. Can do. Well, thank you very much, Officer Lady. Of course, anytime. Mm. Also, uh, tell Officer Lucy I say hello. Oh, sure will thing. do. I guess we head back. Yep, you guys yeah. make your way back to meet up with Bryant and Zorin, Officer Zorin. I, I wanted, I did want to pull Kel aside before we got back to the office to say something to him. Or I guess I'll do it as we're walking. Yeah, as you're walking. Um, Rex, what was that about with Lucy? What do you mean? Why does it matter whether or not the Quicklings were citizens or the Manticore? If the quicklings were citizens, I was going to turn myself in for murder. Get... I lost control. Kel, do you know what self-defense is? Death is death. Purpose matters not. I agree. So why does it matter if they're citizens or not? You still murdered people, Kel. See, here's the thing, and I'm just going to cut straight with you because I actually like you. It doesn't matter whether they're citizens or not. When you wield one of these, and he's going to pull out his sword, and you decide to press it to somebody's neck or slice them down the chest, and you end their life, you have made a choice, whether they're citizens or not. And sometimes people are going to try to do that to you, and you have to defend yourself, citizens or not. And then you deal with the consequences, citizen or not. It doesn't matter, because guess what? In 50, 60, 70, 80 years, maybe those quicklings will be citizens, and then it will be murder. But in my opinion, it's murder either way. So you need to reconcile that. I did not say it was not murder, but I cannot be punished by the law if it does not apply to them. I just live with it, as I always have. 
And when it comes to that manticore, that line has been crossed. Even if they were citizens, I would still kill him. As long as you're willing to deal with the consequences, then fine. I have always dealt with the consequences, Michael. Now and forevermore. He's just gonna hit you on the chest. Good. And we're good. We're gonna go back and meet up with them. You guys meet up together in front of the precinct. Uh, go okay? Uh, you'll see Brian kind of collecting himself. Yeah, more good. Just sort of like look back and forth like, you guys good? <laughs> the Your choice of turns to give disappointing today. Oh, okay. So are you checking... Side. Are you checking the phone or is he? He's checking the phone, but you know, just let me handle it. You don't know anything. It's fine. It's better that way. <sighs> okay, I trust you. So how'd the uh, description go? Do they know him? Do they have anything? Um, apparently they're called the Cursed Artist Collective. That's like Cursed a Artist Collective. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say Cal and Bryant make history checks. Okay. Uh, six. Six. You have no idea who those Nine. are. Nine. Yeah, neither do you. Nice. Almost. City culture, you guys don't understand. So it's just a fucking artist group, right? Not a big deal. Um, kind of. I mean, it is still petty crimes. Although they're strange. Like, like the, the dude wasn't wearing makeup. He had his mouth stitched closed, right? Yeah, it was like actual, there's actual stitches there. I don't know anybody right in the head who would willingly stitch their own mouth shut. I'm not sure if it's an aesthetic thing or what. Notably, when he talked, he could talk, and his mouth did open, so it's kind of weird what that's all about, but... I wonder... Surprise, you... the stitches were rubber bands. <laughs> do you guys do you guys remember when we were talking to our informant? I mentioned those two people who helped me out. Mm, when I was being really? followed by the what was yeah. it called? A uh, bar guest? They were, yeah. They were street artists. When I found them, they were like painting a mural on a brick wall or something. Do you think they might know about this guy? <sighs> I mean It's possible. It's I'm not the same terribly thing. true. I'm not terribly versed in the groups they run into. They might have multiple groups and do they know each other? Who knows? I gave my card to I told them they could call me up for help if they needed because, you know, I owed them quite a lot <laughs> for that help. But um shoot. above game, I guess I don't have a way of contacting them though, no. right? Because I um I mean if I see them again, then we'll see, but they were doing similar stuff. You were like running on the walls and parkouring and stuff. I got to parkour a bit, if you can believe it. You parkoured? I did my best. I wasn't great at it, but didn't break my neck. But um, I don't know how to get in touch with them, but I did give them my card, so. Do they have like a turf or something? Like, is there like an area that they paint in? I, I wouldn't know. I, I was in the central ward with those two, but it, I doubt they would stick to one area, to be honest. Well, I guess the but, best we can do is keep an eye out. Do we want yeah. to go investigate these docks or not? Question is, which do we think is the better option? Going to the Dragon Ward or trying the Fiend Ward? Mm. Honestly, I think both are a bad idea. It's just a matter of which one do we want to deal with first. Here's the question. Is there anything at the docks now that we know that it's cleared out that we think we're going to find? It seems like well, that might actually be a dead end. Well, that was a completely different location. Yeah, those are completely oh, different. Oh, which is, so that yeah. wasn't the same docks where the where Zoe was? No, nah, not to your knowledge. This uh, was, this, Durza was investigating a very big location that had a lot of activity. Basically, got it. For some you. reason, I thought yeah. they were the same docks. All right, never mind. Then, mm. yes. Um, Stay with me, Connor. The, how I early am, in the day just is it? it. It is lunchtime. Um, above game, remind me, which is the more dangerous ward, the Fiend Ward or the Dragon Ward? 
Fiend. Uh, definitely, definitely fiend. A hundred percent fiend word, yeah. <laughs> I am inclined. Fiend word has no laws. I think I'm inclined since I'd rather not do it after dark. Maybe we should start with the fiend ward because the dragon ward will be a little less dangerous at night. You say that, but there are dragons involved. Uh, yeah. For right now, the more immediate danger would be the fiend ward. You can get killed just for walking in there. That's true. We go in with plain clothing. No identifying. Plain clothing, no marked cars or anything like that. Keep your badges on you, but hidden. Whew. Right. So are we starting with the fiend ward then? Yep. I'd say we get lunch oh. first. I mean, we could eat first. That's fine. Right. We I should probably. Do we Hold have? On, we can make money to give us food descriptions. Let me let me see if I have money to eat. Okay, also, we do we eat. have changes? I gave you a hundred gold. You yeah, have yeah, you guys. Okay, you guys we have, have your clothes here. here. Yeah, you guys. And have the rest of Durship's money. You do. So I gave, gave it back. Oh, yeah. uh, why? Kel made him. Uh, look, because <laughs> Kel was right there and told. All right. <laughs> Man. I know, right? He kidnapped your daughter, and he's like, "But he has the gold. You have to give it back." <laughs> like, shut up, Kel. Ow, ow. All right. So we're all right. So lunch. to the fiend ward. So to the food, and then to the fiend ward. To the food. The food ward. To the food. Okay. You guys are gonna get food. What kind of food do you want? Fast food, cheap. Cheap fast food. Okay. Uh, you head over. Not to... McDonald's cheap though. Oh, can we go to Remy's? We don't. We don't hate ourselves. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have uh, the bean goblet, which is like a Starbucks equivalent. Um, what there, about there's that bug bears place. There's that bug burger. The yeah, there's bug burger. Bug that, burger. Yeah. Mm. Bug burger. They had good yeah. milkshakes. Kel remembers this. Yeah. All bug right. Burger. I guess we're going to bug burger then, because Kel right. needs a milkshake for being. So needs to pick me up. For everybody together, it costs thirty gold. Go. <laughs> You guys all get combos of whatever. Actually, no. Kel will not cover it. He'll only pay for his. <gasps> Good. Wait, wait. wait. Insight. Character I'd like to insight this immediately. Hang on. Can I insight you, Kel? Sure. <laughs> Why Kel. are you not eat? Why? What's going on? Tell me the Kel truth. Kel hates his friends. That's a 15. Good luck, buddy. Oh, damn it. What is happening? <laughs> So 30 for all of us, 30 divided by four is six? No. no. What is it? That's divided Very by five, funny. buddy. Wow. Let's go to the Honestly, calculator. Honestly, it's seven, it's seven and change. Yeah, seven it's, about, it's about seven. Yeah, it's about we'll seven just say right off seven for everybody. There you yeah. go. Yeah, it's cheap food, but it, it works. Um, the burgers are, you know, they're pretty good, but about, you know, once you get to kind of the end, you're like, oh, I kind of regret eating this, but it's sustenance. It, fills you up and there's there's a cross cut fries or curly fries or the long Ooh. salted fries um and your choice of sodas or milkshakes have as you see fit and hey, monty i have my cell phone back because we gave Durs of the phone right yeah you do okay cool can i text kel while we're driving sure who's driving <laughs> passing notes cool. uh, tannis yeah, always too. drives <laughs> tannis is driving hooray tannis is always driving Beep beep. Uh, <laughs> Kel, you're gonna get a text after you tell him he's a good father, which you can do. Go for it. No guidance this time. <gasps> oh shit! Wow, we're taking a all dark right. Turn. Now, I am absolutely gonna. Uh... Kel is focused I'm... on other things. I know you're gonna get all a text right. from Bryant in the back seat while Tannis is driving. So go ahead, Tannis. I am a good dad. You're a good dad. I believe in you. Hey! 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 And then just put the phone back in the pocket. Oh shit! He left you on red. Oh, You're gonna get a smack you. in the back. Of you. you are gonna get a smack in the back of your head. Gil is just going to lazily look over to Brian, just staring at him. Children, I Brian's will turn the car around. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is gonna text one more time. 
He's going to look down and he's going to text, don't think I didn't catch what you said. And then he's going to wait for Kel to look at the phone as it pings. Kel is going to, uh... Hmm. How do I want to play this? Kel's going to look at the phone and see the message. And, uh... Eh, fine, he'll reply. What was your text message again? It said, uh, what's wrong? Don't think I didn't catch what you said. We already had this discussion. It's Unless you clearly need something else. It's clearly bothering you. You're heated. You didn't even pay for food. Why? On the contrary, I am quite cold. Don't be a smart eh. ass with me right now. I just imagine these two's like furiously texting each other back and forth and Gibby is It's like Gibby and Tannis are just like um just, you just hear kinda just turn turn up the turn on some music like oh this So alright here we go I'm gonna play this card so you get to help me with the ghost but I don't get to help you. I see how it is, period. <laughs> Can we reply? You took time to open up. Persistence. Do not think I'm a book that's so easily led. You are safer and happier if I am jolly. Yeah, I use that same BS excuse. I'll respect your boundaries for now, but we're going to talk. You want persistence? You're going to get it. I'm a pain in the ass and you know it. Sent. And then he's just going to sit back and throw his phone in his lap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys drive and you park and you get out and Boy. you make your way to the central Just... city station. Now, does it feel like the backseat got heated or it got chilly back there? <laughs> From the front yeah, I was say, is the Hannes, which is, is Hannes his... will say out loud, "Boy, this is awkward." <laughs> You're a great dad. Your hmm. daughter loves you. <laughs> I appreciate you as a human being slash elf. <laughs> She told me what. <laughs> I'll just look down. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you as a human being. This is the weirdest conversation. <laughs> I, uh. Hmm. Wow. I'm sorry for that spike, Austin. Well. Wow. <laughs> this is. There's a lot of. There's a lot. Of strangeness going on today. You're doing great, Tannis. You're a valued member of this team, and I appreciate you. Uh huh. Um. Okay. I'm not right. gonna. I'm not gonna pry, but it sounds straight weird back there. Something. Sorry. Hang on a second. You're a fucking asshole. Fucking drive the car, douchebag. That's more uh -huh. like it. <laughs> All right, you guys, make your way onto the uh, the the train, the city train. Where are you guys headed? You're heading to the Fiend Ward or the Dragon Ward docks? Fiend, Fiend Ward! Fiend Ward! Fiend Ward. Fiend Ward. Oh. All right, you guys are I am right. looking for Mr. O'Malley. Yeah, stay with us. Connor would have... I am, I'm sorry, I'm not boring sleepy. you? I'm, I'm not sleepy. I'm just yawning. Is there that a gas leak in the room? Oxygen. God, <laughs> Is there a not. gas leak in the room? Do you have enough <laughs> air? Hey, yawning guys, is a sign your smell... body needs more air. Why do I smell copper? Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, this somebody, is the somebody, somebody call 411. Oh, no, oh, no. All right. Somebody call 411. Guys... I need the number to 911. You guys make your way off of the train. And into the city streets of the Fiend Ward. Once again, an eclectic menagerie of really nice businesses and then really not nice buildings at all, ever. I believe we're heading for the docks to speak yeah. with Mr. O'Malley. All right, you guys Mr. are going to see. You guys are seeking out the informant? Yes. Ye. Well, so well, like, we're just checking out the dock, right? We have to check out the dock anyway. We're also yeah, looking yeah. for a bugbear and an older human. Right. All right, you guys, make your way 
Uh, someone needs to roll a survival check to attempt to, uh, based off of Dursub's terrible directions as he's texting them to you on this really dinky tiny phone. Uh, I mean, who has the highest survival? Uh, I'm Panic! 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 Oh, okay. I, 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 I get on the ground, I crouch down and I look for footprints and I, I sniff the dirt and here <laughs> I go. Does that actually do anything? Wait, did no. you just jump on the floor and do the dinosaur? 22! Hey! 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 Wow, so you're on a roll. roll I don't give you dad, dad, pow dad powers are plus today. All right, so somebody uh, tell him he's a good dad again. Give it your turn. Based off of the very shoddy directions that Durzib is feeding you, you are able to discern his his clearly him pressing two buttons at once uh, speech to eventually find a dingy dockside building. It is literally built on like this wooden scaffolding that goes out to the ocean. Um, there on the edge, you see a cruddy little, like, aluminum boat, um, just stacks of crabbing gear and, like, obviously ruined, discarded scuba gear. Um, it is just smells like salt. It's a reasonable size building. It's not tiny, tiny, but it is, like, it's, like, business size, not warehouse size, if that makes sense. Um, and it is just, like, sitting there amongst just the menagerie of, uh, of tied garbage and other such wonderful things. And seagulls. There's quite a few seagulls here as, as well. I found it. Oh. Kel is going to look around, see if he sees a sign marking Oma, whatever that name was, Oma Achilles. Uh, O'Malley. I wrote that down. Oh. Wait, I thought O'Malley uh, was the name of the informant. It was O'Malley Blackhand is the, the informant. Old He's McKillie's He's not going to have a dock. sign, I don't think, right? Old no. McKillie's is the place in the dock. There's no uh, there's no signs here. Old McKillie's is the location that uh, Durza went to. Yeah, that, I don't think that's yeah. the name yeah. of the... Uh, o O'Malley he, is the informant. He told you not to go anywhere near there based on what happened yep. to him. Oh, yeah, fair. But we're looking for the, uh, for the other stuff. Yeah, the O'Malley guy. O'Malley Blackhand. Why did this music just get like into a this lullaby? This is weird. Why yeah, is this... it's like, wait, what this was is... that? I was like, why are we rocking by babying right now? Are we now? in a nursery? No, the, the, haunted little a nursery? Girl, the haunted little girl was a couple episodes ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're looking for like, a, are we looking for his, uh, uh, the uh, garage he works at? Hello? There you go. I think was it is it the garage? Yeah, he works at a he garage and there was garage. So, Yeah. So we're looking for like a mechanic shop. There was two places, place. right? He he is seen at a garage and what was the other place? Yeah, he, he works at, at a garage, yeah. Are we, we didn't are we plain clothes? Are we plain clothes by the way? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was very specific about everyone being plain clothes before leaving. Uh, Brian's actually yeah, gonna, gonna, gonna leave his sure. Brian's actually gonna even leave his badge in the car because if they get frisked for some reason and it's found we didn't take the car. In Fiendward, we have to be on foot because we only have police cars. Oh, I assume we parked it somewhere and then walked in. Yeah, you guys don't drive the car in the Fiendward. Generally a bad yeah. idea. Last time we did, we had orcs staring at us. All right. All right. So what's around then? What's what's uh, What are we looking at? Uh, the building I already previously described is the only thing set before you that appears to be the location you were guided to. Okay. So I'm going to go we... inspect the building. Okay. Yeah. You mm. walk up. The building is rickety but solid. Um, there's a smell to it that's both like uh, gold droppings, salt water, and diesel. It's kind of a a, a hit to the senses as you make so your way up like on the fuel? Yeah. Okay. That's a good sign, actually. That could This could easily be a place you work on vehicles. Uh... Cool. Is there any kind of door? Yeah, there's a front door. Uh, I'm gonna test the lock to see, or the handle to see if it's locked. I'm gonna uh, keep my eyes, um, notably, I'm gonna keep my eyes to rooftops. Okay. And Gail is going to keep check. his eyes on the street level. Uh, both of you perception checks. Here we go. Good luck, guys. I'm about to blow up in a doorway. Nine. Thirteen. You guys don't see anything. Shall I do it too? Yeah, sure, if you want to. If you're not going Wait. up. 20! Hey! 
you don't see anything either. Damn. Yeah. Everything's pretty clear. I'm like just like Gideon just looking out over the ocean. I don't see anything. Except, uh, the, except the rustle of my soul in the waves. Brian, as you grab the door handle, it's unlocked. Okay. That's, I guess, not the strangest thing. There's literally nothing else here but this building. There's other buildings, but they don't appear to be, like, they're, like, warehouse storage and yeah. hey, ship uh, bays. Unrelated. Yeah, really unrelated. You, you might want to back up a little bit. Why? Door's unlocked. If I open this and there's a trip wire, I don't want you to go up and smoke with me. Um. Hmm. We're very much yes, down to place of business would be booby trapped. Yes, that All makes right. sense. Open the door. All right. You open the door. It groans like. Aah. You don't like really push it. There seems to be salt, like this kind of like gritted along the sides. The moment you open up, um, it the odor of the diesel and the oil just like hits you really, really hard. Um, the inside is extremely dark. In fact, it's almost you can't even see anything because you don't have dark vision. Mm -hmm. um, but you do see immediately, like to the left of you, are just like these kind of like color coded bins that are just filled with like different little little parts. Um, and as you uh, as you open up the door, you hear uh, a voice call out. Vojathar! Does anybody... Do you speak Dwarvish at all, Brian? Nope. 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 That's what you hear, then. Uh... Vorgashai! Uh... Oh my me, god. Me, uh, I... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Excuse us, sir. Is anyone here? Hello? You hear coming out of the darkness. Um... Is anybody uh, in here? Can we, uh, could we talk to you, please? Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, you hear some rumbling and the sound of tools moving. Uh, so I, as you I don't... Go ahead. You see, turning around the corner is a dwarf. Um, he is, uh, he's, you know, the average size for a dwarvish gentleman. Um, he's got this explosion of like a white and gray beard that's just covered with grease and there's little bits of metal in there. His eyes are like white, like pure white with no pupils in them. Um, he's completely bald. Um, and his like his left arm is his, his kind of these thick fingers with various different like oil stains on them. But his right arm is a prosthetic arm that appears to have like a tool, like a like a um, like a wrench, kind of like put into a socket on it. And he kind of turns around. His eyes are narrow. The moment the light hits him, he narrows his eyes. Is hey, uh, he sorry, at... sorry about that. Moon leg. Above game. Can we tell? Is he a dark dwarf? Ah, uh, this is a Duragar. Yeah, this is a dark yeah, dwarf. Yeah, we were told Gibby, that he was a dark, you speak dark dwarf. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Could I? Uh, could I? Um. <laughs> I. This is this is stretching it. I know, but is there like a a in universe equivalent of like goggle translate or something? <laughs> not like. really. Yeah, it's called comprehend languages, and none of us have it. Fuck. Stajora, mon leg batog. Oh great! Uh, Does anybody speak that? Uh, I'm Girl sorry, is going sir. To call out in draconic, saying, "Do you speak draconic, perhaps?" Uh, you hear him say, uh... Leprechaun. Oh shit! He speaks leprechaun. Uh, does anybody know uh, leprechaun? Did, I'm sorry, sir. Do you speak uh, human? Uh, hello. Oh yes, hello. Uh, ah, skirt. Ah. Hello, I... Would you prefer our conversation to take place in writing? Would that be easier? 
Uh, he, got, he looks so confused. Um, uh, is wait, there he, a he light switch the, works, near us? Mm. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Ed. No, I was going to ask. He, he works in the Fiend Ward, right? Yeah. In the Fiend Ward, yes. <laughs> so, w the Fiend language okay. is... Hey, 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 hey! He snaps. Um, Lo bof nidol. Does anybody speak under common? Fuck. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> the negative, Commander. Uh, I'm gonna... Does he I'm going to. I'm going to. Look, Melatha, Elgares. He seems so frustrated right now with you guys. I'm going to. There. I'm going to go onto like a, a proper street here, and I'm going to look around for like a dwarf or some <laughs> similar creature. Okay, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Here I go. Sixteen. All right, you find a grizzly kind of one eye missing. He almost looks like a pirate, kind of dwarf, uh, bushy, kind of brown beard. Got a got a cigarette, kind of perched on his lip, and he's just kind of <laughs> sucking back and pulling in old netting and kind of tossing out fish that are in it. You kind of approach him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hey. Um, we're having a bit of trouble. We. We require services, and the the gentleman in charge doesn't really speak a language that uh, we understand. I was wondering if you could uh, help us translate. I would, of course, compensate you. I like a lot of compensation. I would, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull out five gold. He kind of he kind of looks at you a little bit like insulted by that amount. I pull out twenty gold. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> if only it were Wednesday. Let's go, seven! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Lucky number seven. He kind of turns, he goes, you know, these fishnets really need my tendon, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Put a sword to his throat. How I, much do you have? I, I will quickly count out 100 gold. Jesus! Ooh. Going the kill route. I, I put it in a little individual pouch. I put it, I put it in his hand. For your mum's nets. Mum's the word. All right, take me where I need to go. I'm not sure mum's the word. That's what we need you to find out. <laughs> I'll help you out when I can. All right, I'll come back with my uh, my translator. Okay. You, bring, <laughs> you watch as Tannis returns with this like really like spit like spit over the side of the boat kind of looking dwarf guy level three arkov level three uh, you guys are level four yeah, no i mean the four. level it's a level three spell to cast tongues oh yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. kill gives a lot of fun stuff next level yeah oh you Spending. want to talk to a black hand yeah you'd find better company in the sewers well that's not for me to judge. Well, what do you want him to know? I gesture to the rest of the group. <sighs> You're yeah, the talker, not like, me. How do we do this without mentioning Durzib and all that stuff? It's like, okay, what can we ask about? But, okay, so here's the question. What do we specifically want to know? It's what he Melik. knows about the blood trade? We want to know what he knows about the Manticore of Melik. Got it. Because coming to this guy, we're specifically trying to find out if he knows anything about other informants that could be working with the trolls. Yeah. Because Durs gotta... has already asked about the trolls, got all that information. So we and we got to avoid, like, mentioning, you know, that Durzip's the one that sent us, so we can't, like, mention the Orc yeah. Mafia and stuff. Got it. Ask him if he knows a manticore by the name of Melek, perhaps plying in his trade. Oh, fucking manticore. I, uh, yeah, all right. You watch as he turns and he talks. Uh, you hear him respond. You hear him respond with Gotek Beknak, and the dwarf translator turns back and goes, uh, he says he doesn't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> uh, I need to know if he's bullshit. 
<laughs> Can I do a BS Proc check? By proxy in insight or some Can shit. Can we do insight? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll insights on. Uh, All of us roll yeah. insight. Lucky number seven. I'm Eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a little bit. I'm gonna. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit. I'm gonna give give the RNG. Give the RNG a little bit to uh, sort come it. On, come on, R RNG Jesus, baby. Come on, Connor. Here I go. Uh, Please, okay, 15. Yeah, all right, there we go, yeah. You get the sense that his, maybe his information giving might be a bit of a secret, because he's not too inclined to say too much. You get the sense that he's, he's actively withholding information. For what reason, you're not sure, but he's definitely withholding information. Uh, I'm going to... I, I'm going to hold I, out I just, 30... I'm gonna hold out 30 gold to him and say to the translator, is he sure? <laughs> uh, the dwarf turns and... Uh, <laughs> he watches the Duragard takes it, looks at you and he kinda, there's a little bit of a smile there underneath all the grease and the diesel and he goes, Kjom ilf pethavoda. And the dwarf turns and says, he says, uh, come to think of it. Oh. Yes. I uh, will get out another 20 gold and hand it to him. Come to think of it. Jack Beckner and Uri Jacob Lithdenthar. The dwarf turns and says, I, he says, uh, I know a person like that. Where can we Ask find him? Ask him how much gold it would take to tell us where to find him. You watch Wait the door turn to translate. Wait a minute. Now, let's not let him set the price. He is going to string us along until he gets the amount he wants. Cutting to the chase will end this interaction before we are broke. Wizja Kajun Kith Thothak. Uh, the dwarf turns and says, he's asking how much you got. <sighs> there it is. Tell him it's a very personal matter, and I would appreciate a fair price. Kel will loom over both the dwarves. Hmm. <laughs> 200 clang. <sighs> the dwarf turns and goes, 200 gold. That's his yeah, we'll price. immediately hand it over. Wait, Not you're even a second gonna. Thought. Well, I, we can All split right. it. No, Kel, this is very personal. I love it. Do it, Arkal. Kel's already handed it you. over. Yeah, I see you, fam. All right, he's got his gold. Notes time. A second, give me a minute here. <laughs> I've already got manticores located. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell me where my next victim, I mean, interrogation is. Uh, the Durgar turns and says, Etkvan, the Urklok, Zarn, and Vaskaroth, Hringa, Klektlot, Scratch Parlor. And the dwarf turns over and says, uh, he says that the man you're looking for is at the tavern called Scratch, uh, Cat Scratch Parlor. Does he work there, or is he just seen there? Uh, you hear the Duragar kind of mumble something, and the dwarf goes, It says he hangs around there. Hmm. Would he be there right now? Uh, the Duragar turns and goes, Jago Kek, Bekna. He watches, he turns over and kind of cleans off his pants, and the dwarf turns like this. I, he says he doesn't know. Insight. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That is going to be a 15. Uh, he genuinely does not know. You get the sense that he probably doesn't care. Like, he's willing to sell out this guy. He doesn't, he kind of knows him in passing, but he doesn't know him enough to be like, oh, we're totally friends. I totally am going to feel bad about selling him out. 
And where is this tavern located, if I might ask? Uh, the Durgar speaks in a very long sentence, and the, the Dwarf Trezor goes, I, it's a little place hidden inside of another place in the, between the Devil and Lich District. Uh, oh, good. Mm. Yeah, I kind of, uh, kind of half expected that. <sighs> great. This is just great. It's a, a little place called the Titanic Tankard. If you go in there and ask for the Cat Scratch special, you get taken to the special place. Special place? It sounds like a gentleman's club. Uh, say that again, Monty. You go inside the Titanic Taker and ask for the special... The just, Cat just Scratch. The, special? the, scratch the Cat, cat. Scratch uh, special. Cat Scratch. Oh, boy. Cat Scratch special? Yeah. Ask for the Cat Scratch. Oh, so I got... Can I can I insight that to see if that's a setup? Sure, go ahead. All right. <sighs> Five. It's a Five. setup. Totally I mean, insight. I'll insight that too. Yeah, go ahead. I don't trust. Eighteen the soft. Thank you. Yeah, he's he's a hundred percent telling the truth. This Durgar is nothing to lose. He's old and he just doesn't want to be bothered. You can tell he's just like wincing at the light and he just wants you guys to go. <laughs> All right. Above game, any other things we need? Or are we? Uh, we could potentially ask about Zoe Mori, but that's getting into troll territory. Uh. I mean. I mean, we're not at one of the places. He, I don't know if he'd know about We haven't that. verified which docks she works at yet, so yeah. we can always come back. Yep. Hmm. Do you have any questions, Connor? Hmm. Hmm. What do you got, Connor? Hmm. I'm, my brain's farting. I got nothing. You guys want to ask about Zoe Mori or no? <sighs> it wouldn't hurt. Okay. Ask him if he knows of a young human woman by the name of Zoe Mori. Watch as the moment you say the name, the Durgar kind of perks up a little bit and looks towards you. That is promising. Do you know her? Sorry, give me a sec here. I notably am just going to be ready in case he tries to shut that door on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turns and he says, Mon leg vorim, as jeg vekna hen, anja bjogsenir, rir miku, uh, ukuru jemed. You watch as the dwarf says, I, he, uh, he says, human girl, yeah, I know her. Uh, she works for me sometimes. Do you know, uh, has she been around lately? We have spoken uh, to some of her friends, and she's apparently been kind of aloof. A tour. He shakes his head. You don't need a translation to know that means no. Is there a way we could get in touch with her? Uh... Da, 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 da. Uh, he kind of mumbles back to the dwarf and the dwarf and he goes, Aye, he says he uh, she works for some uh, person named Cameron Walsh, if you want to do business. Cameron Walsh? Cameron, there we go. Cameron Walsh. <laughs> Just sort of like, look at the rest of them be like, I think we would be. How would we get in touch with him then? Turns and speaks to him. Uh, he speaks to the dwarf and the dwarf is like, says that they uh, speak, uh, they, uh, sorry, oh my bad. Oh, 
my, my wits are about me. I need a strong drink tonight. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, he says that they're hawking their goods in the Lich Ward market. Double great. Yay. So Perfect. she may work at the Lich Ward docks after all. Yep, that would be, yep. it would make sense. It's close. Oh, God, what's worse, the Lich Ward or that Devil Ward? Uh, you watch as they converse again and the door to your eyes goes, yeah, they hawk their goods in the, on the length of the black tongue. They got a stall there. I believe we passed by there on the way to, uh, Miss Odelius. Uh, I don't think you've seen that place, no. Oh, we bunch, passed by a bunch of market stalls on the way to Lady Odelius. This is probably said, multiples. This is a specific said, market, yeah. The uh, black tongue, you call it? Yeah, the long black tongue market. Yeah, we had to head to the border between the districts anyway to find Melik. God, well, I don't feel good about this. I don't either, but that's okay. Manticore soup will be on. Mm. Well, it's a matter of getting information from him. I don't like the yeah. idea of going inside one place to get stuck inside of another. That means yeah. combat would be not terrible. But hey, that's why I have Zone of Truth. Yeah. That's a good spell. Yes, it is. And so is Detect Thoughts. And yes, like it is. Nudge, nudge. Oh! But, wait. Hmm. Actually, that's a question I have in terms of, uh... I don't. I assume you don't mean, mean here. Yeah, no, not here. No, but if I if I do it's a good spell to have. If I have, if I, I can't understand like different languages. If I do detect thoughts, right? They have to. I believe it's to specify on the spell. Um. Uh. uh let's go back down to on detect thoughts. What does it say? What does it say? Spell. You can. If the creature doesn't speak, wait. If the creature yep. doesn't speak any language. Uh, it, it only says any language. I don't see anything about specific. Yeah, so you can read the mind of a creature that yeah. speaks a language, but I guess yeah. I guess it translates for me or something. It translates must, for yeah, you. It looks like yeah, or it it per, it conveys things to you that are not words, so they don't really yeah. need direct translation. Like, I feel this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your brain translates the feeling. That will be useful for when we're talking with the Manticore. Oh God, right. yeah. Because you know, even if the Zone of Truth works, he's going to skirt around. Oh, yeah, it's like he's not a citizen, is he? It's therefore, yeah. I don't need a warrant. At least you'll know whether or not we have free reign to do whatever we want with him, right, guys? <laughs> <This is okay. laughs> Y'all are going to have an interesting conversation trying to keep Brian and Kel from cutting his head off. And I pull oh, out my gun. <laughs> and I pull out my gun and I shoot him first. There, you guys can't kill him if I did it first. Now let's move uh, on. Wait a minute, he's not hes not human. Beasts, so... Wait a minute, uh, a gun will only work halfway on him. Because he's not human. Yeah, but it'll yeah, work but on what if, what it, You're going to have to what? shoot him a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it it taking? So, are we done here? Uh, yeah. I think that's all the questions. Good, good job on asking about Zoe after all. Yeah, I was concerned about it, but it worked out. It didn't even cost extra. Tell him thank you very much for his time. And thank you as well for your services. I and thank your discretion. You. Thank you for the coin. I give I each of them I give each of them ten gold apiece. Okay. Nice they day. Both, both take it. And if any and if anyone asks, we were never here. Uh you see. Ten gold's probably not gonna be enough to get a I was gonna I, I was gonna role play it later, but I wanna see what happens. You first. watch as the uh the Durgar, the dwarf is like, I thank you, and kinda gives you a pat on the leg as he walks past you. The the Durgar turns and nods and says, Yurka just kinda nods. And you get the sense that it means like, you know, pleasure doing business with you or like thank you or something along those lines as he Quickly, like, rushes you out the door and immediately slams it shuts so the darkness will return. Mm. You realize if somebody pays him 20, he's selling us out, right? I mean, we already gave him 200. That was what he... You realize he's... You realize he's selling us out, right? <sighs> well, that just means we have to find the other informant before he comes asking. I would agree. Let's go, uh, hunting for Manticore. Alright. So, you guys making your way... 
God, I don't feel good about this. Making our way downtown, fighting fiends. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes, yes, Cal. If we get in and we do speak with Melik, might I ask you to have your thought detecting spell ready? Yeah. He will not that. part with his information willingly, even with coercion from my own spells. At this point, I don't have a problem with it when it's him. Thank you. I'll give Kel a pat and be like, you good, right? We will see by the end of this day. <sighs> okay. Right. To the Lich Ward! To the border. And so you guys make your way to the Titanic Tankard. Here is where we're going to take a break. Woo! Uh, oh boy. Interdesting. Interdesting <laughs> indeed. Interdesting. Yep. Kill's All not right. budging from this Manticore thing, so it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. It is going to be interesting. I, it's going to be. We're, we're going to have a two on two PvP battle to see who gets to deal with this. Roll initiative for who gets to chop his head off. <laughs> no, roll initiative <laughs> between the four of us to see who's stopping who. All right, I will be right time, back. I, I am an starving. I need to eat something real bad. No, go ahead. Right. I'm going to drink hang out water. Here. I'll, uh, yeah. It's cold, it's cold, cold person. Yes, it won't we'll work on Melek, but it'll work on anyone who tries to get in the way. God, yeah, that's right. You do have a lot of spells. I have a lot of crowd control. Yeah, a lot. you sure do. I'm glad we have a cleric. We have, we, yeah, damn. All right. I wish you had level three spells, though, because that would have been... So do I. I'd have sending them. Oh, fuck, man. Even just a, like, a level one spell, like detect, or, uh, comprehend languages would have helped. Yeah, like imagine uh, inflict wounds at level three. Apparently, it's the second anniversary of Bowsette. Oh God, I forgot yeah, about Twitter's Bowsette. going wild with that. I'm sure they are. Yeah. 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 Also, Sending hi guys. Honestly, be really useful in this world because cell phones can be hacked and tampered with. Sending cannot. Mm -mm. Well. Well, when do they, Michael? You you say that? Stop it! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> oh, Twenty-four words. That's a lot. That is a lot. I thought it was twenty-five. Twenty-four, twenty-five. I'm not certain. Let me look that up. Uh, twenty-five words or less. E. That is that is fair. Uh Sorry, I just saw these get posted. I should read off some bits, but I'll answer you first. Mr. Inktail saying, hi, officers, with 100 bits. I just finished streaming and mm. tried to rave, but it seems I have failed next time. Also, does Miss Williams have a Twitch? She and I are called for the last targets for my mm. kindness hunting. Well... I'm sorry to say that Sarah does not have a Twitch, but you can shill Arkov over at twitch.tv slash Arkov, where we are trying to raise money to get him the hell out of Tennessee and maybe buy him a Brita water filter. These are all things that need to happen. That fun needs to die. It will not. Uh, let's go to the bottom here. We've got that skull, you know, with a Twitch Prime sub saying, here's my four months. In other news, I can't wait for Scarlet to be a scald. We've got Gumsy kind of guy giving a tier one sub to some douchebag. Uh, thank you for that Gumsy kind of guy. We got Alpha8087 giving a tier one sub to, woo, six months. Uh, we got Ro BQ 1990 with 100 bits for medical bills from fighting the Smurfs last week. We've got Viridian Winter with 500 bits saying just tuned in and the music made me think of who wants to be a millionaire. Zako Duel getting a tier one sub to Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, Mr. Mark Allen Jr. We've got uh, I Make Things Up with a tier one sub gifted to show me who it's gifted to. Z on the Cobalt. We got I Bloody Demon with a Twitch Prime sub. Love you all. And we've got Burnout Voggin with 100 bits as a fan of Terry Pratchett's City Watch series. The talk of killing by officers of the law hurts me, but it makes for compelling party dynamics, so I can't argue with it. Uh, we've got Dude the Man with 100 bits 
Started a new Mass Effect playthrough while I was listening to this. Never done full Renegade playthrough before, but I'm enjoying Michael Bryant Shepard. <laughs> nice. He's not full Renegade, but he's definitely over there. So thank you guys for all the bits and the subs. We definitely appreciate it. Very kind of all of you. A uh, hundred bits from elated Megalodon. I still can't believe they're doing this. They're taking advantage of a man's lack of citizenship to murder him over a gr wait. Don't manticores eat people? I take it back. Paint him against the ceiling. <laughs> I love that just changing the context of our job has completely changed how people view these really bestial, awful characters that normally they'd be like, yeah, kill it with fire. It's really kind of nice. Also, hello, welcome to the Edward Bosco Halftime Show. I'm here chilling by myself. What's going down, guys? Hopefully you're enjoying the show. I am so conflicted. Sorry, Burnout Man, that's just the way it works. Uh, we've got Takanub with a Twitch Prime sub. I just got hit. With the Bosco is everywhere. Played Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 before I knew about Bosco. So imagine my surprise when playing Cold of S Cold Steel 3 when I suddenly hear Bosco playing Maki as talking in basically his normal voice. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the Trail series, though. It's a lot of fun. So how ready are you to kill your PCs in, Oc in October? Uh, is that a me or a Connor question? Because I feel like we're both ready to do it. I'm probably a little more ready because I'm going to have to. Because if they I don't get to, like, take the kid gloves and put them on. If they do something stupid, I have to punish them. That's just the way it works. Like, if they go to Castle Ravenloft and poke Strahd, he's going to just fucking wipe them off the map. That's just the way it works. Uh, Kanye time with 500 bits. Been too tired to come up with a cool comment for a bit drop. Oh, well, much love to everyone. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. We appreciate it. I DM'd a session and took my druid's connection to nature. Oh, good. You've robbed them. You're a good DM then, Bosco. I guess. We're going to find out. <laughs> At Ed Bosco is everywhere. Oh, no. That is not good. Man, all y'all are real quiet right now. I mean, I had to check to make sure Discord didn't do the thing. Let's see. Up oh, more bits. We got John49357 with 100 bits. So Brian and Kel, <sighs> why not you guys talk this over? Talk this over some very good ice cream. Ice booth. Is it bad that I have 12 AC Barbarian character for Curse of Strahd? No, I mean, if it makes sense for your character, I have no problem with you taking hits to stuff you would normally be strong in. I've done that before. Uh, I've definitely not min-maxed somebody just for narrative reasons. My buddy Mark, who you guys see on Wednesdays, I've seen him build characters where it's like, man, this character mechanically should not work, but the DM is going to reward him because it makes a lot of sense narratively for all this stuff to be a particular thing. Mr. Inktail with 400 bits. I'm debating whether or not to do Dust and Elysian Tail playthrough on my stream. Is it too mainstream or too niche? I mean... Who cares? It's a, it's a beautiful game and it's fun. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. I think you should absolutely do that. I mean, I'm better at this because you're you're biased, Ed. I mean, I'm 100% biased. I can say as someone who is not involved in that game, I played it. It is super fun. It is gorgeous. It's well voice acted. I think it is. I mean, I liked it. I, I mean, I'm always in the play what you like, you know. Dude, the man thinks he can survive my Ravenloft game easy. Here, hold my beer. So here's the problem, dude, the man. I can't take you up on that challenge. Not because, not because I don't want to. It's because it would be too easy for me to kill you. I have all the tools. You're poking God in this regard. Like, it's too easy. Uh, Viridian Winter with 1,500 bits. I would love to see Kel meet Naragon. I don't know who that is. I'm mm -hmm. here, Jacinta. Or... Oh, I figured you were still eating. D she is still eating, but she's there. She's there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I figure she'll let us know when she's ready. Uh, I have to say this. Brian is unironically one of my favorite characters to watch each week. I wonder if there's a backstory reason he doesn't use spells slash smite. Guess we'll find out in the future. Interesting theories. Sorry about that. I'm back. No, you're good. It was a massive puppy in need of chasing. Puppy! Oh, chasing. Nice. Got him. Yeah. Got to wear him out so he actually goes to sleep. Uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know what Ravenloft is, I think you guys will really enjoy it. I'm, I'm trying to preface it as much as possible that it's going to be very dark. It's going to be very different than anything that's ever been played on this channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, if that's your shtick. It's not for everybody. That's absolutely fine. But we're going to see. It's absolutely thematic for October, though, for Halloween. The nice thing about gothic horror, so if you guys, the best way I can describe it, it is gothic horror, but if you've ever played Silent Hill, a lot of the horror in Silent Hill, particularly in the first two games, a lot of it is from the areas you're in and the things that you see and that are around you. It's not a lot of jump scares. So oh, that's you're kind killing of the, me, man. So, like, Ra Ravenloft is a lot of, like... <sighs> based horror. on the research that I've done, with yeah, with gothic horror, it's like, hey... You're, you're, you're watching somebody uh, take a bath in a lake, and they take off their robe, and they take off their gloves, and then they take off their head. And you're like, wait, what? And it's like that kind of stuff. It's like subtle, where it's, it just, it's supposed to make you uneasy, where, or everything around you is super dark and grim, and then you have this like really happy character who's talking in like rhymes and riddles and being extra nice to you, and you're like, something is off about this scenario. And so it's very psychological. Uh, 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 Eternal Darkness was another really good game that did psychological horror. Well, and psychological so is slightly of... different from gothic, but, you know, I mean, Dracula is classic gothic horror. Yeah. And Frankenstein. Yes. Uh, Bo uh, Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Wait, Bosco, are you telling me you get to DM the first player character death in all of the Unexpectables? That's hilarious. I, I'm still no, I'm... over Frankenstein. How dare you bring that up, Sarah? Huh? Wow. Why? It's it's gothic horror. It, it is. is gothic horror. It just makes me really sad every time oh. I think about it. Viridian Winter with 100 oh. bits. Naragon is the lovable dork night guard at the Sweet Dragon. Ah, gotcha. Night guard. No wonder I never see him. Mm -hmm. To clarify about the citizenship thing, since people are taking it the wrong way, I can see in chat. Oh, go for it. Kel was mostly asking about citizenship status for the Quicklings and the Manticore to know whether or not to turn himself in for murder after right. doing what they did. No, I, yeah. If they're not sense. citizens by the law, the law legally cannot do anything in regards to it. So in which case, Kel just has to live with the fact he murdered someone. Yeah, it makes perfect sense for your character based on the way you played him to want to do that. Like if those Quicklings were citizens, Kel would have immediately turned himself in. That's the whole point of asking. That's but that's that's why Brian wanted to have the talk. He's like, you realize what self defense is, right? Because then it's not murder. <laughs> See, now I feel worse that I zapped the last one. <laughs> it's like, no, wait, it's not like we walked up in the barn and we're like, hey, you're gonna die. It's, yeah, but still, I mean, to be fair, they were just being annoying. I mean, yes, they had knives, but in the end, they weren't. I didn't see them as that threatening. They were just really super annoying. To now I feel bad. Way, mm. Kel would seek punishment for his actions, but if they're not citizens, then the law cannot punish him. Then who's going to punish him for what is what he did, his actions? That's it. I mean, you. One could argue that he doesn't deserve to be punished because he didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. Well, Brian yeah, would the argue that. I'll come up later. But... Yeah, exactly. Well, that it's was Brian's that... argument. It... I think it's just more that it weighs on his conscience, right? Whereas Bryant's like, look, we did what we had to do. I, I feel bad yeah. about it, but I ain't going to think That's about it. That's why I love when, it. when I get to talk to... I love how different they are. Uh, Mr. Insecure with two... Point, more or less. They, they really are, and it's great because they're slowly pushing each other towards the middle. Uh, Mr. Insecure with 250 bits. Been a stressful session, but fun. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'm having a blast. I love Prince Division. I was always a really big fan of the Shadowrun universe, and this has elements of that in there, and I really like it. Like the mm -hmm. whole techno hacking and stuff, and hacking into computers, and investigating things. It's really, really nice. Also, having contacts and being able to call people and handle situations in a million different ways. It's honestly, it's a big credit to Monty, because she can't, 
prepare as much for us as she can for the unexpectables because there's so many different ways that we can handle stuff. I think she did it before the break. She's like, oh, okay, this could be interesting. Because <laughs> she she probably had no idea how we were going to attack this current mission. It's, she really leaves it in our hands. So credit to her on that. This is aspect. literally like I had a whole thing planned out, and you guys are not doing it. And I'm just like, okay. Oh, so like Aww. the Fight Club. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, it's basically the Fight Club all over again. Ice We're sorry, Monty. Really sorry. Is am. the is the headless horseman gothic horror? Um. Um. I yeah, think that it would falls be gothic. Yeah. That. It falls in that it realm, would. I would think. So also, H.P. Lovecraft is is uh, gothic horror, if I'm not mistaken. So if you've ever if you've ever read any of Lovecraft stuff and all the weird things that he does, like that's a good example of gothic horror. Uh, m our DM that did the Shadow War stuff, uh, Xanalus Grimm, uh, Mark and I were in that campaign together. Uh, he is actually a big fan of gothic horror, and he was the first person that ever ran Ravenloft for me. So a lot of what I know about gothic horror comes from him. So I'm trying to keep that in mind because. Even the Curse of Strahd book, based on what I read, isn't truly gothic horror. It's, it's horror, but it's not gothic horror. So I'm trying really, really hard to try to bring those elements in. I'll probably screw it up, but... I'm saying Lovecraft is typically cosmic horror. Cosmic horror. Okay. Yeah, it does feel slightly different. Like, And it, it means Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman depends which version you're talking about. If you're talking The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, yes, absolutely gothic horror. But there's also the Dulahan from Ireland, you know, that headless, yeah. uh, you know, if you yeah, watch Dorara. Definitely the Legend of Sleepy Hollow version is definitely gothic horror. Yeah. Uh, uh, Windigogo, thank you so much for the tier one sub. We appreciate it. Oh, wake me up, Windigogo. When you go, go. <laughs> so good. Excuse All me. done, 80 Monty? Do you need a couple more minutes? Uh, one second. No, take your time. I'm, I'm, we're just, we're hanging out with the chat. We're all good. Nice little break. Connor, you're back, right? Yeah. You just snacking? Okay, cool. Uh, first half of Bloodborne is gothic. Second half is cosmic. I haven't played enough of Bloodborne to know the various themes in the right. game. I know it I'm looks good. gothic horror, but... All right. You guys ready to go? Yep. Sure. Hang on. I was going to say, don't pull a Kurt. Uh, 500 bits from Mr. Inktail. I have to ask, what are your thoughts on interspecies romance in campaigns, i.e. cobalt and human romance? If it's tasteful, I don't have a problem with it. Personal opinion. Love Aren't like a love, bunch man. of people shipping me with an orc at the moment? <laughs> If you're being shipped with an orc, are. we have we have we have uh Terran and Costemeyer. Like I'm cool with it as long as it's not like people are also shipping uh Breeze Rotten Kell. Ah! They're also shipping they're also shipping Brian with that NPC whose name I don't even remember. <laughs> that dragon who gave wow. you the cut, the cutting. Yeah, oh, whoever that's the, how whoever, you know whoever, it's whoever... not setting sail, guys. Her that's name the... is Nadar. Nadar, I got that written go. down because you also got a wink from her that I had in my inventory. I got the and wink that I put in my inventory. I have yes. it in my inventory because Monty <laughs> made me put it there. Oh, God. All right. So, you guys make your way through the Fiend Ward to the cusp of the Lich Ward <sighs> and find yourself in front of a fairly well off looking establishment. The outside seems to have quite a few. Drifters and strange people. I want to roll just a general perception check to notice a specific detail of this location and the people who are leaving and entering it. 16. Okay. Uh, 14. 18! Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. All right. Kel and Bryant. Yay. No one who is entering or leaving this bar is a humanoid. Everything is a non-humanoid. In either a glamour or walking around as such. You're seeing gnolls, you're seeing nothics, you're seeing all kinds of very strange creatures and beings coming and going. Hey, Kel. Yes. I don't like the looks of this. I was not going to suggest we go in. The stakeout would be, uh, more tenable, considering the clientele. Be I fair. would agree. I don't want anything yeah. to happen to Gibby. Well, not just me. Think about it. We go in, we all go in trying to find him. He yells out that we're cops in the middle of that bar. <laughs> 
not good. I mean, he'd have to prove it. He might Even not have a hard it, time. They will take him at face value. Oh, I like the idea. We can stock it. We can uh, stock the place. That's fine. I think all of this could have been, could have been avoided if he simply took the gold in exchange for Arzenberg's location. But no. He decided he wasn't an informant at that time. That's fine. He's gonna learn that he doesn't get to pick and choose. <sighs> the dead cannot learn anything. Exactly. But they have very much to teach the living. Dead men, no tails and all. I look over at Gibby real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just give her a look. Just a, a very firm look. Like, ge gesturing with his head towards the two of them that are talking. Oh, and then she, Really? And then, and then he shakes his head. He, I was going to look back at him like, wait, really? He nods. Uh, um, uh, okay, keep in mind, I can only got three slots for that, and it only lasts up for a minute. No, 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 no. That's not what he's trying to do. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm sorry. Above game, give it to me in plain English because Sarah is your... I told you it's going to be roll initiative to see who wins he's, this he's, argument. Oh, he's trying, God. He's trying, to con he's trying to convey to you, I'm not going to let that happen. You mean killing Malik? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the role playing. You're, you're okay. Fine. You're that was, it's just, honestly, it, that was really funny. That was really The role funny. playing is basically Gibby. It's like a comedy sketch. Just like, what? <laughs> what? It's I'm like doing charades right here. <laughs> it's like you two just are in gest... Dragon Ball's art just... style while Bryant and Keller in JoJo style. Just, just gesturing wildly at each other. And she's like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry to ruin the role play. Role you're play. all right. You're damn all right. it. Damn it. Damn it. If we can get him away from there, I will use Zone of Truth. If he resists, I will know. And he will not be able to lie so readily. Once we have what we need, that'll be the end of him. Mm. We will first, see. I think first and foremost, let's check out how many exits and entrances this place has. Yeah, see where he idea. might come, which is the light, most likely place he'll come out. All right, scout the perimeter. Try not to look obvious, especially <laughs> you and me, because they're going to know in a heartbeat we're not supposed to be here. Mm. There are many humans in the Lich and Fiendsward. Probably some elves, too. But Malik and his cohorts would likely know me from a distance. He's probably going to I hang back. Look, we just got to scout the perimeter and we just got to find him when he comes out. Once I we mean, know what the exit points are, we'll be fine. To be fair, If he's Kel, even here. Yes, if he is here. And to be fair, Kel, he knows Bryant pretty well by now, too. Hey, man, we're going to get you all going or to... coming. Do we have anything have to we can use to uh, cover our faces? Obscure our identities. <sighs> Even simple pieces of cloth would work. Won't that be more obvious? <sighs> I suppose. Uh, how well lit? Like, is it is it still daytime? It is like kind of around sunset, but the outside of this location is very well lit. Surprisingly so. It's like everywhere around it is so dark. It very clearly wants to stand out as a open location and it's doing a very good job doing so with these bright kind of yellow, warm, amber kind of lights that kind of spread out and creep across the stone uh, street all the way throughout. I mean, a door is a door. We don't have to get that horribly close to be able to see a door and people coming in and out of it. So it's more about kinda... checking to see if there's any other entrance or exits that he might go through. Because he might there might be like a VIP or executive way in. I mean, we'll still see that too. Again, a, a door is very vi visible as a door, especially if it's well lit. Well, my my question is, is it in the back or on the side? That's what I want to just do a quick sweep. We were told break. that the can't scratch parlor was within this building. It's an establishment yeah. inside an establishment. It may well be underground for all we know. Mm. Damn it. 
Hey, Tannis. What's up? You're pretty good at sneaking around, right? Pretty quick. Um... Sneaking, probably not, but I'm pretty fast. Why don't you just give the outside of the building a once-over? I don't think anybody's gonna look twice at you. A pale elf with fiery red hair. Mm. <sighs> I can we either try. go in and risk slaughter <laughs> in exchange for information, or we stake out the place and hope he comes out. I'm just we saying, I haven't in, seen one. We may not come out. I haven't seen a single human come in or out of that place. We will stick out like sore thumbs. I could try to. Saying. I could try to get an eye on exits or something. Just so that we know what we're dealing with. I'm not asking you to go into any place, just to let us know if there's a door on the side, a door in the back. I hear ya. Um. Is there any, like, ladders that will go up through the roof of a building? Uh, near you, kind of. Yeah, there's, like, pipes you could climb up. I will do that. I will say this. There is a lot of, like, flight-based creatures that are perched around this location. Harpies. Never keratins, mind. Yeah. <laughs> Not to discourage. It's a good idea, but there is flight-based monsters that are hanging around here as well. It's not just exclusively was, ground dwelling. I was going on the roof to avoid people looking higher than 45 degrees, but yeah. Uh, Can't do nothing about people eye level with you up there. Specifically, see if there's any kind of VIP access to this club. Sometimes it'll be on the side, maybe in the back. <sighs> I can try. Uh, is there any, like, foliage around here? Uh, no. But I think we guarantee that your elf thing could work yeah, you can use garbage. environment. Yeah, you can use trash <laughs> and garbage. You can use trash. You're the yeah. trash man. You trash man. Uh, my Mask of the Wild will allow me to blend into any place that is lightly obscured. Okay. Before you do, Kel wants to catch Vero by the arm. <laughs> Officer Zorin. Tannis. Whatever differences we may have, whatever the fate of this creature is by the end of this, while I may view it as personal, please keep in mind there are two lives at stake. He has I realize. We need it. I realize that. Hell. But I'm not going to let you kill him in cold blood. We will close that bleach if we get to it, but for now, we need it. I don't think you understand. I am not going to let you kill someone in cold blood. I don't think you understand. We will see what happens when the time comes. Keep your priorities straight, Viro Tennis. Mine are. Are yours. And he'll walk away. Yeah, we'll let him. All right, Tannis, what are you doing? I'm going to sneak around. Uh, All right. I'm... Uh, so I'm going to try to avoid places that are busy. Okay. Most definitely. Roll a stealth check for me. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can do this, Wood Elf. Natural 20! Oh Damn. my god! Oh! Hell yeah! Oh. Fuck yeah, Tannis! You sneak around groups of individuals. There's a hill giant that makes his way into this establishment who doesn't even notice you. You duck into an alleyway on the side of the building. Glancing up, you see Peritons, the bird, the monstrosities that you know in history love to eat elves. Completely fly <laughs> overhead, unbeknownst oh to more from beneath as you make your way around the sides. Like a whisper in the wind. You are mm. completely undetected. 
Hey, I for once, not I'm here. not the one totally screwed in this situation. They got ones that'll eat him. <laughs> I am Vero Tanis, but they don't know that. <laughs> Peritons also need human hearts to reproduce. Humanoid doesn't say doesn't need to be human, but they love gross, elf flesh. but cool, but gross. <laughs> uh, as you sneak around, there is uh, no back exit. In fact, it appears to be only the front door. There are basement windows, though, that appear to be covered with curtains. Um, they're probably about a foot high and probably about three feet long, and there's three of them. But they appear to be unused, fairly solidly latched. Um, but that is the only other thing you can find on this building. It is not up to code. There's not multiple fire exits. There's only one. So that is what you're able to ascertain while you're back there. Hmm. So are they latched from the inside? Yeah, they're latched from the inside. Okay. They're they're covered with like cloths, I'm assuming. Um, so it's the glass immediately you're hit with the kind of the, the worn glass, uh, weathered glass. And then inside there's the frame and then there's the curtain, whatever curtains covering it. And you can't see what else is inside. You do hear voices and noise, but it's all muffled. You can't really hear anyone talking, but you can just hear shouts, kayaking and like people, you know, the clinking of glasses and, and different noises. Based off of what I hear, can I tell how many people are inside of this Residence. Perception check. Okay, I'm not looking. I can't. For I can't give you an I'm exact not, number. For, yeah, I'm not looking but... for anything precise. Just a general, like, like only a handful, or is it a crowd? Uh, twenty-one. Sounds Perception. pretty crowded, but not like you know, shoulder to shoulder. It sounds busy. Um, with that, I would say definitely like. Yeah, I'm gonna say it, it's busy, but it's not like you know crowded dance floor or anything like that it's just more of like you know i don't know how i can clarify this without it no, I, giving away I, or anything i, I got you know you. what i mean i got you like if you were to walk in like you would be among a lot of individuals um but there's enough space for you to be you know move around and stuff like that i wouldn't, it's not like I wouldn't be bumping shoulders with people no absolutely not maybe maybe giants but you don't know if there's any down there so well someone walk mm. in Okay. And definitely no side entrances either? No side entrances. It looks like it's just the front entrance. Just the front entrance. Yeah. Are there any sewer grates around here? Uh, roll an investigation check. Investigation. Here I go. That's going to be a two. No, you have no idea. <laughs> You're not even sure if this entire <laughs> sector has plumbing. Gross. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way back once I'm I <laughs> with that information. Thoroughly uh staked out this this place. Uh is it how big is this building? Is it like multiple stories? Uh it's about three stories. So it's got the main floor, a top floor, and then it's got the basement that you just kind of peeked into, which is below ground. Alright, I'll make my way back. Okay, roll a stealth check for me. Okay. Six. <laughs> okay. As you're walking by, you hit like a garbage can and the whole thing topples over sideways. You watch as uh, two individuals, uh, one appears to be a knoll, the other one is glamoured as a human, you're not sure what it is both turn immediately and kind of make their way forward. Um, and as they do, you notice the sound of something being thrown and something landing in front of them as they both kind of turn away from where you are and they're like surprised, like something distracted them and you don't really see where it came from. And they kind of look around and do not notice you. I zip away. <laughs> yeah, roll another cell, check with advantage this time. What the fuck? Thank you. Thank you for sparing my life. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh okay. my so, god! With advantage. With, it's with, advantage. Advantage. It's with advantage. With advantage. It's with advantage. Uh, here comes another. 
please. That's better. Oh, that's oh, you are way better. <laughs> as, as, as the Noel and the other individual are kind of looking around up towards where the bottle came from, you just literally like slip past between them before they even notice you. And they turn to each other and go, fucking pigeons and go back to smoking their cigarettes as you oh immediately briskly uh, rush by. Go ahead and roll a perception check with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. God. Here I go again yeah. on my own. Ooh. 18. 18. You just briefly noticed there was something on the roof and it immediately left your side. Actually, no, 18. That's going to be, yeah, that's going to beat it actually. You see two orange eyes just disappear into the dark on the roof where you just snuck by. Did it look familiar? It looked kind of familiar. Oh, 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 oh! Fuck! Was you were not there. First artist collective. Yep. Cack. Uh, did did yeah. it have long, gangly limbs? You couldn't see from being down. You were looking up, so unfortunately you couldn't tell. Shit. All right. Uh, I'll make my way back. Freaking heart. That was close. He helped you out, dude. You know <laughs> that. Yeah, what the who the fuck is he? Why is he helping me out? Why is he following you? He is vengeance. Huh? Yeah, he is I mean, knight. why would he, he help is you? Oh, man. Sparga. Why would he help you if you technically tried to like get the police on him? I don't. We don't, we don't think... know. He was on the roof. <sighs> I have no uh, idea. Fuck. I have no idea. Dennis wasn't doing anything hostile when chasing the guy. He was just keeping pace with him. I know, yeah. but still, you were chasing him. I would think that would mean, like, ugh, never mind. I'm, I, I was oh, asking him heart. what he was doing. I like okay, to I'm, that Dennis was running backwards like Sonic. Just keep I make my. <laughs> oh. Hey, what you doing? Hacking some billboards? You did. You did. You did <laughs> right the dad on. jog. Oh god, the dead except, jog. The, the power dead was move, Except you know, it was moving really fast. <laughs> you, you like your arms were tucked into your side, and you were like running at a brisk pace, but you were running really, really fast at the same time. Oh, so the yeah. Commander Shepard run. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you make it back to your companions. I, I Shepard run back to my companions. <laughs> so, I've. Dennis. I, I have information. Shoot. Uh, from what I saw, what I gathered, I got a pretty good look at the building. The front entrance is the only entrance. If there is another exit, it's hidden very well. Well, then we watch this entrance. We wait for him to show up or leave. He's got to do one of the two. There's something else. You follow. There's something else, though. Yeah? Mm. There's probably a good amount of people in there. It's it's busy. I, I heard it through the window. And... That's why we... All right. Something saw me. What? I don't know... I don't know what it was. It had these glowing orange eyes. And it left as quickly as I saw it. I just barely managed to catch it. That's the only thing I saw was its orange eyes. And it, Did you it held me as... It? it looked kind of familiar. Who, who did it look like? Mm. It didn't seem like a threat. What has it glowing what? orange... It, tr it, it tried it? to help me. Question. You know, you know. What, did it look like either of the guys you chased earlier today? I don't think... I don't think so. The only other person I can think of that might have glowing eyes is maybe Fenton. But why the fuck would he be here? I mean... That's a good question. He's always doing random, you know, missions we don't know about. It... We all know. Look, all I know... Uh, look, I've seen enough werewolf movies to know their eyes glow, but I don't know if they glow orange. Are we missing something completely obvious here, Monty? Is she going to tell us? <laughs> I mean, you saw the guy on the roof. He did look a lot like the guy you saw earlier today. Uh, okay, that's the, the guy oh, on that's the roof. Okay. That, if that's today. the confirmation you want, then yes, that is the confirmation. Yes. He did look, they did look a lot like the person uh, you saw today. He, he, he looked like a long, long man. 
He did look like Long. Long, man. Long, man. You didn't see long, his long. legs. Long. You saw it. You saw it. You definitely saw the eyes, and you definitely saw the ears. And actually, you would have seen one more thing. Um, okay. There is a little screen, like a little LCD screen on his ear. On his ear? On his ear, yeah. Oh, fuck. His, what did his scatter level say? <laughs> uh, huh. Hmm. I had to hazard a guess. I'd say it's one of the guys I ran into earlier today, right before I went to Gibby's house. The one that you chased or the one that chased you? It was it was also on the rooftops then. Nothing chased me, it just sort of vanished. Was it chasing the same guy you were? I think they might have been together. I think I think the imp whistled and that signaled it was time to leave. And then this and then they thing both showed up. I don't know if it's following me or what. Yeah, why would it be here? Was there anything bigger... noticeable about it beyond its eyes? It had an LCD screen on its ear, I think. Just, what? It's tiny, too. It's like tinier than a calculator. Very, very small. I, Some sci fi I could, shit. I could just barely catch the glow. Communicator, perhaps? Or an interface? I mean, maybe mm. I. It wasn't big enough to be a phone screen. But why did he help me? Hmm. Maybe he knows who you are. Graves. Next thing we know, he's going to kidnap my daughter. <laughs> are there Is any there billboards really around here? Billboards around here? No, not at all. There's like she no advertisement here. I mean, this <sighs> this person could live in this ward for all we know. There yeah, but that doesn't explain why he would. Unless there was mention of a jammer, Briar. If they have the technology to jam from a distance, then perhaps uh, they can read from phones from a distance. I'm not I'm not debating that they know how to track Tannis. I just don't know why. That's what's got me no. puzzled. What I'm suggesting is uh, take out your phone, Tannis, and uh, shoot one of us a text message saying thank you for the help. See if it's intercepted. I'm going to uh, text Gibby, say thank you for the help. Okay. Shoop, boop. The message appears for you, Gibby. Nothing okay. else happens. Well, we wouldn't know even if they did get it. Just throwing it out in the void, just in case. If they're able to hack phones without even needing to get into the actual hardware, that's not good. Mm. I'm not a spell... Pitched. I'm not a spellcaster, but don't you usually have to be able to see things in order to hack them? Not necessarily. You have to be able to get into the frequency or the wireless signal or the Bluetooth signal, something along those lines. You don't have to physically see it. You have to be within range of that signal. That Unless they're doing anything. it through magical means, and in which case, I don't fucking know how you combine those two things. You There's like smoke coming out of Tannis's ears right now. <laughs> He's just like over overclocking and over All right, look, Grandpa, it's real simple. All of us produce a signal out of our phones. If they can hack that signal, they can get into the phone or intercept things that the phone sends. It's like how you send a message to Gibby. They can intercept that and see what they sent. They can also hey. jam the signals. Exactly. <laughs> Very. Uh, how many, how many bars do I have? Uh, here you have three bars. Hmm. And I got good service. <laughs> Everything <laughs> has a range. Magic. Technology. Technology is an extension of magic. Uh, B, U, and B is having good signal service out here. <laughs> I guess I, at the moment, I feel like if he was following you for a malicious reason, I don't see why he would have helped you. If if he meant to hurt me, he very well could have. Because no, you mentioned this guy could be invisible, right? I don't think that's the one. 
-hmm. The guy I was chasing turned invisible. This was the guy on the roof. Unless they all have a trick to, trick to be able to do that. I wouldn't put it past him. So, for the time being, we can only sit here and watch this one entrance. I would suggest okay. we get some distance away from it. We can watch from afar. I was afar. just gonna say. Yep, agreed. The closer we are, the easier we are to notice. Oh, if anybody plus, sees him, send a text. Plus the fact that it's probably better when he comes out to see if we can follow him to someplace quieter. Where Perfectly. he's not gonna someplace draw attention. Not... Exactly. Precisely. We no don't need him calling. Good. Yeah, no we don't need him. We don't need him calling those people from the club over to us. I will say this. Groups of two at the least, if we are not all together, if we somehow get separated. Do keep in mind, Costemeyer did say he's fond of eating humans. Well, one of us should stay with Gibby because she's got an extra incentive to be eaten. <laughs> yes, because I was I was going to go off on my own. <laughs> given where we are, I would highly suggest we all stick together, if at all possible. Agreed. I'm just saying, if we get separated, groups of two. Agreed. Right. And we're going to stake the place out. Okay, so where are you guys positioning yourselves? Uh, some distance away. Okay. Probably within eye shot of the entrance, so we can clearly see who's coming and going. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not going to stand right next to all of them. I'm just going to be, like, a few steps Roof. away. so that it doesn't Like, is there any like benches or, like, seating areas anywhere nearby? There are uh, seating areas, but you will be out in the open. I mean, That's fine. you said it's Roof, more like Monty, but you said like that... Group. You said that there are things are up on the roof. You can't go up there, but there. I just I went to say that to be like there are things up there. It's not like it's completely barren like a normal city street would. There's actually things that are hanging out up there, like harpies and peritons and other such things. So you can stick out on the roof too if you want to, and on the ground. But just know that this is. A, it's going to be very hard to be hidden here. There's a lot of traffic coming and going. In That's this why particular you hide in plain sight. Just don't look conspicuous. You guys want to hide in plain sight? Is that the goal here? Well, that's what I'd like to do. I'm not going to make anybody else do that. It's kind of a catch-22. Mm. We can't really hang around outside, and we also can't really go in. I mean, I'm just going to lean it. against. I'm going to lean against the wall and like look at like just be texting on my phone and look down every now and then because all we got to do is catch him coming in or out. I mean, okay. human. You just said that humanoids do live in these districts. They just aren't going into that establishment. This establishment. Right. That, 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 this is. Oh my god, my words. This establishment is very. There's, like, you see maybe one or two humanoids. Um, everything else you can tell is a glamour, like a really bad glamour as well. <laughs> um, you got people with way too many teeth. People who are dragging around like giant tails. Like it's it's ridiculous. But there are some human-looking humans, but you're not sure how human they are. Hmm. I was gonna this say, Fenn looks human to the naked eye. He sure does. So, who's going where? Who's being conspicuous and who's being inconspicuous? I mean, we were gonna all Bri stick together, so... Hmm. Well, Brian, Brian's gonna try to hide in plain sight so he doesn't look like he's staring at the door. So that's one. That's why I was asking about a seating area where... Like a little mini park, like a bunch of benches or something, where we just sit down, like we're just having. I a mean, chat. you said there's there's buildings with things hanging out on top of it, but do any of those buildings have like shadowy alleyways or something that we can? Sort That's of... where I assume you guys were have been having most of your discussions so far. Have been these alleyways? Yeah, we would have been in an alleyway. <laughs> yeah. Could 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 we stay in the alleyway if we're good? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, if where we are is good, then maybe we just hang here. Makes me wish we had a ranger with pass without a trace. Yeah, right. Hey, Rich Tass, can I call you? Hey, Zito, I need you. <laughs> need a favor. He doesn't even have. Oh, oh no, he has that spell now. I he does. Know. He absolutely has pass without a trace because I remember talking to him. I'm like, bro, you should take this spell. It's super mm. good. Anyway, so good. All right, so you guys are gonna hang out in the alleyway you've been hanging out in. That that agreed, right. guys. I suppose Correct. so. Yeah. Okay. You guys, begin your watch. I'm going to say, everybody, two of you do stealth checks to remain inconspicuous. Two of you roll perception checks to watch what's happening at the establishment. Okay. I volunteer for perception because my stealth is zero. Oh, oh boy. by the way, uh, Tannis has a plus four to stealth, so uh, who wants to roll the other stealth? 
Um, I only got two to stealth and two to perception, so I have which nothing. one I do is a toss-up. I'm, ba I'm bad at everything. It doesn't matter. I'm going to fail regardless of what I do, so what do you want more? Are you going to do perception or are you going to do stealth, Bosco? Which I mean, do we feel is more important? Stealth. Not being seen, I think, is more important. So I will... So, so you try to stay hidden. Give so me skinning guidance has... for a stealth check. So wait, I'm doing stealth? Yeah, You're doing Kitty, stealth, and uh, I'm going to roll Kitty perception. Kitty can stealth, Bryant, uh, uh Kazarin, yeah. perception okay. checks. I, I'm, oh, I God, have, I have no skills that I'm good at. Here we go, so here we go, here we go, here we go. I have a really, uh, oh. I got, I have guidance. Come yay. on, Tannis. Uh, the problem is, is I, group. Hey, I, I got I four. A, hey, it's a little eight. better. It's a little better. Uh, Eight's better. Uh, I have a really high stealth, but my perception is higher. <laughs> That's fine. We uh, need to stay hidden. All right. You also have a higher right. stealth than both Bosco and myself. Okay. Yeah, true. All right. Here we go. All stealth. Yeehaw. Jeez. Here, here I go again on my own. Oh, my own. oh come on. Okay. Hey, uh, if we roll the perception, perhaps we can notice trouble coming before we get fucked. Kel <laughs> and Bryant, go ahead and roll your perception checks. I'm sorry. Uh, Brian. Oh, no. Brian. Uh, Brian. Brian, I need you to be Remy for one This roll. is not the time for Prince Division rolls. Come on! Oh, my God. Oh, God. We didn't oh see anything, and God. everyone saw us. Fuck you, roll 20. Mm. 8, 11, 9, and 9. Okay. Can I add an extra 9? That's me shouting no. <laughs> Fucking damn it. You guys, as you guys were standing there... Um, you notice one human guy. He is kind of a scruffy looking dude, probably uh, in his 40s. And he's with about like four other people. Um, notably, all of them are kind of like punkish in nature, like, you know, street, street riffraff kind of. Um, and you notice he like stops for a second and starts smelling the air like... Oh, fuck. And he turns and immediately sees both Gibby and uh, all of you, all four of you, immediately. And okay. he kind of cocks his head, and you watch as about five people approach you guys. <laughs> okay. uh, they move up forward, and then suddenly they all stop. Like, as if something like... like at first they're like, ooh, like, delicious pie, and they have this sort of glare to them towards like all of you specifically more towards you Gibby but just in general all of you as they get closer there's something that makes them stop and immediately like the one who's leading them just clasps his hand over his face and looks like he's gonna get sick and the other four kind of turn to him and go what's wrong it's just like fucking oracle kind of like shoves away and they all avoid Gibby you. I love you you still have your stuff yes oh, I do I, mean, I never took it off I never took it yep. off you never took it all the time. The five werewolves turn around because of your ward. Oh <sighs> fuck yes! Oh my god! Money Thank well god spent. I never took that fucking. I always kept that medallion with me. Oh god! Oh. Fucking werewolves! Roll twenty. Say, Can we get a break here? Uh, fuck off, pops. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> You guys stake oh. out for a bit longer. Give you get a text message from Durzub. <laughs> I, honey, make dinner. I'll be home. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you send him? No. All right, well, I need to read what he texts me first. He says the amazing. He sends you, I'm lonely with a frowny face. Oh. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't gotten your parrot yet. Uh. Are you okay at least? Are you just hanging out? Yeah, just bored. No worries. Yeah, we're, um, we're gotta lead on Malik. We're just staking out the place. Okay, be safe. Or not. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> See you at home. All right. Repeat I send that check. and I'm like, wait. Oh, well. <laughs> Repeat stealth checks and perception checks. Oh, God. Repeat guidance. Oh, goody, here I go again! I'm sure it can't be worse for all of us, right, guys? Yeah. Oh, Fuck my you, fucking God. Oh, my Why God. Why did you say that? Fuck you, Ed. That's does it even one. matter if I roll? That's an, uh, no, it I'm doesn't. Gonna... It really, I... I... Go ahead and touch or shit. Four. Cover me, I'm reloading. Oh That's my all right. God. I, it still I has to happen you, to Ed. three more of us. 
I blame you, Ed. Ed it's right. fine. I don't. I don't even care. I, Here no, I go. I don't oh, even care. God. Go. It's it's time. It's I'm time for eat. me. It's time for me to pass this stealth check. Are you ready? Oh, no. Do it. Uh, Do it. I feel Ill. Do it. Uh, I did it. Oh, but does one. that compensate? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What for, Gibby? See? I feel ill. Because that one beside, numbers still numbers. Uh, yep. But wait, if roll numbers it. matter, do I still roll the guidance? Yeah, roll your roll guidance. Uh, yeah. All right. Just for... Hmm. Just for numbers sake. You can't say you can't critically fail. Hey, 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 seven. Yay. Hey. The guidance hey. isn't going off great. Right. I suppose this perception, perception checks for me and Brian. <laughs> I wanna vomit. Better than the nine. In for in before the nat one. Five. Okay. Kel, as you guys are staking out, you do notice that the top floor, which is kind of comes to a point, like a triangular pointed roof, there's actually like a circular front part that actually opens up and like flying creatures are leaving that way. You see a gargoyle fly out, you see a harpy fly oh, out, and it fuck, Malik flies, it, doesn't he? Pulls in and closes. He does. Shit. Well, we know what he looks like, right? Yes, both glamoured and unglamoured. All right, all right. That's that's fine. It's just gonna. If be I see him, I'm going to use command. Uh, command. Wait, so what, wait. We did. We saw a manticore leave, but it wasn't him. We saw no, a no, harpy just, and a gargoyle. There oh, is an exit. Gargoyle. There is an exit. He could fly out of, as opposed to walking out like we were expecting. So we have to watch right. for that. The problem is we can't get up there because there's no good way to get up there. <laughs> as you guys are standing there, a woman approaches you. <laughs> She has very sharp features, uh, and her hair is like pulled back into a ponytail so tight it's like pulling her whole face with it. <laughs> Great. She's wearing like a long flowing skirt and like a really nice top with like a very beautiful necklace. Notably, she has a belt around her waist with a dagger on her side. <laughs> uh, yeah. And she kind of stops, notices you guys, and kind of approaches, almost skippingly, like excitedly. Mm, uh, oh, uh, did I forget to say that I had garlic pizza for fast food? <laughs> she kind of skips up and she goes, Well, what's going on in this neck of the woods? Nice choice of words. Uh, hmm, how to respond? Chilling, smoke break. Pretty much. Trying to make certain these three don't get in trouble while they're on their smoke break. Everyone roll deception checks. Great, <laughs> here I, I wasn't go. Lying. I wasn't <laughs> lying. We all chilling. Here I go. One. God. That is that a, soft a soft roll. one. Soft That's a soft one. one. It's different. <laughs> Thirteen. Soft. We are the world. That's not bad. Come on, Bosco. Come on. No, you go first. I'm going to nat one. You go first. You first, Mr. Stop Paladin. Stop saying that. Fine. 19. Hey, yeah. Shut up, Ed. You're good. Hey. Five. Hey. I have good news and bad news. Actually, bad news and more bad news. Oh, yeah? Oh, good. The bad news is I have the hiccups. The bad, no. Ugh, the bad news is your lies are shit. Yep. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Uh, I this gotta, woman, I'll try this woman kind of cocks her head and she kind of turns. She goes, oh, I get it. It's because you're, you know, humans and such. You don't feel welcome, right? Uh, Understandably. Sure, we'll go with that. The establishment is a bit rough around the edges, but I guarantee you it's a lovely time inside. Mm hmm I'm sure it is. Please, come on in. Believe me, it's actually not that bad. Inside. Uh -huh, inside. Inside. Suddenly. In with the 21. Three. I know exactly what's going on here. Four. I've seen fucking Blackula. <laughs> it's time for the natural 20. No. Uh, it's close, though. 23. Bryant and Gibby? Oh, she seems friendly. Tannis 
And Kelzorin, this person's full of shit. If it is all the same to you, madam, I will. I prefer to stay out here. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. I insist. Roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Fucking, she's gonna use yep. her goddamn yep. suggestion. Nine. Nine. Uh, you have been charmed. <laughs> oh. Let me see this happen. I'm trying not to hiccup. It's really hard. So, um... So, the charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. So, this person is your best friend, Kel. Gosh dang it. It's not best friend, but it does mean I'll take her out of fit word. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't... Well, Vero still senses weirdness, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you are certain, I do not see what harm there would be. <laughs> Trust me, be we nice got... to take a load off of my feet. We I got turned dragons. <laughs> we got... I'm yeah, also going to cock my head at Kel. Vampires. We got werewolves. It's a real <laughs> grab bag there. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Wait, run that list by me one more time. Oh, uh, the list is endless. Come on. Where's yeah, your that... sense of adventure? I uh, left it at home. Hey, Kel. Hey. Would you just chill? Hey, Kelly. That's your name, right, Kel? Yes. Let's leave these... Sh well, let's leave these rocks behind and let's let loose, shall we? She extends an arm to you. Could I make a check to see if she's cat? If if she, uh, uh, spell, spell. <laughs> basically the one eighty Kel just did. He wants to check for it. Yeah, go ahead and roll an insight on her. Mm, In the meantime, boy. Kel's going to take her arm. But we already did an insight. We know she's full of shit. That's gonna be a seventeen. Seventeen. She's done something to Kel. You're not sure what. I'm gonna... <gasps> fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> I mean, how familiar is Tannis with charm effects? Uh, Does he know I that mean, striking would work? I I was, that... I'm about to hit you upside the head regardless, because it's I, my shit. I... You, you and me think she's Hang okay. On. I mean, Kel's all gung-ho at this point. Like, oh, I have a friend. <laughs> Today has been terrible, but now I have a friend. I will be honest with you, today has been pretty awful, so this invitation is really lovely. Thank you. First um, drink is on me, and she kind of pokes you in the center of the chest very playfully. Um, Might I know your name? Me? Yes. I would like to know what to address you as, so I give proper respect. Oh, my name is Liliana. I can't insight, because I believe her. Yo, hey, Kel, hey, Kel, remember, uh, remember the whole... Go for it. Hey, uh, no, go, go for it. Whole... I'm, still, I'm still thinking. Hey, hey, Kel, remember the whole part where we had an agreement about sticking around here? We were doing something. We were hanging out, smoke break. Yeah. Yes, but now we've been invited to go in, and there's no reason to hang around here. Well, I mean, we did all agree we weren't going to do that, so, and now you want to go do that, and now I'm yeah. kind of confused. Yeah, we were having a party here, and you're kind of splitting it up. Yeah, What's man, like what? confused about? She is offered drinks. Well, re remember, we're doing a dry week, right? Could I could I, mean, I size this woman woman up to see if if she is like physically a, a specimen? Uh, this would be an investigation check, just analyzing oh. her. Get hands on here. Here I fucking go, man. Here I fucking go. I'm gonna land the natural <laughs> one, man. Oh my, oh my god. god. You have no idea what she is. She is definitely not human, though. That is a hundred percent guaranteed. Would I And she she's got she's got pointed features. Pale very skin. Sharp. Yeah, not very pale. She's actually got kind of a um she's seen the sun. You can tell she's been out in the sun quite a bit, but she's not okay. Very fair looking face. Uh, she loops her arm around Kel and begins to lead him towards the establishment. I'm, I'm <laughs> grabbing Kel. 
Fuck that shit. Yeah. Oh, you want to go along too? No, Help. you're staying Help. put. We're not but going they, in, okay? They didn't find it. Yes, yeah. but but again, uh, thank you so much, ma'am. But we really, really, honestly, I... we only were taking a short smoke break, and then we were going to head home. <laughs> you watch as her eyes kind of glow a little bit. And she goes, "I think you and I both know that's a lie. Isn't that right, princess?" I. Look, oh hell no! Look, look what whatever's whatever is going on here. I don't want. I don't really want any part of it. I'm just gonna. You know, go ahead and make my way home, and I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna try to walk past her. I'm going to act like I trip on my own shoelaces, and I'm going to punch her in the fucking face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Roll the hit, straight hit. Here we go. Nineteen. Ooh, good roll. That hits. Yes. That's okay. seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah, you punch her in the face. Hey, Monty. Uh-huh. As a follow-up to that, Kel doesn't know what she is, does he? Well, we're going to roll for initiative first. Oh, God. I know, but in my mind, right my first call? thought is, Kel's friend has been hurt. Kel will heal his friend with holy energy. Oh, no. Sokka. <laughs> We, we don't we don't know if this is undead though. <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking yeah, we don't know. But she's got killed right. with a friend, she, and that means healing. Yeah, um, above if she's Monty. still charmed though, if if you're still charmed though, above you have to hit kill to break the charm, not her. Yeah, above game Monty, you just hit someone to break charm. You don't know. Great. Yeah, hitting her does nothing for this. If she is what I suspect she is, where? Have fun fighting both of us. Okay, everybody. When I was saying we were gonna roll against the PCs, I wasn't actually serious, Monty. You didn't have to like. I feel ill. That's a fourteen. You're okay, you're one. okay, Sarah. Fifteen. No, I'm not okay. I feel ill. Uh, fourteen. Point four. That is. What's your dex bonus? You have tennis beats. He'd be a fourteen point four. No, um, uh, Brian. What's what's your dexterity modifier? Lower than everyone else's. What is it? Like a negative one. Oh, <laughs> minus one. Okay. Good. That's gonna be. B. Uh, Kel. That is going to be Tannis. And then it's going to be the enemy, if you don't know what she is. And then it's going to be. Bryant. Okay, Gibby, you are up first as you am I see. Ne- am I next to Kel? Uh, I'd say, yeah, you guys are within five feet of each other. I'm going to grab him and I'm going to say, I'm so sorry. Shocking grasp. Okay. <laughs> Kel, you're wearing metal armor, aren't you? Oh, it's advantage. Oh. I have chain mail, yes. So 14, does the 14 hit you? Uh, No. As, as Gibby reaches out to grab you, you like you you pull your hand out of the way. What is going on, Tannis? Everyone, what's wrong with you? Ah, uh, don't worry, I just slept. All right, Gibby, do you want to move bonus action? Anything else? Um, I guess I'm gonna back away a little bit because okay, I don't want to be back. that close to him or her. All right. Kel, it is now your turn. Kel is going to check on his new friend and saw that she got hurt, so... Are you okay? Let, let me heal you. Oh, no. I'm, I'm certain just, he didn't mean it. It's just a flesh wound. She can't stop him. Kel is Kel. Friend needs healing. Well, this friend is gets totally healing. in character! Oh my god, it's gonna hurt her! Oh yeah! Oh my god, that's oh, right! It's so good. That is okay. seven points of healing. It does if not she's hurt undead. her, it heals her. What? Yeah, yeah we you established want... that she's and... seen the sun. She's not undead. Oh, fuck. Aww. You watch as the nose straightens, her face clears up. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Kel? Oh, uh, 
Well, he's not going to immediately attack his friends. He's just confused because his friends attacking friends. He's going to try to interpose between them. Okay. Tannis, it is now your turn. Well, that only leaves one other thing. Fucking damn it. Oh, boy. All right. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm going to do what I do best. I am going to whip out my long sword. Okay. And I'm going to try and strike the lady. Okay. Uh, 17. That hits. Five slashing. Okay, you slash into her. Blood sprays across the ground. What is wrong with you? What is wrong indeed? I'm an idiot, and moreover, I know when someone is charming someone else. A bonus action. Oh, thank you for saying that. Flurry of blows. Okay. Gonna jam the pommel of my sword into her fucking face. Nine? Nine does not hit at all, no. Damn. You watch as she like literally like parries the strike with her bare hand. Like you just come in and she just kinda takes it in her hand really, really well. And then my knee is gonna rise up towards her chin. Ki. Uh nine. Nine. This is as well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay. You want to Yay! Rest We're rolling double threes. Charm person is not a concentration spell. I'm noticing. <laughs> it is not. You it have to hit the person not. that's charm, not the charmer. Yep. But he said oh, that she's charmed, so now. Uh, it doesn't say it repeats the saving throw. You attempt to charm a humanoid you can see within range. It must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it. If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. Yeah, so if we hit Kel, oh, all so that... Oh, if you hit him. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. fair enough, yeah. And now that he's called out that he's charmed, now it's not meta anymore. So thank yeah, you, yeah. Connor. I don't... I, 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 know it, I know it's a charm. I just don't know how it works. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, if you hit him, it should knock him out of it. All right. I would say that's really powerful if you couldn't do that when it's a first level freaking spell. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's like you have to yeah. hit. It's, uh, it's the wording is to... weird. That, that's how it worked it, when we were, when remember yeah. the fight with um, Unexpected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Remy and knocked him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're good. All right. Tannis, yep. does that end your turn? Sure does. All right. Liliana drops her glamour. And you watch as her humanoid torso remains the same. But you watch as a lion's body grows from her legs, uh, forming into front lion paws. Are you kidding me? She's a fucking what? sphinx? She's and a sphinx. Back legs and a tail. Oh. And she pulls out her dagger. What the fuck? What's a sphinx doing here? Well, we oh my district. fucking god! If you need to run and leave Kel for dead, he it's already said he allowed. Bar. That's the answer. It's a monster bar. <laughs> Remember, Bryant, Kel trusted you to make that call if it ever came up. It turns to Bryant and she says, Come now, don't you want to loosen up a little bit too? Roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. I don't remember if Eight. Paladins have anything against it. Nope. You are charmed as well. Great! Awesome. All right. They can do it more than once. Fuck. And it's not concentration either. 
God. That's gonna end her turn. That brings us around to you, Brian. It is now your turn, and she is your friend. Great. I'm gonna pass my turn because I think everything is fine. Okay. Gibby, it is now your turn. Oh, fuck my existence. Um, 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 You'll um, see um, Mike not even draw his weapons, Gibby, if that's any indication. You saw her talking to him, too, in a very sultry way. Meanwhile, Kel is fussing over her new wound. Um... Brian, Kel, if I may ask, uh, DM, you're gonna have to tell me this. Mm -hmm. How's your wisdoms? Mine is stupidly high. Right. Okay, then... I mean, mine's not. Yeah, but we need... Okay. Mine is stupidly high, but didn't resist this stupid spell. I know, right? Well, I have one vicious beard. I have proficiency that doesn't matter. That's how low okay. it is. Twin spell, Firebolt, Bryant, and Kel. Thank you. Which is one sorcery point because it's a cantrip. This is the time where both of us being high AC tanks is going to come back to bite us in the ass. Yep. Yep. So how does this work? I roll it twice? You ro yeah. No, yeah. <sighs> We're both high yeah. AC hit point tanks, too. 18. Oh. Is that hit you, That Kel? hits me. That meets Thank it. God. And one more for you, Bryant. Oh, yep. 20. That hit me. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sarah, oh saving God. the damn day. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. Okay, I got to roll for damage. I got to roll. I got to hit you, folks. Right, yep. Uh, uh, well, okay. Uh, right. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. Firebolt. One for you, Kel. Nine. Firebolt. One for you, Bryant. One. I'll take it! Fuck it! That's perfect! Thank you! <laughs> you toss out both the firebolts and you hit both of your friends, knocking them back into their senses. This sphinx-like creature turns to you and goes, You cuck-holding bitch! Whoa. And points her dagger towards you. You see a flare in her eyes as these, like, cat-like slitted eyes tear towards you. Woman, thy name is bitch. I'll take it. Okay. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Gibby, do you end your turn? Yeah, I'm good. All right, Kel, it is now your turn, and you are no longer charmed. Oh, if the air could get colder. My hands are shaking. <laughs> this was the equivalent of someone becoming Kel's friend and then betraying him. Kill it. With prejudice. <laughs> this is going to be at level two. Inflict wounds. Fifteen. Ooh. Fifteen hits, yeah. Holy All right. shit. This is a level two cast, as stated earlier. That's 28 necrotic oh damage. My oh my god. god. All right. Does she just like melt? No, she's still alive. <sighs> that hurts though. She lets out an agonizing yell. Sphinxes are crazy. Oh, Relish that scream. It will repeat many times before this night is over. Jesus. <laughs> okay. I like this spell. Now, this spell should stay. Let's see if I have... That was a spell, so I can't do another spell. So uh, that is it, again, it for me for now. Okay. Tannis, it's now your turn. Your friends are back to their senses. <laughs> Gibby is sweating bullets. Kel is angry. It's good night. Hmm. We did not get accomplished what we set out to do tonight. Nope. Instead, we, we made new friends. Uh, <laughs> hey, we found, hey, maybe we'll we get lucky. Nice maybe we'll kill this thing, turn around, and manticore. <laughs> what? It was the manticore the whole time. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Seeing as how his friends are no longer charmed, Tannis is just going to continue laying into this weird Sphinx lady. Okay. Regardless of my better judgment. Hiya. Ah. 25. That hits. That That's hits. good. Uh, uh, nine slashing. That's even better. Okay. 
flurry of blows. Okay. For the 11. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. You, you swing with your first hit, kind of hitting her right, kind of where the chest meets the lion part. And then you swing around again and try and like do a kick down her back, but she manages to like shift out of the way before you can hit her and you kind of hit the ground with your leg and swing it around back into position, ready to swing again. Uh, it's a late session tonight. It's our last session yeah. before the break. So yeah. I was going to say, we're good. We'll fucking do it again. We're Soft 20. Yeah. That hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <sighs> Uh, seven bludgeoning damage. Nice. You swing around and you kick her in the chest again, and she kind of knocks into the back of the wall, but then re-staggers herself. <sighs> she's taking a beating, but she's pretty tough looking. All right, that brings us around to her turn. Hmm, indeed. Oh, this is this is mean. Yeah, that's what that's what she's gonna do. Tannis, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, okay. Come on, baby, you're good at wisdom. It, is this a charm effect? Uh, this is actually. Okay. So you Ooh. have advantage. Yeah. Because of elf elf business. Come I'm on, an baby. elf. Uh, Let's 22. go. That's really great because she almost casted geese on you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, so, isn't that man. a mini cast? Dice, yeah. whatever. Same deal. It would have been really bad if she cast Gesh on me. Yeah. 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 But I you managed to get that shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. So you are man. unaffected on her turn as she points and says, Could you oh. stop her, please? As she points towards Gibby. And you don't Tennis feel anything Tennis. and look back. <laughs> Tennis looks, looks up with his sunglasses on and he says, Nope. <laughs> Elf. Yeah. Kind of snarls. He he like eyebrow waggles at her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that ends sure, her turn. You sure you want to keep this up, lady? Come to think of it, I think I'm done here. <gasps> I don't do that at this above game. I'm just like, <laughs> oh. I'm shaking. Oh, 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 oh. She crosses her arms in front of her body and looks down. So, two humans, an elf, and a dragonborn walk into a bar. It and seems they like whoop the your of ass. I mean, Shut to be up. Fair, to be fair, we didn't walk into the bar, so. To be fair, it's more like he walked into us. <laughs> that is true. You should be better at lying, by the way. I could read you like a book. But I must say, she kind of wipes some of the blood off of her chest. If humans are good at something, at least it's fighting. So we'll call it a monetary, momentary truce. How's that? <sighs> monetary? So what? A Monty. Momentary. Oh. I, I fubbled that because I'm I not was like, wait, I, I was above again. I was like, wait, she wants money. <laughs> I mean... You ain't good shit. Fucking roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Love you know Kel... how much we paid out today. What would Kel have to roll to be able to hold back his own emotions? I was going to ask. Because uh, he's... Good. She's fully no. surrendered. She's... No, Kel is not good. He's anything but. That's why I'm asking. I'm going to say this. If you fight her, she's going all out again. And for the safety of the people around you, you know well enough that's probably not the smartest idea. You've become a bit of an annoyance to her that she's like, ah, oh, this is not worth it anymore. Like, she's like, I'll just talk to these losers and figure out what's going on. Then Kel is going to keep his peace, but he's digging his claws into his hands hard enough to draw blood. So. 
So indeed. You want to tell us your name? <laughs> I already told you, but it's Liliana. Liliana, right. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. What were you doing? What are you trying to do here? Well, a few humans would be probably a very nice entourage to have in a bar of this nature. So what, you tried to charm my friends here as accessories for you? In a way, accessories, appetizers. She kind of darts an eye towards Gibby. Mm. I'm gonna I'm just take gonna a step very, that. I'm gonna step in front of Gibby because fuck this creature. I'm just very, I'm just gonna quickly just sigh and touch myself and cast mage armor. Cause I actually haven't done that. That's <laughs> smart. Put on mage armor. Yeah, we figured. So Kale what is, now? Kel is gritting his teeth and breathing very heavily. How about Yeah, Brian this? hasn't put his sword away, but he hasn't swung it either. How about this? I ask you a question. You ask me a question. Clearly, if you were to walk in there, you'd be, well, no offense, like a five-course dinner walking in there. I know a few vampires who could do with a little bit of extra nutrition, and I'm sure they would love some elf blood, some human blood, and some... Yeah, we blood. get it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about this? Clearly, you're peering over there for some reason. You have questions, and I have questions. Okay. Who's going first? You know what? I'll go first. Crosses his arms in front of his chest after sheathing his sword. Fire away. I was saying you can ask me. I'm being somewhat courteous. Oh. Right. She kind of grabs her shoulder where you kind of kicked her, and she's just like, mm. looks a little pissed off. Give her like a poker face, like, oh, oh, you attacked us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shit, what should I ask her? Let's ask her about Malik. Does she know him? Is he in there? Is a manticore named Malik in there? Him? That cocksucker? Yes, he's usually hanging around the basement, but he's not here tonight. Okay, that was my question. Now you get yours. Okay. Why are you here looking for him, presumably, but why? We want information that he likely has. And we have a score of sorts to settle with him. Roll a persuasion check. Him or me? Uh, I'm gonna say Gibby. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Nine. Nine. She got a natural 20 insight. Oh, well. I mean, I'm not lying. That is no, true. No, you're not. But you're trying to persuade her that she can believe you, and she does believe you. Gotcha. She kind of looks and she nods. She goes, he does have a certain ch talent at getting himself into a lot of trouble. I will say this, because I hate him so much. He's currently hanging around a gang of Kenku, if that helps you, wandering about city streets, trying to make a quick buck. Kenku? Are Kenku mm -hmm. citizens? They are. They're part of the Beast Folk Conglomerate. Right. That was in my... No, those aren't in my notes. Those are in the little sheet you gave us. World notes, yeah. Yeah. I should find that again. <laughs> yeah, I could take that up. So much information. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Um... Okay. Word well, around is that he's wanted by the Orc Mafia, which, as far as dealing with humanoids goes, that's not one you really want to bark up. Apparently. Now we get to ask a question. Sure. Above game, do we need any more than that? That's a Unless we want to ask, like, if she knows exactly as well. where he am. We I mean, might we're as here. Well. Above game, where is this gang located? What's their typical stomping grounds? Can <laughs> she point us in a direction? Yep, those are all good. 
Kel is too pissed off to speak right now, so I'm keeping my mouth shut. This gang, do you know what they go by and where they're located? Don't know what their name is, but they tend to hang around and loiter around Egglestone Street. Egglestone Street. Write that down. Egglestone Street. Yep, I got it too. That's in uh, this district, probably? Uh, it's in the demon district, yes. The demon, devil, fiend, whatever. Who gives a shit? It's the orc district, if we're being honest. Yeah. Sorry, I get my notes. Okay. Egglestone Street. Very funny. All right. And now your question. She kind of turns towards you, Gibby, and goes, What are you? I think you already I think you already figured it out. And yet, here you are. I don't mean that. I mean what you are. Coalescing such a decadent flavor into power is rather fascinating. <laughs> All I know is, I thought I was normal, and then I was starting to melt copiers and making it rain hail left and right. So I came here because, at least with these guys, maybe I can do something useful with what I've become. Hmm. She kind of rolls her eyes, not like dismissively, but just kind of like, all right, yeah, geez, human shit. Our business meeting is done. Don't be too shy next time. Don't be so forward next time. She gives you this grin. You can see the two big kind of incisor fangs as she kind of gives you a smile and turns back and limps towards the door. You notice at this point that there's actually, there was a bit of a crowd watching you and there's like a Noel who's just like, oh shit, just turns around and like moves away. Like, oh, it's okay, fun's over. Time to, time to, time to go. Fuck that whore. <sighs> I assume you say that once she's out of earshot. Yep. <laughs> she just turns right around. What did you say to me, bitch? Your neck just You're right the bitch. Grabbing, just grabbing Brian, covering us. It's like, <laughs> nothing. You hear up above you some harpies are cackling. They were looking down at the moment. They're all kind of laughing. Like, almost like two girls, like, who just watched a fight in high school, just kind of, like, giggling to each other and laughing with these kind of, like, sharp noises and pointed teeth. Well, we got what we needed. We don't need to stick around here anymore. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, look up. I'm going to kind of cock an eye up there at those two girls and just around and be like, let's just get the hell out of here. If I can ever see that bitch again, I'll cut her in half. Well, All right. at least we won't see her again for the rest of the night, supposedly. Egglestone Street is really close. Mm. Nope. Yeah. Kill doesn't okay. move. Oh, re retroactively. Could gonna... I insight? I I it, I don't know why it completely blew over my head, but could I insight her saying that she didn't like him? Sure, retroactively, I will allow this. Here I go. Bless didn't you. Didn't matter. It doesn't. God, roll twenty. Why? This was a weird hope. night for roll twenty. Yeah, you we hope. started off really well, and then it became a. a pretty uh, good night. Well, I mean, the good rolls were nice while they lasted. Fire. All right. It was an eight, by the way, for the yeah. for the podcast listeners. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are heading to Egglestone Street then. Yeah, you guys, make your way now. At this point, it is nighttime. Like, oh wait, I like... thought I thought Kel didn't come with us. Like he wasn't coming with us. No, he is. No, that, that was because he was charmed. Once the group started moving, Kel did not move. Oh, he did not. I'm. No. I'm gonna go I'm back gonna... and. I'm going to go back to him and sort of make sure I'm in front of his eyes, but like, Kel, come on. It's not safe here. Please, Kel. This is not a good night. 
And let's go find a manticore to beat up on. Now Kel will start moving. All right. Easy enough with directions. How long does it take? Like 10 minutes. Perfect. (laughs) While we're moving, prayer of healing. Okay. (laughs) Yes. 16 healing to myself. And who else got hurt in that fight? I don't think anybody got hurt. <laughs> no, I, I, I hurt them. I hurt him and I, I hurt him for eight and I hurt I got hit um, I get hit for five. a singular point. I'm fine. You're still like, getting I the think, healing. I think all the damage was from me. Yeah. Yep. yep. You Maybe took me I down to twenty six. But still first time I've gotten to use that spell. Nice. Alright, there you go. Perfect. Alright. All right, as you guys walk down Eggleston Street, you can't hear but hear a loud, raucous voice and a group of cackling and laughing as you turn around the corner and you see Malik the Manticore with four Kenkus around him. You see him kind of grinning. He's drinking a beer out of like a bottle and sitting on like a, uh, the stoop of 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 a house. And he throws back the bottle and goes, and that's when I told him, you either do it or I tell her what everything I know. And they all, the Kenku kind of laugh in various, like one's laughing like a dwarf and other one's laughing like a human. And that, he turns and he notices all four of you. And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, oh boy. Uh, now we have to wait a month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible oh, place. Oh, but, my but hey, God. Uh, you, bye, that Austin. Was, that was a Lamia, by Bye. the way. Bye, Austin. Oh, it wasn't a Sphinx. Thank fucking God oh, it wasn't a Sphinx. I thought, that makes so I thought much a... more sense. Okay. If, it was a Lam- was... if it was a Lamia, we actually had a chance. If it was a Sphinx, yeah. we were fucked. Yeah. I was still ready to die. I'm like, well, we're just going to fight this thing until Monty either lets us die or lets us go. No, it was a Lamia. They're kind of like oh. diet sugar-free sphinxes. They're kind of like diet sphinxes. Oh my god. You Did you describe I'm, it exactly oh like god. a sphinx? I'm like, oh, we no are. Wings. No we... wings and we... human torso. My so. hands were shaking oh. so hard. We, c- we was... could have ac- we could have actually taken a Lamia, but Yeah. Oh. I, I was I was ready to kill that thing. She oh. was ready to charm all of you guys. Like, like the moment was... she charmed me, you guys started combat. Like, I'm like, she's gonna charm. I'm gonna try and charm everybody before I, they get a chance. I, to I rightfully again. thought, but I didn't really get to it because I was ready, but I was wondering because I didn't know how high her wisdom was. I had a ba- I had a thing I wanted to say with with with, with vicious mockery, and now I'm kind of sad, but I don't know how I... high her wisdom, <laughs> wisdom was. I, like, are I... Lamia's wisdom's pretty high? Uh, sure, stats were pretty good. They, they have a pretty decent set. Also, yeah, someone specified that Lamia are evil, but Sphinxes are not. Sphinxes are good. Well, alignment in this world is already kind of scary. Yeah, it's so pretty really pretty yeah, I was going to say it's um, pretty wishy-washy. I, I had assumed she was some sort of fey being, which I thought you guys even were, scarier. You guys were like, oh, she's totally a vampire. I'm like, she's not a vampire, guys. She's totally it's, not Well, I missed the you part said, where you said you, you heard in the sun. Also, yeah, the heard... werewolf thing was like legit. I'm just like, I'm like, like the moment, like a couple sessions ago, you're like, I'm carrying it with me. I'm like, that's good because if you know if they end up going here, that could be really, really bad if they don't have that amulet. Like, so. I like to think that yep. either, like, well, if I'm playing as me, I'd like to think that I just got used to wearing it and forgot to t- take it off. Or if I go more with like, Gibby, it's just like, like, eh, I like this thing. I'm just gonna wear it. Mm-hmm. It's it's pretty. That was a In fun session. Movie. That was awesome. Holy Very crap. Long. What a, what a, oh. I can't believe yeah. we have to wait a month. Oh. But yeah. hey, guess what? We Starting next week, Ravenloft. Yeah. It's so soon. Where you it will like... fight a Sphinx if you go to the wrong spot. Oh, yeah. no. I don't oh, want to. God. Uh. I'm just, oh, I can't believe I pulled those fireballs off. That was good. That was, that that was, was super good, clutch. Sarah. But, okay, so was... you hit you hit me. What you got one over what you needed to hit me, and you matched my armor class exactly. Because oh. she was gonna charm. She could charm Kel. She was gonna charm, and then she was gonna charm. Um, she was gonna charm Tannis, uh, Tannis. Uh, Tannis next, and then she was good gonna probably. Luck. She was probably gonna geese you. Um, but what does instead, that do? I hate that. What is the scares? But she, 
Dash let me, is I'll, awful. Let me read it out. Let me read it out. You place a magical command on a creature that you can see within range, forcing it to carry out some service or refrain from some action or course of activity as you decide. If the creature can understand you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by you for the duration, which is 30 days. Yep. I mean, to and be fair... And if I disobey while, her, I take the, 5d10 psychic damage. While the creature oh, is charmed by you, it takes 5d10 psychic damage each time it acts in a manner directly counter to your instructions, but no more than once per day. A creature that can't understand you is unaffected by the spell. You can issue any command you choose, short of an activity that would result in certain death. Should you issue a suicidal command, the spell ends. You can end the spell early by using an action to dismiss it. A remove curse, greater restoration, or wish spell also can end this effect. I so mean, she might but, it doesn't, doesn't that, but Monty, the question, does, did she have it as like a spell effect where she could cast it without needing to do a minute like prep time? Oh shit, no, she didn't. I'm an idiot again. I keep oh, forgetting. Oh, no, 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 you're spell. fine. No, you're either good. Way, I, either I, way, she had another matter. charm was, person. Yeah. Yeah. She had another charm yeah, yeah, person. Yeah. yeah, she couldn't do this. But no, you're. Yeah. I didn't because I know you let uh, rule of cool with uh, with yeah object with, a, with, with object sense, a. So. I always forget with yeah. this spell. I always forget because it's just a super yeah. Powerful. It's so it's super powerful if it's not a mm -hmm. one minute cast. I like yeah, yeah, now. I, I, I realize today, now like over. something. I realize now something like two ideas I probably would have tried. Well, one I had one idea first, but now I just came up with another idea and I don't know what it worked. I probably like if I had gotten to the point where all three of you were charmed and it was just my ass i don't know i might have risked scorching ray just to double check um elven ancestry you're not immune to charm effect you just have advantage i am not immune i have advantage yeah. against charming effects I, I am immune to sleep effects yeah, the, yeah you the other idea you just gave me and i again i don't know if you would have allowed it as a dm but you said that i have to hear her do this to me like i have to understand it yeah, but what you do wouldn't mean? know that, really. Ah, uh, that's true. I don't know. I, I would have maybe thought about risking Scorching Ray, but I would have been like, am I potentially going to kill one of my teammates? Or at least Well, one? at least we don't have to deal with her anymore right now. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting things that happened this session. It was it was kind of like, yeah, again, you guys were like, we're going to go in a completely different direction. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know which other direction we would have gone. There's so many ways. Like, I, I was just like, okay, like, they're going to go this direction. And your eyes are like, no, we want to go here. And I'm like, okay. Like, that's the yeah. thing. This is, this is, this game is okay, the game, where I'm just like, okay, like, I have to figure this out as we're going along. So, like, the first check was like when you guys were spying out, was just like, you know, you guys didn't notice the, the window, like, where they exit up top. And then the werewolves came by. And I'm like, that's really, really fun. Cause, like, the werewolves won't, like, they'll approach. They'll be like, ooh, ah. But then the moment they get too close, they'll be like, ooh, ah, no. Like, ee, never mind. Gross. Yeah, that's gross. Man, I, uh, close up, close up things. Getting into another situation that was like as bad as Bryant getting kidnapped is like, oh man, all of them yeah. charmed, and then I have to do what she does, and we have to go inside. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Like I'm glad we were butting heads this session, and not a single person backed down from their position. Nope, it was really it's interesting. Fun. Which means there's gonna be some, yeah. there's gonna be some talking in the next session when we're done with this. I know what I'm doing oh. with those Genku the very next session. Oh, I know I what I'm doing with that Manticore. <laughs> Greckles, why don't you go the, the, the Genku get one chance to walk away. They get one chance. Yes, and they'll have a 400 gold incentive to do so. Oh, There's four of them, fuck. 100 each to walk away. And leave Melik to us. Oh, I'm excited. All right, no more spoilers. Guys, let's go around the table. Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be playing more Final Fantasy IX. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to, I believe, oh gosh, the capital city of the rat people, which is really exciting. You can see me do a terrible French accent and uh, yell about things. It's really, really fun. I'm using a guide, so we're not going to get stuck, so it's pretty fun. Um, definitely come and check it out. Steiner's the best. Vivi's the best. I can't choose between them. They're both too good. Um, and then on Thursday, unfortunately, we didn't do it this week because my brain was gone. Um, it should be doing Devil May Cry 4. I'm honestly terrified to jump back into those games because Devil May Cry 3 hurt me. Oh, uh, you're you're fine. You'll, you'll I be know, fine. I know. I just, uh, I'm scared. But um, yeah, no, definitely, definitely check that out. And I might stream randomly throughout the week. I don't know. I haven't had a whole lot of energy, but I'm trying to keep it up and keep going. Oh, yeah. And then Very we nice. have Unexpectables this Wednesday. Course. We sure do. Yeah. You guys are fighting frog things. Yeah. Well, we fought frog things and now we see an island of more frog things. 
Uh, four dude. hours and 30 minutes. Yep. Two named yeah. NPCs died before we even met them. I know. It's true. We had a whole... We just ruined her plan. That seems to be a trend this week. It's just like... <laughs> I have a plan for the party. You're going where? I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Hang on. Wait. No, wait. I mean, so, I, I, I remember... legitimately today was just like, like you guys were like, Jerusalem, who's your informant? Oh, it's this guy. Let's go talk to him. He, he's really not that sketch. He's totally like, he's a good guy. And you're like, no, we need to talk to him. And in my brain, I'm like, okay, I guess they're going to go talk to him. I mean, Monty, you don't have to. Down the I, think, I think I've one time ruined like the best thing where I played with KG for the first, one of the first times as DM, third time. And he had this whole thing where we had to sneak into a building and he had this whole like setup of how we were going to like do it, you know, Mission mm -hmm. Impossible style, yeah. and it was going to be like really kind of intricate. We were going to have to go multiple tiers. I rolled a natural twenty. Oh, he literally was just like, you you find a vent at the top of the roof and you go in. He was so sad. He had yeah. this whole thing, and he's like, I, I wrote all that. I legitimately <laughs> thought, like, I don't know, obviously lean anywhere, but I Ow. like and this, this thing. You can solve this, like, you can solve this case in any way. There's multiple ways to solve it. It's not like guaranteed one way. I legitimately thought you were gonna go find this up, like this princess, um, and so I had that all set it out and stuff. And then like you guys were like, "Nope, we want to go and deal with Manticore." And I'm like, "Okay, like legitimately, that's what it is. It's like you have to be like, okay, let's roll with it." Like, let's keep going. Malik was on the way to figuring out Princess because we yeah, gotta find the Yeah, because if we hadn't found him there, we would have just moved on to the Lich Ward in that market area. Because mm -hmm. so we were there. That's, that's, that just... that's the next. That could be the next thing that we follow up on because honestly. I don't know what's going to happen with this guy, but even if we get information from him, talking to Zoe is not a bad idea. Yeah, we need to find she's still her. Doing so she's still doing something illegal that we have to look into. That's if she's not abducted. We got to find information first. That is true. That is true. I, uh, no, this is fun. And I, this is the difference between this game and the Unexpectables. Unexpectables, there's a lot more planning that goes into it. Well, because you know we're going to that island. We're not just going to suddenly be like, actually, Whoa. you know what? We're going to take a right. <laughs> That and the world is a lot. I don't want. It, it's it's so hard to describe because I don't want to say like, oh, it's a lot less open. It it it's not like that. It's just there's a lot more refined detail that's less developed in the moment. It's more like it's already there. It's already been well developed. Whereas in this game, um, like sometimes things are made up. Like Le Leliana was completely made up on the point at, at, on the spot. I'm like she notices mm. like Gibby and she's gonna approach because she sees an opportunity and this is why. Like that had to be made up on the spot. Same with the werewolf gang. I'm like, they like mm -hmm. legitimately like, I'm like, I want them to run to werewolves again. I'm like, here's the perfect point for the werewolves to show up and be like, hey, how's it? Oh, never mind. Like stuff like that. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just joking, bro. I'm just joking. We can get back. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go inside. But that's, uh, that's, Sarah. that's, that's why D&D yeah. is a versatile game. That's because anything it, can I, happen. I, is true sarah where can they find you real quick sorry we're, we're gonna be real chatty today i could tell i know i am on twitter at sarah with an h and with an e willia and uh sorry i'm trying to drop my files into the uh the prince division audio am i in the right files are they all gone oh uh, uh, yeah they um, got cleared out you, 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 you need to put you need to put them in the prince division folder the prince division audio folder yeah yeah Yes. All right. I am going. I always just try to upload my thing right after the fact, so I don't forget. All right. Uh, oh, but yeah, yeah. Um, and some. Well, we're not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna be going till till November. So. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I knew, I would have totally put you in Ravenloft. I mean, uh, I mean, to be fair, again, it's like we were supposed to go on the 26th, but I had a trip, and now my trip is gone, and it's like it's too late now. <laughs> Well, I need a break anyway, honestly. Yeah, yeah. truth. Uh, no, no, that... my, my roommate Eric wants me to stream some scary games with him, so maybe I'll actually get hey. on. Maybe not on camera because I don't want to put on makeup and I'm lazy. Uh, I feel that. Just do what Monty does and put a helmet on. I don't have that done yet. <laughs> Fair. I will do the whole stream in, in, one, of those, in one of those... Um, can I order one of those uh, Chi Chan or what is that mascot that has the bat who hits stuff a lot? Oh, the thing that John Oliver talked about. Oh, yeah, I uh, need to get one of those masks and like wear it the whole time. I remember sure, that. Or one of those badass French firefighter helmets. <laughs> that too. But yeah. A lot of options. Hey, uh, Arkov. Mm -hmm. Where can they find you? You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Arkov. 
Tomorrow is going to be Among Us with the Murder Cave. I'm curious if the rules of Bob will apply, but I suppose we'll see. <laughs> then Monday is going to be Kingdoms of Amalore, re-reckoning, at least until I finish my special project for Mass Effect 2. <gasps> then the rest of the week is just random streams till we round about to Sunday again, and until November when we start Prince Division again. Woo! Very nice. Very nice. Remember to throw him lots of money. We're starting a Get Arkov Out of Tennessee fund. So, yeah, go to twitch.tv slash Arkov and donate today. Connor, where can they find you? Fun. Well, they, can find me, well, they can find me yawning on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. <laughs> You're a yawning boy tonight. You were very I don't know. What, I don't know what the fuck is going on because I don't feel tired, really. Weird. Just fucking yawning, man. Is, bored. Uh, is my D&D DMing boring you? You fought a no. fucking sphinx. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, um, fucking, first of all, uh, Dead House Sonata, um, doing the September thing still. For, uh, we've gotten quite a lot of people who are participating in September. For every 15 subs I get, we'll be giving away one Founders Pack for Dead House Sonata. So be sure to stick around for that stream. And another stream you should stick around for on the 30th on twitch.tv slash Dead House Sonata. That's twitch.tv slash D E A D H A U S Sonata. Um, I will be a guest starring for the grand reveal of the um, the uh, key visuals for the game, the new key visuals that have been in development for quite a while, and that's going to be revealed on the thirtieth at the end of November as well. Uh, the Founders Pack giveaway might actually be on that stream as well, so definitely uh, go ahead and shig it out. That'll be at 4 p.m. Eastern uh, D time um, on the 30th of this month. So be sure to check it out. Very nice. Very nice. And you guys already know where you can find oh. me. It's the same place <laughs> you could always find me. Twitch.tv uh, forward slash Edward Bosco or on Twitter at Ed Bosco VA. Yeah, that. Also uh, Instagram or something. Through. I can't remember your social media stuff because I don't do social media stuff. I know. I know you don't. That's what I bank on. Uh, we got Mr. Inktail with the 500 bits saying, I have to ask, what are your thoughts on interspecies romance and campaigns? Which I think we answered during the break, we but I don't know if anybody else wanted to time on that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> we got Everybody's Bangarang. shipping Gibby with Durza. What do you think? Yeah, I don't get it. Love is love. I was going to say, we have a lot of interspecies stuff because there's also the Kostelmeyer Terran thing, which I mentioned. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it doesn't, I, like I said, as long as it's tasteful, I think it's fine. Uh, Bangarang Elico with 100 bits. Finish Neff with Bubbles. The Anaconda watching cartoons. Nice. Uh, we got Blackfoot Fair with the Leap Bits and Cliffhanger Get. We got uh, Kanye Time with 1,000 bits. Good luck, everyone, with October. Just remember, in Bosco's games, the real tentacle monster was inside of your heart all along. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I don't want the tentacle monster anywhere near my heart. I don't want it anywhere inside of them either. Uh, Burnout oh. Vaughn with 100 bits. The thing I love about this setting, it makes me think of classes and subclasses I'd never roll just to fit the setting. Like, I want to play an artificer so bad now. Great session. Enjoy your time as a player, Monty. And that that's is all basically of it that's basically what Dippolt is, honestly. Like Dippolt's like a, a pretty decent artificer. <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> all this artificer wasn't available to choose. Yeah, no, because artificer has a lot of ties into like the magical like technology in this world that I didn't want to get into with this campaign because I'm just like that's just a whole beast of itself. So I didn't want to have to deal with that. Plus, I didn't know Artificer that well. I really need to play as an Artificer at some point. To be point, fair, so really it's getting a first. rework in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Is it? Oh, is it? Is it? It's oh. getting a D&D 5th Edition standard rework, because the current version is really? built primarily for Eberron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more interesting. I would, I'm would. i curious what they're going to do with it, then. That's really interesting. Well, huh. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, I need to come out so I can read it. I want to read it with my eyeballs. It was really funny. I went I to wanna... my game shop and they're just like, do you want the new book? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, I always mm -hmm. come and get the book. I'm like, yeah, you've never asked me before. Why are you asking me now? Yes, of course. I'm just making sure. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, we should probably go. We should <laughs> okay. raid. Yeah. Yeah. Who, are we, who do we want to raid? So we've got a couple options. We've got Therapod, who I think we raided last time. We've got yeah. Draco, who's streaming. 
And my roommate's technically drawing right now if you want to raid them. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I will type oh. it in the chat where you need to send Ooh, them. What's their username? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, where is the chat? It'll put it in general. Da, 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 da. Boom. Boom. Where is it? Uh, oh. In general. Yep. Oh, that's easy enough. Yep. The raid message will be Bosco is butt. Why though? <laughs> Because I want it makes sense. Because well, you're Bosco butt. Bosco is butt. No, can we? But may, what if what if we Bosco didn't? Bosco is like, butt. Woohoo! Bosco right. is butt. Bosco no, but, is butt. No, Bosco wait, no, guys. Butt. No, Bosco this is not okay. Is I, don't, I don't consent. I don't consent. 